Aspen Killer. Aspen Killer. Beats in the hood. What it good be? Hope it's what it should be. This your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And it's Drink Champs Yappy Hour. Make, Make some noise! <laughs> and when we say we got legends, man, yeah, we want to continue to have York, legends, man. man. You know what I mean? This guy right here. He is one of the most loyalist people I've ever seen. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate I, I it. I like that. I like that. I like the fact that, you know, teams stick with the team. That's right. I love when how people come in this game together, they leave out together, right. they stick together, and they motherfucking go through good, bad. This man has been there. Right. This man has, has and he got his own hits. He got right. his own catalog. Yep. yep. I know he made Passport Game by going out on his own. Mm. Right, right, right. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. He ain't let me give him his intro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give you your intro. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, my brother. I got thank you. you deserve you, this. Appreciate you know it. what I'm saying? Came home, and he got everybody from John Cena to the NBA or the, 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 the college, going like this. And I heard he made it because he was on the run. Mm. He's a legend. We want to give him his flowers. We want to tell him how important he is to hip hop, to loyalty, to family structure. If you ain't got a Tony Yeo in your crew, your crew is fucked up. Mm. So in case you don't know who the fuck we talking about, we talking about the one, only motherfucking Tony Yeo. Hey. Finally. Finally, the loyal <laughs> nigga wins. <laughs> Thank you, man. Feels good, man. Now, now I want to ask you off, off top. Because this is a great debate, a great debate, by the way, in right. hip-hop culture. Did G-Unit invent artists on mixtapes on their own mixtapes first? I feel like there was always mixtapes, but yeah, but artists we took the we, we took songs, yeah, right. and we yeah. and we and we flipped them and we bounced Beat them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the time when G Unit dropped, it was so funny because a lot of artists wanted to beat up the bootlegger, right? But mm -hmm. Fifty looked at the bootlegger as his friend. Ah. Right. So one of our homies be like, "Yo, our mixtape is over there. We 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 go to we go to Jamaica Avenue. Right. We go to these spots. You know, we was, we you know we came out of Shaw Money Basement. Right. We we was recording there. Right. And and um basically, we'll make the mixtapes, but it was all 50's idea. Fifty be like, "Yo, we just gonna keep flooding them, flooding them, and flooding them. So nobody was consistent with the mixtapes as we was. Mm -hmm. We was everywhere. Is that the reason why y'all was rhyming on other people's music? I mean, we was just having fun. Like, when we mm. did LL shit mm -hmm. over, we did fucking Snoop shit over, mm -hmm. we just was having fun, you know what I mean? 50 was just, he was an animal from the Columbia days anyway. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? So I've been around him since, right. you know, Columbia days and shit, and, right. you know, then from there, fast forward, seeing you and Chris Lighty's office right. yeah, is right, violated, right, 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 right. all that shit, it was right. all an experience for me. Like, I've been, like, for instance, right. I've been in Miami for three days now. Uh-huh. I was in a party. Uh, Lorenz Tate is in there. Right. Well, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I'm a nigga from the hood. That's old dog. This my old nigga. dog. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm in a party with old dog now. You know what I'm saying? Did you, did you call him old dog? Yeah, murder called him old dog. <laughs> I called him Senator Tate. You know what I mean? Because I'm loving That's power. power. That's yeah, right. I called okay. him Senator Tate. But I'm yeah. in the room with old dog. Uh, yeah. You got Meech in there. Uh. You got uh, Tommy from Power. Right. So to be in the rooms with these people, sometimes right. people think it's all about the money right. and the bitch is in the cars, but it's all about the experience in the right. rooms you could be in. Mm -hmm. right. So if I'm with a nigga like you or 50 right. or anybody, a right. P. Diddy, a J, right. whoever right. it is, right. you in a room, you getting the opportunity to, you know, I done been in rooms with Chris Tucker, Wesley right. Snipes, I'm thinking about New Jack City and Burn shit. Up. You Call know what I'm saying? Up. Fucking Jim Carrey. Right. I done met everybody. Or Jim Carrey, I seen that. That's That right. was like crazy. Imagine you being right. a party, Jim Carrey, right. the Kardashians in there, right. Mike Tyson. Right. Just to meet these people, you you but know to, what I mean? But to for, forward back a little bit, I tell Jimmy to pop one of these for me. Um, 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 okay. Uh, but do you think if you had to bet and say that the, the artist who made the first mix, artist mixtape, friendly mixtape, would I, you bet on G Unit? I, yeah, I would say it was G Unit. Okay, let's make it. 
Just definitely. Because you gotta remember, to you guys flipped them to Because you gotta remember, for New York artists, we, right. you know, after a time, the down I south. Want this, that's why we fired you. <laughs> no, 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 This is with your booby trap shirt on. Want, you, we don't want to bother, boy. We don't want to bother, boy. How much booby trap can you to wear that shirt? Baby, shine. Yo, you gotta take your shine and pop the bottle. We don't be fired. We don't want a bottle boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's all good. <laughs> nah, but you got to understand, when, when we dropped the mixtapes, it was going to other markets. Like, we was playing in right. North Carolina, South Carolina. We was playing in a lot of New York. Like, like you said, I, at one point, people were running away from the mixtapes, but you guys, it felt like you guys were using this as marketing tools towards the album and, to, and, and towards uh, uh, that. And was that, like, strategic? And radio I mean, started playing these records like playing. if they were straight-up yeah. singles. I mean, after 50 got shot, he was hungry, bro. Right. Right. You know, he, he's riding around in a minivan, right. you know, with the Mac on him, right. bulletproof vest. Right. And I think that any other nigga would have gave up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why I always give him his props. I'm like, yo, nah, the nigga really came back. Right. You know, he's running around with crazy niggas like E-Money. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. That's my man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rest in peace yeah, to E-Money yeah, bags. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, at, yeah. at the time of me coming up, seeing niggas right. like... Right. I would be in the studio going to Sony right. with Fifth, right. and I'll run into, you know, you'll right. see fucking Tut, right. wow. fucking uh, Scooter and these right. niggas, so right. Haitian Jack, niggas right. like that was running right. around, and niggas like had a headlock on the game. Right. So niggas don't know about the Columbia days. Yeah, I, 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 I was, mean? um... I was I was one of the first people to do a record with 50. I did not one record. I did yeah. two records. He said that. You know what I'm saying? I did two he records. He was the first world. nigga to fuck yeah, with 50. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm for saying? Real, for real. But hold on, let's get back to that. So, I want to say, in my opinion, I think y'all was the first guys touring off of actual mixtapes. Yeah, we it's, had the mixtape tour. Right, because I remember Chris telling me, like, y'all going on tour. I'm like, how the fuck they going on tour? They don't got an album. Right. <laughs> like, and they like, so was was that actual? We had the, the mixtapes was buzzing on radio. They was buzzing everywhere, and, and, and we started getting booked, and the mixtape tour, we had the buses, and now we had Chris Lighty, rest in peace to Chris right. Lighty, the legend. You that know, legend, hell yeah. He was down with Chris Lighty. Mm -hmm. That's why I always like that now song, mm -hmm. Blue Benz, when he say, Chris Lighty right. let him in with the, oh, you know oh, what? The tongue, yeah, tongue, yeah, tongue, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, you know, I love that song, yeah. but um, we was on the road. Right. You know, we had Chris Lighty at that point, so right. things started, you know, he was like kind of like the glue with 50 Cent, like right. started teaching 50 the business side, you know? And you know who was in there, James Cruz. I was just about to ask, um, because um, it's... It, go okay, ahead, let me let you finish. No, 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 go ahead. I don't want the fans ahead. to go, go crazy. Go, go ahead, go, go, ahead, go ahead. Okay, but um, it always seems funny with James Cruz when it comes to James Cruz and 50. Yeah. Like, like, Jay, I, I don't know. What, what, do you, what did you see? I mean, I just I just feel like James Cruz, he's always was a cool guy, was always right. there. But 50, I felt like 50 had a little more respect for Chris. Mm. But James Cruz put in the work, too. Right. But when Chris sent James Cruz out, you know, him and 50 always get into it. Right. 50 always say some crazy shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? James like, say some nice shit. I remember shit. 50 like, said that. something crazy to James Cruz one day, and we had Interscope. And he right. lit a cigarette in the Interscope building. Like, yo, he, he, I don't want to say what he called them, but oh. it's like, motherfucker, scream that being mean. <laughs> I'm crazy, yeah, yo. He lit a cigarette in um, Interscope building. So that shit was crazy, like right in the middle of the building. Like, yo, after the argument, 50 kicked him out the room. It's crazy. <laughs> was it ready? Uh, but with Chris, like, yeah. I just felt like Fifth had like a little more respect for Chris. I, I felt like uh, what Chris, uh, what Chris Lighty and Violator did, um, as far as management goes, right, big, you know, huge impact. Big, big up to because uh, you got to first, you got to remember, Violator was before 300. They was before Rock, Rock Nation. Nation. Yeah, they was before Violator was before. And who did Chris have? Chris had you. Yep. He had Bu Foxy. Mob Deep. He had Mob Deep. Yeah, everybody. Buster he, Rob. he had Buster. He had K Slay. LL. He had L he had Diddy at a point. See, yeah. You know what's the crazy shit about that? I, I always used to say this. Um, Fat Joe too. Um, no. Actually, Fat Joe was never signed to him. Fat, Fat Joe was signed to him as an artist, not oh, as management. I didn't know that. Yeah, not as management. He was signed to Relativity. To the, to the label? No. To, uh, I, believe, I believe Chris Violated had something to do. Uh, I don't know if it was Violated Relativity, but I believe like Chris had points on the album or something through okay. Relativity. Right. I think Joe was the only one that wasn't signed. To um, management. Yeah, but you know what was crazy, and I'm sure you could relate to this, I remember going to Violator at one point, 
And I could, I could, I could roll dice there, get my hair cut, and buy weed. Yeah, like that it, shit was better than the hood. It was safe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was it, safe. It, you, you, it, you remember? It was, it, was, it was all good till henchmen moved down the block. Oh yeah, that's right, Twenty Fifth Street. And yep. that's what I always tell people. I'd be like, like a lot of beefs that you see. Right. It was me being loyal. It was inherited. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Cause I, till this day, I always say that. You know, mm. the henchman thing was inherited from Chris. Mm. Chris had the, the, the management on 25th Street. Oh. Henchmen moved on the same block. Wow. Oh. Chris had everybody. Everybody wanted to be Chris. Like we said, Chris was the first 300. He was the first Rock Nation. Mm. The nigga was 18 working the tunnel, the most dangerous club in fucking New York. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas had to take their shoes off. No chains. And, and use the bathroom <laughs> with the girls in there. Right. It's the era, you yeah, know, you the, sex baffle. this yeah. is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so look, to me, the poison was, oh, it's always going to be some kind of poison when you get some kind of money. When we right. get somebody some kind of money, it's right. always going to be, right. like, for me, it was one day Henchman said, he was like, yo, G-Unit's here and Game is here. Right. But Game had Dr. Dre and 50 Cent on his album. Right. right. And like I said in any interview, if we New York niggas blowing up with Cali niggas, what you think Cali niggas saying in the studio? Uh, we got to blow a West Coast nigga up, cuz. Right. Mm. The West Coast the best coast, cuz. Because mm. that's how they play out there. Right. Right. And now LA's on a whole different time. You can't even right. enjoy yourself as much out there. <laughs> At all. <laughs> nah, you can enjoy yourself. Let me stop. But um, it's got to be super. Nah, think, it's dangerous think, in Cali right now. You think being... Um, a rapper is a dangerous. Is one of the most. It's dang- the most dangerous job. We in don't the- know our enemies. Yo, right? let me tell you. Let me yeah. tell you the one of the most funniest stories. Yeah. This is when 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 P Diddy could have signed Fifty. Wow. We in the office. Wow. Uh-huh. It's me and Fifty. But Fifty, he. I don't think he going in there with the intentions to sign with Diddy. Right. He just went in there just seeing whatever deals he can right. get. Right. 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 You know, some deals. See his power. Yeah, we in a yeah. we in a minivan, no AC hammers. <laughs> he turning out millions of dollars. I'm like, why, why, why? I'm like, nigga, take the money. So he seen Diddy. I know he wasn't going to sign to Diddy, but he took the meeting. And I I never forgot. P Diddy said, "Yo, rappers got the three B's: bank accounts, Bentleys, and bitches." Hey. You a target. So I, I took that, like, when you, so I'm in the meeting. Oh, he's in he, the 50. He's telling 50, like, yo, I can't sign you. You know, you got beef with Prem and all that. A lot of oh. niggas in the street, you know, wow. a lot wow. of niggas in the industry don't want to deal with the Prem beef. It's wow. understandable if you wow. don't want to do it. Eminem took the step, shout to him. Mm. You know what I mean? But a lot of niggas like, yo, we, we don't want to deal with the Prem shit. All right. You know what I'm saying? And that's basically what Diddy was saying. Right. Like, yo, I lost big, and right. I don't want to deal with the preem right. shit. Right. It was understandable. You a liability. You just right. got shot the fuck up, and, right. you know? Mm. And all this shit is like, everybody know everything, because it's all like, you could go Google right. yeah, all this yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, niggas know yeah. what it is. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I mean, I'm guessing, like, we, we, we like, okay, we all kind of like into the game with like street, local, local problems. Right. I think the thing that makes rappers being one of the most dangerous targets is us when we travel. Right. And when we travel, like, I remember like back then, first one come up to you, say, yo, I run a town. And you got to really like size him up to see like, this, do this motherfucker run a right, town? Right, 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 Because you don't know, you don't want to piss him off and go on Walmart and this nigga really does run a town. I do you I don't, piss- I don't think it's about checking in. I think it's about knowing the geographics. Mm. Like when you look at the, the Roscoe's Rest in Peace PNB Rock was at, ain't right. that shit like in South Central? Yes. I'm I ain't bad. never been to that one. Yeah. And, and what I learned from 50 is like when you're a celebrity, like how you big and uh, niggas, you uh, big now, you, you know, uh, no pause, but it's like you could send somebody to go in the store for you to get the Roscoe's. Right. So if I go to Roscoe's, it's not like going to Tao or some right. shit or something. Right. Right. You know what I mean? You just send somebody in there to go get the food and you chill in the car and you lay back because you right. know you a target. Especially with the jury shit. You know you, you know what I used to Robbers know shit right. now. You yeah. got a Richard yeah. Million. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I could say, yo, that shit cost yeah. a nigga in the streets like doing the math. Yeah. That shit 300000 yep. 
Niggas' imagination might think it's five hundred thousand. Uh, niggas, niggas know, and then you and got. What's to, crazy about it? They can't even sell it. Look, you can't even sell it, but the gift and the curse is Instagram. Mm -hmm. Cause niggas want to see shit. They yep. want to see Yayo with a chain, and yep. Yep. they want to see us with Richard Millies, and you an artist. Uh -huh. Or niggas ain't gonna fuck with you. The young boys, they want to see it. Yeah. Everybody want to see it. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you ask a young artist now, yeah. yo, what's the first thing you gonna do? What's your money? Nigga gonna be like, I'm gonna buy Richard, nigga. Very cool. <laughs> Ask any young artist, I'm gonna buy and, that Richard. And they gonna fuck That's that money up. That's a quarter mil. Yeah, they gonna fuck that money up. So I say, I always thank God we had a nigga like Fifth like. Cause Fifth ain't gonna buy Richard now. All right. Mm. I heard him say that he don't this even buy designer clothes. Nah. Or I, fifth, I, I, fifth and M or, that or two of the richest niggas I've seen that uh, never spent no money. Who you said who? Fifth and Eminem. Wow. I seen Eminem probably with one watch. It's probably gifted to him. Wow. Fifth by jewelry and cars and all that, but he never really go. He like the richest shit. He might not. I don't think he gonna go that crazy. Like right. he gonna look at it like a half a mil. Wow. Hold on. Wow. Mm. You do something else with that. Yeah. <laughs> or a quarter mil, right. you know? Right. But to each his own. Right, yeah. Right, right. You only got one life to live. I love the Richard uh -huh. on you. You look good, man. Yeah, man, you hate this guy. He's too hungry yeah, out yeah. here. Everywhere you go, everybody's hungry. All right, hell And the yeah. young boys, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. nah, you crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, back in the days, you know, a nigga look for a nigga he got beef with, he trying to hit the target. Now right. these little niggas got switches and mm -hmm. all kind of crazy shit. They don't care. Back in the days, they protected the rapper. Yeah. Like, if you was a rapper or you was a ball player, like, the, the local neighborhood drug dealers would protect you and say, yo, it's cool. Now, it's, it's none of that. I always say, look, if Pop Smoke stayed in the... Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. New York, it's like we almost cursed because we always have bad luck with our rappers. They either get what, Rico or get killed. bad luck with what? Our rappers. Our oh, rappers, okay. They either get rico or killed. Right, wow. Rico, Rico, right. Rico. Wow. Shout out to Chef G. So what you about to shout say, out to you say about Pop Smoke? Pop Smoke. Like, I wish he would have stayed in a hotel over the Airbnb. Mm. Yeah. Those Airbnbs are getting... Yeah. Hey, rest in peace. You know what's crazy? But that kind of fucked New York up. New York was coming back, bro. We had yeah. Pop Smoke. You got Fabio. You got all these drill niggas starting. A Boogie. Like, but Pop was, you know... You know what's crazy about those hills? Like, um... Those mansions been there for Everybody years. Everybody know you can't they, trust that yeah, Beverly yeah, Hills yeah. shit. They, those, those same mansions been there for years. So when you pop, uh, when you post a picture, there's somebody that be like, oh, okay, it's right there. Like, I, like there's rappers out here. Like I promise you, that they stay at certain hotels, and I always be like, oh, that's eight away. Because you gotta think, you gotta think, niggas from New York. We look used to our geographics. Yeah. Brooklyn, bro, nigga, uh -huh. Brooklyn niggas, Bronx niggas, they used to mad projects. Uh -huh. We know that. We've uh -huh. been, you know, what uh -huh. I'm saying Queens. We got more houses, but we got projects too. Right. right. So you take a Brooklyn nigga and you put him in Beverly. Hills and we chilling. We, oh, we good. Yo, it's chill. we chilling. Uh, I was in the Airbnb and b chilling with some niggas and they was like, yo, Pop Smoke got killed down the block. All right, yo, our time to go, bro. Mm. Right. The shit a $4 million house, but right. Compton could be right. it's a false 10 of minutes away. Right. That's how dangerous it is. It could know in the geographics. Right. So it's not checking in, just Canada. Right. You think Canada's sweet? I right. thought Canada was sweet. Niggas got blicks out there, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. They got it. Yeah. You know how much they pay for a blick? Six grand. Six thousand dollars. So you gotta be a special nigga to have one to be getting a lot of money, but they right. got it. Right. Wow. There was just a situation with DJ Drama. Oh yeah, oh okay. I I Canada. He, yeah, I hope him, you know. Right. That's my guy. So I, you know, some dudes called me about it and you know I helped him. Right. Okay. Figure that out. Because right. Canada ain't sweet like Toronto and all that shit. Nah, it's not. Right. I'm chilling in a hotel. I'm watching the news. Nigga drove a car through the mall. <laughs> Go through the electronics store. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Uh -huh. This shit ain't sweet out here. So right. it's like knowing the geographics. Because you might go go somewhere to eat. You got your jewelry on. Yeah. But that shit is the hood in yeah. Canada. Yeah. Or Africa. Yeah. Or Paris. Or, I, I, went, I went to Naples. That shit was worse than any other in America. Oh, you see? Yeah, Naples. of course. I landed. Of course. I, la I was like, wait a minute. The mob like, shit is real there. Y'all make y'all playing tricks on me, right? I'm not really in here. Like, this shit was hard. Nah, they got like, some crazy shit. They even say Dior getting dangerous now. I've seen some shit. Well, yeah. Uh, Certain I'll, parts. I'll, yeah, outskirts. Well, it's always been dangerous in Dior. Like, yeah, no, nah, Dior. It's always been it's dangerous. You got to know where to go. Up. Like, yeah, certain places you got to know where to go. And you got, and then you got also have local people around you. Like, you know, I, I'm hearing like it's anywhere, anywhere yeah. and everywhere, man. Yeah, anywhere, and everywhere right. could be dangerous, bro. Right. Yeah. You know. But let's let's get on some fly shit though. Hold let's on. Get on some fly <laughs> shit. Get on some yeah, fly. that's why I like being what's in Dubai of, and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's one of the flyest I like places? Being, what's one of the flyest I always places say you've my been th to? My three on the list 
Okay. I'll say my bucket list was always Dubai, Paris, and Amsterdam. Okay, you did all three. Dubai, of course. Okay. Dubai. <laughs> Passport boys, baby. Come on. We, come on, we travel with 50, man. Right, you know, right, everything right, is right. first class. Right, so, right. I mean, Dubai, I would say, you know, the man-made beaches. Mm. I mean, we stayed in one time, we stayed in a hotel with 50. It was the Burge. Right. That's like an eight-star hotel, fire, all that shit. Okay. That's the shit McEnroe played tennis on and all that shit. Oh, shit, I never. So I like Dubai. Paris, I would say, is good. You take wifey there for the shopping. Yeah, yeah. The bags are tax-free. Yeah. So if you want to, you know, you pay five grand for a bag for your girl or something, you could go out there, it's tax-free. They got shit that may not even come out in the U.S. And then what's the last so, one you said? And I like Paris for the Mona Lisa. You said Paris that? and then Amsterdam, the, 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 Amsterdam, right? Amsterdam, Red Light okay. District. Well, let me tell you about Paris. That's dangerous too. They got the the waiters. They got the pickpockets. They got the waiters that 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 um that that call the people they on the motorcycles. Yeah, they tip them off. Yeah, so that's but, the in, but in Paris they, they would know you. Like the yeah. security guards, no, no, was, no. they were some African dudes. They knew me. Skip yeah, the line yeah, to no, see no, the Mona Lisa. Yeah, 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 they know was, you out there. Bro. I was good. I was good. But they know you, bro. We going. It's, it's dangerous everywhere, man. Everywhere. But but, but, uh, but to go to but, but to be a nigga from the hood and just say yo, I skipped the line to go see the Mona Lisa just now. It's the experience. I done been in Nelson Mandela cell, right, Robbins Island. I done been in Dubai fucking with cheetahs and all kind of shit. Yeah. So it's a bucket list. Everything was on my bucket list. Well, you said you've been in Nelson Mandela cell? Yeah, yeah Robbins Island. We flew there. Wow. 50 went to go meet Nelson Up Mandela. Of Cape Town. Wow. Was Chris Lighty alive at that time? He might have been alive. I think Chris might have been there. It might have been Chris or Barry somewhere. They went to go see Nelson Mandela. Wow. Somebody from Violator was like, you can't bring 30 niggas to Nelson Mandela crib. Y'all niggas bugging. <laughs> but we, <laughs> we got to Robbins Island, and we got to go in a cell that Nelson Mandela actually was in. It was tiny, man, small. Yeah, shit, wow. So experiences like that, it's like, wow. come on. You go see the Mon Mona Lisa. I'm from the hood. I never right. thought I'd see shit like that. But, but let, now let me ask, uh, ask that. How do you go, how do you balance that after experiencing all that? I mean, because our heart is still in the hood. It's just our mentality has seen something different. I just, I mean, listen, my first lesson was Freaky Ty. Oh. Uh. Because I was from 134 on God Brewer. So right. when we were selling drugs, me, 50, everybody on the block, mm -hmm. rest in peace, Freaky Ty, it was Lost Boys. Yes, Lost Boys. And they had their success. Right. And we were sitting there selling drugs. Mm -hmm. I seen Freaky Ty do everything for the hood. All right. Buy niggas sneakers, get on the dollar van. Right. Come back to the Ave, right. chill on the block all day, play right. the music. His brother Jay Ball, shout out to them. Right. You know, and um, he still got killed in the hood. Mm. Nipsey Hussle did everything for us. Freaky Ty, the first one. That Freaky Ty was the first one that I experienced me okay. selling drugs in the hood. Okay. We still and was getting money. Doing good. Right? Yeah, because right. Freaky Ty was from my block, one three right. four and got Brewer. Wow. 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 So my block was historic. I don't know if you. I don't know if you remember. Um, I used to be on hundred seven. I don't know if you remember Fifth Man. I think it was Lefty, Lefty. or Left or from Left Rack. He okay. was like, like I remember he, a nigga from Left Rack used to come through, and he was the first nigga I seen with the three and a quarter. Mm. You know, so I used to be on the block and just idolize Black Just. I remember right. Black Just. Black I remember he brought rest in peace Black Just. I remember he brought Nas to the block. Right. Wow. So I used to, uh, our block was like a historic give money block where niggas come through, eat money come through. You know, Homo Troy. You know, praying like money, it was money just bags for my building in Left Rack. Yeah, right. money bags was come on, right. crazy nigga, man. Yo, it's crazy. I'm sorry, y'all. We got some queen shit, man. Yeah. We got some queen shit right there. Yeah, we got some queen shit. Fuck that. Yo, yo, oh, I mean, back in the days, it was like more respect. It was like, yo, that's so and so family. Yeah. So, yeah, yo, that's, <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? That's Black Just family. But, that's this but, family. But yo. How do you feel about trail music? Because we were making gangster music. <laughs> that's drill, drill. The drill, the drill. The drill? I, I, yeah, my bad. I think the, I, I think, know, I think the drill music is dangerous. Yeah. Because what happens Talk is, to the young homies. Because what happens is, I think we took a style that came from like Chicago, mm -hmm. and and now New York is as worse as Chicago. California with the drill because right. ni niggas is throwing like niggas dead friends in there. Like mm -hmm. when we had battle raps against like Ja Rule and niggas and shit like that, niggas was still alive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like niggas would die in the hood and niggas be like, yo, I'm smoking your your brother or your uncle. And then with oh, the oh, internet. They'll, they'll talk about past murders as yeah. well. Yeah. Like I'm smoking, like that's like a nigga saying, yo, I'm smoking on your, yeah. your dead brother, bro. Yeah. Or niggas, you done seen it all on the internet. Niggas mm -hmm. pissing on graves. Like, it's no remorse. Niggas shooting, little kids is around. Like, back in the days, a nigga no had woman. beef. You with your kid, you might get a pass. All right. right. Nigga might not hit you right there. You with your girl, you might get a pass. Now there's no passes, bro. Yep. 
Like, there's no remorse. So, like, with the drill music, it brings fuel to the fire. It's cool, but it's like, for New York, can you blow before you catch the Rico? Right, with social media, because they add in the social media. Social side. media, the cameras are wow. everywhere. Wow. But, but ain't it like the cameras color? are every. This wow. is we got it. This is the thing. In the nineties, in the eighties, there was no cameras like that. We used to run away from the Listen, cameras. Listen, yeah. I talked to Lisa Everett. Shout out to Lisa Everett. Uh-huh. She, she tells me she goes in the precinct. She says, "Yeah, yo, you don't know how many cameras they got in that motherfucker. They got cameras on the ATM. They got the the um the red light cameras. And the cameras to the hood. So you if say. you catch a body, yeah. the cameras just gonna catch up with you." Yeah, they don't even got to investigate like that. You got ring cameras now. Or you post yourself. You snitch on yourself. And then what do they let them do? They let these, they let these kids body each other, and then they just come with the Rico. Yo, we get them that mass shooting type, and we get the Ricos. We know what's going on. We going to watch them tap their phones, right. Instagram, group chat, you know, and everybody's on the gram now. Mm-hmm. You can catch a body. I did that. It's different. It's wild different. It's the wild, wild west out there. You know, like, how terrorists... Used to bomb shit, and then like the United States would go and look, and they would like to see who a terrorist claims it. Yeah, who claims? That's what they do. That's exactly. Who, that, that's exactly what they're exactly doing. Like, going if on. something that happened, when the United States goes and look, Listen. Well, they look, and then there's someone that can't stand it. Maybe they say I ain't do it or something, but they will hold the chain or they'll. All right. Listen, hold, listen. I'm yeah. talking. I'm talking. You know, Terrence. Terrence J. Okay. B-A-T. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking yeah. to him. Yo, yeah. I'm talking about what happened with him in L.A. Yeah, I'm okay. talking to him. He like, yo, yeah, I had to move out of L.A. Yeah. I'm like, yo. What the fuck happened? Like, I'm he, like, he's, a, he's a pretty dude. Well, look, look, I'm like, when I go to L.A., I stay, you know, like, <laughs> Woodland Hills, yeah. you know, Sherman Oaks, uh-huh. niggas stay in the cut. Mm-hmm. He's like, yo, man, seven niggas from Crenshaw follow me to the crib. From Tao. Follow them from town to the from crib. From Tao. Look, they follow him to the crib. He says he peep everything going, so he don't want to go in the crib, like a wifey in the crib or whatever. He take off. He said these niggas is chasing him for 10 minutes, licking out the window, pop, 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 pop. Nigga said, I had to move out of L.A. Shit, I would have moved, too. So that's why I say, if you got the Phantom or the Cullen in you a rapper, get the mm. Hoopty, too. Right. Mm. Get the Hoopty, too. Because mm-hmm. that, that's what puts you on the radar. Yep. The car. Right. Your son in the Cullen in. Because you could be a doctor jumping out that Cullen in, you good. Right. Niggas ain't going to... Right. Nori Yeo jump out that right. Cullen in? Nah, right. shit. Uh-huh. Mm. That's just how life is. Mm-hmm. You a target. Real talk. Whatever you do, internet, whatever... You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You were talking, bro. Real talk. Like, I just don't understand why they're going to go after one of us. You know why? Because niggas, cause niggas are hungry, brother. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Real shit. If I can get a Richard Million, I ain't got it. I ain't got a pot to piss in. Rich, I'm going to risk my life for that watch. Yeah. The niggas that kill Pop Smoke, what they sold his watch for? Four grand? What do you got, an AP? That probably is worth like 50 grand? And you say he sold, the little, they sold it for four They grand? say he sold it for like four bands. And one of them little niggas only got like four Five years. Five years, yeah, four years. Word. Come on, bro. It's crazy out here, bro. We already know what it is, man. It's no respect, bro. Back in the days, your neighbor could slap you in the head, bro. My neighbor, Miss Peoples, could slap me right in my fucking head, bro. This shit ain't... We had respect back then. All right. Drug dealers had bus trips. Right. You to, great, to Great Adventures, <laughs> Hershey Bar. Violate the block, girls are fighting. Yo, you're violating the block. Get the fuck off the block. Uh, uh, yeah. Two girls fighting now, two girls, niggas pulling out the cameras and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cameras is out for everything. Nigga dead, niggas pulling out the cameras. Uh, yeah. This shit fucked up out yeah. here, man. Yeah. I come from the good times, nigga. New Year's, drug dealers, niggas yeah. buying champagne on right. the block. Right. Because Queens always got the money. There was yeah. money everywhere. Right. Rockaway, something, Linden Square, Guy Brewer, 40, Baisley. Niggas throwing barbecues. Right. Trip to Dorney right. Park. Right. What's the other park niggas used Great to go Adventures, to? Great Adventures, Hershey Great, Park. Great Adventures, Hershey Park. Great yeah. Adventures. Yeah. yeah. Come on, bro. Buses pulling up. Those were the good old days. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We on the block hustling, just having fun. That was with some of my greatest times. On the block, having fun, bro. All right. Good time. Fourth of July, niggas buying mad fireworks. All right. I remember one time, funny story, niggas, nigga, um, nigga threw an M80 in the street on 134. Jamaican nigga had the path on it. Nigga come through, mm-hmm. blew off tire. Nigga, she was niggas laughing. I'll be back. Nigga came back. <laughs> so it's just like, it'd be mad stories like that in the hood. Like, right. if you disrespect a nigga, do something to you. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, eat money and them niggas, them niggas used to come to the block. Fifth to tell you, come right. to the block looking for a nigga we know. Niggas right. would have that party flyer. Right. Wasn't no Instagram. Niggas had a party flyer. 
Shit, there you go right there. Yeah. You know, when niggas like eat money uh, and them niggas uh, look for you, it's like uh, the boogeyman's coming. Yes, back. yes, yes, yes. It was different. Like, yeah. niggas had a name, but now everybody got a name. And there's more gangs now. Because you got to think, it went from us. Well, everyone is fighting for a name. No, everybody's in a gang. Oh, I, I, I said in gang. I thought you said everybody has a everybody's name. Everybody's blood. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you yeah. got the Dominican gangs. Yeah. Trinitarios. Yeah, Trinitarios, big yeah. machetes on them. Yeah. Spanish uh, wild niggas in the uh, Bronx. Uh, 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 Everybody's in a gang. So now New York is like L.A. now. It's no different. Word, damn. You come to New York and you think it's sweet now. Uh, nah, uh, it's like L.A. now. Because uh, you got gangs everywhere. Uh, Everybody's indicted. Every rapper's indicted. We can name a list. I don't want to name that list. Hey, Flock, Casanova. Oh, it's oh, all. Rappers indicted. Go ahead. Rappers, oh, in, get, get rappers indicted. indicted from New York. Okay, gang. Okay. K Flock, Casanova. Uh, so many. Chef G now. Shout out to Chef G. Uh, There's like a list of fucking Brooklyn niggas, Bronx niggas indicted. There's a whole bunch of niggas on the island. And the island don't even have control. The inmates control that shit. You yeah. seen the video of the yeah. niggas on Rikers? Yeah. Niggas was had the weed store. Oh, no, I didn't niggas see that one. Niggas had the weed store. The, uh, <laughs> niggas had knobs, all that shit. It was a video, music video. Tell one of your people to look that shit up, wait, bro. Wait, wait, wait. You got to see a this weed shit. Store in the weed store. Niggas had the weed store. Niggas had shanks out. <laughs> yeah. Niggas throwing gang signs. <laughs> this shit was a live video shot on Rikers Island. The inmates. A video shoot. Bro, a video shoot on right, the island. Right. Niggas was selling weed. You pull that up, ass? Can you please, somebody look it up, Come please. on, yo, what are you doing? Hold all right, well, hold up. It's a video on Rikers Island. Niggas had shanks. The inmates control the island. You don't want to go there. Uh, uh, the well, you never want to go there. But after, <laughs> co but after COVID, it feel, it feel like it's, it's worse after COVID. Because bro, the, bro, let me tell you, the, my first experience on the island, uh -huh, bro, a yeah. nigga can't tell you he wasn't a little shook. You go right. over that bridge, that shit say home to bolus. You on a bus with niggas that do three, four bids already. You on that shit, the bus is, yo, my nigga. And it's still Queens, it's East Amherst. Yeah, mad ruckus uh -huh. on the bus, nigga. The bus shit is bouncing, nigga. You wondering what house, yo, he going to the Beacon. Good. House of pain. Like, All niggas right. know you go to the Beacon. Yep, C-74, like, C-76. A nigga a cheek a battery not to go on the Beacon. I was in C-73. Right. It's a low key building. Cool. You know what I mean? You could get cool. cut, stabbed, you know, anything, but the beacon was like, that's where, like, all the killers went. Like, yo, oh. send them to the beacon. Mm. But then, you know, and then you had the fucking um, adolescents in there on the island. Oh, look, this one? Yeah. Hmm. This is the video? Yeah. Oh, you gotta show it to Nori. You gotta check it out. Drill video on Rikers Island. Niggas got a weed shop. <laughs> <laughs> Shanks, dispensary. This? That's wild. They mosh pitting though. <laughs> niggas got shanks, niggas got fights going on, all kind of shit. Yo, this is a live video. That's why they want to shut down the island, man. That shit crazy, man. I ain't gonna lie, the video ain't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> the video is good. <laughs> Nigga, I can't hear the volume. Who directed it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sean Shack Redemption. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Yo, but look, it's edited and everything. It's not like it's a straight shot. Yeah, and he changing outfits. <laughs> he, three, oh, it's three. Yo, he got three different outfit changes. He, they, they showing niggas cut or, oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. And Nora, you know, nobody's exempt when it comes to the feds. All right. Let me see, let me see. Nobody's exempt, bro. Look at Tory Lanez, bro. That nigga yeah. went from filet mignon to nah, but God bless the county, I wanna, nigga. I don't want to make fun of that, but did nah, you I'm see him in the court? I'm not making fun of it, but I'm just telling you that shit could did, be real. To a certain amount of money, bro, you a target for everybody. All right. Stick up kids. All right. IRS. Yes. Fucking people trying to get over on your money. Yeah. And you know the feds. You're mm -hmm. on the scope, bro. Mm-hmm. That's how I was, nigga. I went uh -huh. home. I got home. I had a fraudulent passport. I had a passport with my brother's name on it. Cause you right. know we got over. I had a, right. a it wasn't fraudulent, but it was fraudulent. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't. But it was in my mind. It wasn't fraudulent. Uh, somebody look. Somebody what... wasn't supposed to put the paperwork, the passport in there, cause it had my brother's name. It didn't have my name. Right. I was on the run that whole time. That's when the Yayo shit came and all yeah. that. I was on the run from a gun charge previously. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So. 
I had this judge called Judge Wong in Queens. Uh, Everybody was scared of him. His daughter, they said his daughter died over OD, um, ODing on dope or whatever, wow. right? Wow. What's that you smoking? Let me get one of those. Yeah, hell yeah. So, oh, yeah. I know you be having that good shit. Uh -huh. So, Judge Wong, everybody was scared of him. Big Asian dude, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. he'll tell you you got shorts on, go home! Right. Like, he was one of them niggas, you got shorts on, you got to go all the way home, change your clothes. <laughs> so, Fifth goes, yo, you know he's going to lock you up this next go around. Do you want to go on the mixtape tour? Or do you want to turn yourself in? Me, I don't like jail. <laughs> Nobody does. <that, laughs> time to go. You out of here. <laughs> so so I, went, I, I went, I had the balls to go on the passport. I could talk about it because I got convicted yeah, for it. Right. I had the balls to go on the um, passport place, and I used my brother's name, and they gave me the passport. So I was in Barcelona with Eminem, all of them on the run. I'm chilling. <laughs> Wait, I'm living I heard life. Niggas being on the run, but not on the I'm run. I'm on the run. Niggas on the run. Niggas on the run. Niggas on the run. I'm with Paul Rosenberg. Virginia, not Virginia, not Barcelona, nigga. That's a lie. I'm with Paul Rosenberg. Eminem. I'm in Barcelona on the run, bro. Right. I thought it was never gonna end. Right. I remember one time I went to Fifty House, his grandfather. That's because uh -huh. Fifty get his side. His grandmother was always quiet. You never uh -huh. know what she was thinking. Uh -huh. She was a church lady. God uh -huh. bless her. And his grandfather was the one that got like the crazy, crazy talk, crazy. That's the one who so, said, um, "You know who your friends are by whole. You know who you are by yep. keeping your friends around." Yep. Okay, continue. So I'm on the couch, and his grandfather just came in and said. You got to face that iron curtain one day. And I just thought about that shit. I was tight. I was like, damn. Oh, because he knew you was on the run? Yeah, he knew I was on the run. Why you think I was on the couch? <laughs> 50, that's why I always show love to 50. 50 always took care of me. If a nigga, like, you catch a body, God forbid, or right. something or anything, or catch a case. Yo, come come over here, man. You good. Come on. You come right. over here with me, bro. Right. He's a nigga take care of his people. He the type of nigga that a hired nigga that got a felony that can't get a job. Let's make some noise for 50. You know what I mean? Well, for real. Hold on, before I lose track, before I lose track, I want to know, name the countries that you went to while you was on the run. <laughs> this tour. So many. Barcelona. Because I want to I wanna recreate this tour. We're going to call it on the run right. tour. We could do all the Me states. And you. We could do all the states like Chicago, St. Louis. I want to do, That's when I I do started. Europe. Wait, 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 name the countries, though. In Europe? Yeah, Europe. I'd probably say Barcelona. Barcelona. Brazil. Brazil. Maybe Paris or somewhere else. This, this, it was a nice, couple places. These are nice places so far. Yeah, nice places yeah. on the run. My okay. brother's passport. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do this I don't talk. remember the rest, but I definitely remember <laughs> my brother's passport. Barcelona was big, because okay. I remember, I think that was like some kind of awards. Okay. So, yo, yo, we need to recreate this. I don't know awards, sir. We need to re re recreate this shit. Yo, but listen, it's yeah, like, yo. Bro, look, I have a run. Nah. Your group is, we taking off. Mixtapes is taking off. Everybody's fucking with G-Unit. Right. Everybody's loving us. We killing shows. Finally get to where we want to be. Thank God, right? Mm. We thank God. Bless. Oh, shit. Mm. And it's like time to go to jail. Mm. Mm. That's why when I see niggas go to jail and some niggas be happy or uh. having a good time, I don't really believe it. I right. believe that you stress because yeah, niggas in jail don't even want to be in jail, my nigga. Mm. Especially when you got the chance to make millions of dollars. Right. right. Hell yeah. That's the thing with the game, but it's like when niggas blow up, especially for the young drill niggas, like right. how you said I feel about the drill music. Right. Chef G is innocent to proven guilty. Right. But the feds can make up anything they want to say. All right. And this is the feds coming to get yeah. Puerto Rico. Yeah. Yeah, Rico. Right, because Rico's eat. not a state thing. Rico's a, a federal thing. Yeah, That's you funny. can't trust. You, you heard Gunna new shit? You heard Gunna new shit? I actually did. You, or you couldn't listen to it? I, I, no, I just... I, no, I'm uh, just being honest. Put me on. I'm, I'm a real nigga. <laughs> did you? I can the, see album, the album is cool, but I feel like the album is hot because he went through something. But when he's saying the song, he's like, yo, my lawyers in the DA tricked me. You can't trust them niggas. So if I spend a million dollars on lawyers, I said this before too with Tory Lanez. You spend a quarter million dollars. Like if I hire Scott Lehman, yeah, Bob Scott Macedonia, Lehman. Um, Rich Murray, um, um, Don Florio, Rich okay. Murray, any one of these top notch lawyers, and you spending a million dollars, half a million dollars. Like even you look at the Tory case. All right. My lawyer's gonna say, yo, just cop out, because we got a live witness saying that you shot her. Mm. All right, so let's cop out, man. I'm, give me what? Maybe I can get a quick five out that. I'm not taking it to trial. I'm the cop out master, nigga. Let <laughs> me cop out to that. I got a live witness, <laughs> which is uh -huh. old girl, oh, oh, home girl, yeah. saying I shot you. Mm. My lawyer's going to tell me to cop out. 
But if you got a lawyer and he's telling you you spending a half a million, million dollars and you still lose, man, mm. man, bro, mm. that's going to make you want to choke that lawyer out right mm. there, bro. Mm. <laughs> you done spent a quarter. You done spent over a quarter. Again, I'm sorry. How much do you think these lawyers cost? I know what they cost. Um, I don't know what a case like that costs. But, um, but again, you know what I think? I promise you, like, I, I, I didn't think he took this case serious. I, I, th I thought, like, how he was dressing. Like, he was going to the place Listen, ball. If I give my lawyer he a wasn't going dollars, to court. you better tell me the right decision to do, bro. Right. If we can't beat this, we going to cop out. That's right. why you got different lawyers from different things, and I learned mm. that from 50. Right. You got low homicide lawyers, right. you got federal lawyers, and you got state lawyers. You got a homicide, you're going to get That Steve. was a state case, right? Uh, what? Tories is a state case. California's tough on laws. I think that was a state. Right. But, like, homicide or Steve Murphy. Right. Federal, you're going to do a Scott Lehman or, like, right. a Don Florio. Right, Scott Lehman. State, oh, I'm going to do a Scott Lehman. I'm going to do a Bob Macedonia. Mm. There's different lawyers for different things. You can't get a, a state lawyer or a federal lawyer that don't know nothing about bodies. You got to go to Steve Murphy. Right. It's different. And lawyers cost money because that's the one thing I learned. Mm -hmm. When you a rapper, them lawsuits, mm -hmm. you got money now. You got a Richard on. <laughs> Nori, hit me! Nigga, to the ground. Yeah, yeah, nigga, me. you can bump a nigga so in the airport. Of... Nori, hit me! Listen, I had a case. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I had a case for, for I wasn't even there. Like, I wasn't, <laughs> this is what I'm trying I to wasn't tell physically you. there, and they said that I did it. I, I physically was not there. And it's the, so crazy. My lawyer called the police, because it, was, it was, wasn't federal, obviously. My lawyer called the police officer and said, my client wasn't there. I can prove it. I can show you where he, he was at. And this said, is, and you know what the police said? I still gotta arrest him for my for my clout. I now, need, now I'm I need. Fame. Now look, look, I'm gonna give you the. He knows I'm innocent. He still wanted to arrest me. Just, I'm, just I'm gonna give to you have the perfect example. And this is why I always shout out Fifty because he always had a lawyer on deck for any nigga that caught a case. Mm. But it started getting ridiculous. All right. We'll be on the video. Nigga don't want to move. Nigga punch a nigga in the face. Broke his jaw. Oh shit! Lawsuit now. You know what? I'm gonna sue Fifty and Yayo. Let's sue Fifty first. Right. They're going to sue 50 first. This is why, nigga, we was playing low-key because we started learning about the lawsuits. Right. Right. Break a nigga jaw. Oh, shit, you know what? Yo, get that nigga, get that nigga 80000 man. Mm. Give him 80000 man. Because mm. I'm going to spend all this money with the lawyers. I'm going to spend more money with the lawyers fighting it. Right. Lawyer charging you 10000 yep. an hour. Right. <laughs> Give him 80000 man. So now you paying 80000 for a broken jaw. Mm. Cause your man wanted to break this nigga jaw. Mm. That's getting expensive. Cause a nigga with a regular job, that's a come. I'm getting eighty. Yep. Mm. Nigga, let Leo Cohen. Throwing, they throwing let Leo jaws Cohen at you. and one of them niggas. Look, Leo mm. Cohen, one of them niggas snuff you. Nigga, mm. you falling the right way. <laughs> <laughs> come on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Need two hundred. <laughs> What you think a hood nigga gonna do? All right, all right. Shit, back in the days, a car hit me, nigga, I lay on the ground. <laughs> That's what a nigga gonna do. It depend on the nigga. He ain't no rapper, nothing. He a regular nigga with a job. You get a half a million out of nigga, I'm suing that nigga. Leo right. Cohen, any one of them niggas. Jay-Z, any of them niggas snuff you. Nigga falling to the ground, bro. I done seen it. <laughs> niggas did it to 50 plenty of times. So you get the lawsuit now. That's when shit get tricky. Mm -hmm. Niggas just don't understand. It's a nah. different kind of game. Nah. So I just always, you know, I don't mean to toot a nigga horn all the time or, you know, it's just that's the homie and he always taught me. When I got my first right. Jacob, he right. told me, yo, niggas will blow your head off for that. Right. Oh, word? Oh, shit. Let me be careful with this. Yeah. Real talk. I don't got to wear the jewelry everywhere. Real talk. You know what I mean? I'm not going to be in the middle of Brownsville or in the middle right. of Soundview. Right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> 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 so when niggas be like, yo, why I keep going on? Cause uh, niggas are hungry out uh, there. Uh, uh, LA, Miami, uh, Little Haiti, Merry uh, Christmas. Uh, Anywhere you go. Uh, and I had true. a good time in Miami. I love Miami. Very true. Love it out here, man. Well, yeah, yeah, we're gonna change it up because we're gonna get happy. Yeah, we've been talking <laughs> about stuff. We, no, I'm happy, we're bro. also, we're also. Our show is about giving people their flowers while they're here. We want to tell you face to face, man to man, you appreciate it in this world. Thank you, man. Snoop Dogg told us and that. And you that. drink champs alumni. Oh shit. Yay! Thank Snoop, you, man. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg said that's like better than a Grammy because it comes from his people. Nah, so let's make some noise for you. Hey! I just, I just want to tell you.
Hanging this stuff in the crib, but, for but, real. Before I get to my next question, I just want to tell you, man, you know, being a loyal person doesn't go unrecognized. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was crazy because me and Kiss were speaking about you mm -hmm. off, off the record, and then that's the reason why, if you've seen the footage, as soon as I said Tony Yeo, he said super loyal. It's because like people like that, people like we recognize that shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Because I know how hard it is to be the famous a guy friend. You know what I mean? Like right. I know how yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, like definitely. I know what a couple of my homies go through. Like nigga push you out the yeah. way. 50, 50. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> I'm just happy. I'm just happy to be in Italy. That's the type of nigga I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga push you out the way. It's so good. You know what I mean? I'm just happy to be in motherfucking right. Italy or Milan. Right, right, right. I'm the humble nigga. Just right, stay right, humble. Right, right. Because shit is real. God planted it like that. Mm -hmm. I would love to have 50 Jay-Z Diddy status, but right. it don't work like right. that for everybody. Everybody can't be right. that. Yeah. You know, when I first met Shaka Zulu, and he always told me this. I remember when Ludacris was Shaka Zulu? Uh, that Luda, Luda. Luda. Shaka. Um, uh, Ludacris. Um, yeah, Ludacris. Yeah. And he always says, success doesn't come in the masses. Mm. And that's just something that I always caught. Like, everybody's mm. not... You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, just because Beyonce's Beyonce don't mean Destiny Child ain't still cool with her. Right. But, but I Beyonce. can be successful enough that I can help my friends. Yeah, that's And that's it. why I love that. I love, yeah. I love, I love, you know what I mean? Um, obviously, I follow you on, on the gram. I follow <clears throat> uh, 50 on the gram. And I just love seeing y'all. Like, I just love it. Like, it's cause... You know why I always talk about all the dumb shit that's going on? Because I'm from the old school. Like, right. if I go to your crib, I'm going to ask you if I can open your refrigerator. Right. right. That's, that's, what, that's, what, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my man, Sonny D, right there. That's yeah. my Haitian friend. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the way you do it. Yeah. Yeah. We that's, Haitian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't go to somebody's crib and just <laughs> nah, that's real. open your refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I never liked it. So I grew up from that era. Like I said, if my man locked up, yo, we got to give wifey some money. Yo, I just seen an envelope from the door. I'm not allowed to go in your crib. Right. You ain't there, wifey there. I'm not allowed to even go in the I don't even right. go there till you pull up. Right. I come from a different cloth. My right. parents were yeah. Asian. Yeah. Nigga taking their shoes off in the crib and all right. that. Right. Like I had stern parents. Right. But that was just how we came up. Right. So loyalty is everything. A nigga, if a nigga's your man, you should be able to have money mm -hmm. or have your jewelry mm -hmm. or whatever you want. Cause right. I don't worry about what my nigga got. My nigga right. got have way more than me. Right. As right. long as I'm good, I'm good. Right. Let's make some noise for that. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's my he, he, everything you just said, he always say that to me. He always say that to me. I'm quite yeah. sure you see the yeah. success y'all yeah. have, right? Yes, yes. Everybody that's around is, well. is happy to be around. Uh, right. You know what I'm saying? They right. building. Y'all building some big shit. Right. Right. Empires. We built an empire through mixtapes. Mm -hmm. We lived a dream. Uh -huh. We got to fly the world. Right. You know, those experiences you can't never take back in life, bro. Hell. You only got one life to live. You, we, we come from neighborhoods where we never thought we could leave the block. I don't know. I just seen right. you in Italy on a boat right. chilling. That's right. Head on. That's right, goddamn. You know what I mean? You from yeah, left, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on, come on, come on. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. And this, this, this is my first time in Europe not working. I, right. I went there on vacation. That's yeah. why us, as artists, what we got to do is, uh -huh. like, going on this big tour we got going. After that's done, we got to give back to the community. We got to right. teach niggas, like, right. there's other ways to get money. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Look what y'all are doing. Mm -hmm. Y'all doing something positive, bro. Right. Y'all just, y'all got artists right. on here. Y'all had mm -hmm. some of the biggest artists on the world on y'all mm -hmm. platform. Mm -hmm. You a legend in music. Yes. You started yes. off. Thank you. So you're showing us you could do other things. Thank you. Thank you. I'm learning from you, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Hey. Well, let, I don't know if you remember. It was the beginning of Drink Champs, right? Right. We fly to Vegas. Right. Like three months into Drink Champs. It's early Drink Champs. And by the way, Daz Corrupt. <laughs> yeah, I love y'all. Please don't take this the wrong and way. And Drew Hill was I there. Drew Hill. Drew Hill was Jack there. Thriller. Jack Thriller. Yeah. But at one point, if we start talking about this West Coast, East Coast shit. East Coast, West Coast, you <laughs> know. West Coast, East Coast shit. And that's what I ain't gonna lie. I always knew he was a real nigga, but at that very moment, because it was like, yo, what? 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 And it was just, everybody was just like, what? And I was like, we about to have the East Coast, West Coast nah, war. I mean, right here. No, nah, he, was, he was trying to say <laughs> East Coast rap beef ain't real. And I'm like, nigga, my mom's crib just got shot up. 22 right. times. All right. right. What are you talking about? And niggas is like, oh shit, he's right. It's real everywhere. Yeah. Oh, because you know what I thought he was trying to say was like our shit is more battle as opposed to their shit is more like gang related. Bro, New York has yeah. the grimiest niggas of all time there. Yeah. yeah. Back in your days, That's it was true. even more worse. Yeah, yeah. You had the extortion kings running yeah. around. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. It's crazy, bro. So it was like, I looked at it like, what? 
East Coast beef is different than the West Coast beef. It's real everywhere. Right. To me, it's even worse. And right. I don't want to glorify it. Right. How can we make it better? Right. That's all I'm saying. How can we make it better when we have conversations like this? Right. An yeah. artist work for that watch. You want right. that Richard Millie? Right. Work for it. Mm -hmm. A lot of these niggas, you know, they get their check, they're going to get the Richard Millie. Where my little man at? He said he getting the Richard Millie. Right. Where Mari at? Right. He said he getting the Richard Millie first. Right. Right. Yeah. They're going to bust the check. But if you want to bust some real estate, <laughs> right. just look at the PPP shit, for yeah. instance. Niggas oh. got mad money. What they went and did, buy Lambos. And got roped for it. Yo, what, it's like, yo, we want all that shit back, yeah. bro. Yo, what, was that under for Trump? It. Yeah, but they what got roped it? for it. That's what I was saying. Wait, they got, they, they're, getting, they're getting people for it? Yeah, yes, what do you the, mean? PPP loans going crazy. <laughs> That's why I told I you it was last Look, I'm going to tell you what's going on in the streets. How are we missing the De Leon over here? We got the De Leon. Okay, 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 okay. We got the brand Okay, no, 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 I just want us to know. Yo, huh? listen. Okay. Niggas was getting the PPP loans in the street. They was buying Lamborghinis, all that oh, shit. Oh, yeah, 40 projects bitches, with the air. Bitches L. from the hood was flying to Italy and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was, it Every, was different. Queensbridge looked yeah, crazy. Everything was looking crazy. Like, <laughs> it looked like taking a bitch to the like leaks fifth, was like taking her to shit, Wendy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was nothing like. Niggas getting the PPP money. Lamb <laughs> oh, the feds say, oh, shit, he bought a Lamborghini. Let's go get him. They start getting niggas and shit. Now niggas in the street is hungry because they no money. Right. Mm. That's what's going on, bro. Mm. That's why I love going to these places and being in Dubai. You know, you go to Paris. I think we were somewhere like, was it Switzerland or Denmark? The police have to actually leave their guns in the precinct. People are riding bikes and shit. You be in Amsterdam smoking a blunt, niggas are riding bikes. You like, what the fuck? Hey, don't, just, be in, don't be in the bike it's lane, less, though. It's, it's, like, oh, yeah. in America, yeah, don't be in the bike look, lane. In America to overseas, yeah. there's really less guns. Yeah. Like, when you go to Paris and places like that, yeah. London, they don't really have kind of like, you can't just go to, like, Walmart and buy the shot. Nah, we're yeah. the only place. It's not like yeah. that. Like, America got more guns. So when you yeah. go over there, it's just like a whole different vibe. Right. Switzerland, Italy. You, you was just on the water. Yeah, yeah. shit. No, nah, I like Switzerland. I, I, you can walk Switzerland around. is crazy. Yeah, you can walk around. Nobody gives Dubai a fuck. Dubai is very nice. Yeah, I, I love done it. been to Canary Islands. They got black sand. Uh. Um, Morocco. Yeah. I've been all parts of Africa. We've been uh. everywhere, like, with G-Unit. Uh -huh. And thanks to the six... Eminem was like, world... You know, he did 16 million. Uh. So he had us with the uh. co from him. Uh. Why? We was everywhere. And then we Why? had Interscope, Jimmy Iovine. Uh. We had that machine. You know, it was crazy being around Jimmy IV. I remember first going to his house. It was bananas. Did he have on shoes? Did he? No. You I think just... you know? Now you think you no, know? Uh, Jimmy IV. I'm thinking of Jimmy IV. No, the homie from TVT. He used to. No, 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 no. No, we're talking about Jimmy IV. Jimmy IV. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Beatles and shit. Yeah. We're talking about that. To Jimmy me, he don't wear shoes. He might not have shoes. On. <laughs> I don't know. We came to the house. <laughs> he had the fucking guys in suits with the dogs. Oh, the security. Mind oh. you, who Hefner's crib was like yeah. right across the okay. street. Okay. Fucking. Movie theater, candy shop, uh. fucking, uh, the fucking tables were spinning and shit, waiters are coming, it was just some crazy shit in Hollywood. Right. I was like, damn, we, we made it, this shit right. crazy. God damn, make some noise for that. Yeah. All right, yeah, yo. Mm -hmm. we, we gonna get into a game show, mm -hmm. uh, a game part of our show. <laughs> okay. Uh, you wanna explain it to him? Um, yeah. BFN? We're gonna give you two choices. Uh, you pick one, nobody's drinking, but if you say both or neither, we drink it. Taking a shot. Both or neither. Right. Yeah. We're drinking. Right. Yeah, but we drink with you. We don't leave. Yeah, you we all here. drink. We all drink it. So if you say the politically correct answer, like you say yeah. both or neither of them, then we're gonna drink. All right, I'm drunk already, so right. go ahead. I don't all know right. what's going on. You wanna take shots of that? Yeah, I'll take shots of the And what's the name of that? Shout to 50, Branson Cognac. Branson and Cognac! I know you got Diddy shit here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to hit 50 up. We got Jay shit on, here, too. We're going to hit 50 up. We got all the legend shit here, We're going to get, here, we gonna get everybody love, shit. Man. We want all our culture on nah, here. that's what it's about, You know what I mean? Man. I remember, you know, coming up watching everybody. So, like, I remember... Because, remember, we came after a lot of people. We mm -hmm. came after the locks. We came mm -hmm. after you guys. Mm -hmm. So, y'all the legends I looked up to. Like, man, y'all the... You know... I remember being in the basement, 160, mm. listening to the, the mixtapes and going mm. to Jamaica Avenue and mm. buying um, Dog Time, Grandmaster mm. Vic. Mm. Hold this... on, chit, 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 you going to? I, uh, I got all that in my notes. Please, please. Ron G? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You want to go to the first one? <laughs> right. Eminem or 50? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go 50 on that one. Okay. 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 
Nas Remember and Jay Z. You can say both if you want to be political. Yeah. Correct. You, ju you just drink yeah, for it. Nas and Jay Z. Mm. From Queens, gotta go Nas on that. Okay, now. okay. He picking. Okay. Yeah. Pac or DMX? I gotta go with Pac on that one. Uh. Biggie or Big L? Shh, fuck. I gotta go with Biggie on that one. That's damn, y'all fucking me up with that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Dre or Puff? I gotta go with Dr. Dre on that one. Huh. I've been in the studio with Dre. Never been in the studio with Puff. I know it's fun. Bad Boy House, I've never been there. <laughs> Daddy's house. Daddy's, Daddy's house. house, yeah. So I'm trying to tell you, them niggas had a lot of fun. Like, I want to say, I know it's cool to be down with Diddy and Jay-Z. When we was down with 50, had beef with everybody. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's, that's just life, man. You know what I mean? I love it. I love it. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, this is a good one. You just did hot boxes. So Tyson yeah. or Ali? Damn, I got to go with Tyson on that one. Sorry. You know you can take a shot if you want to be politically correct. I'll take a shot. Okay, okay. all right. I'll take no, a no, shot. This no, no, one, no, no. this one. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he ain't no, say both yet. But you so ain't say both. You don't, you, have you, ain't got, you don't have to. You don't have to. Okay. You got the next one? Uh, Old Dog or Nino Brown? Politically correct on that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> mm. Oh, that's a... LL or Big Daddy K? Politically correct. Okay, all right. Now he goes to the cross. Yeah. <laughs> Salute. That's a hard one, bro. Jeez. Okay, well, this is a good one. I got to I gotta answer this because this is my queens in me. Go ahead. By the way, I'm being polit politically correct on this one anyway. Mm -hmm. Get rich or die trying or Illmatic? Get rich or die trying. Though. Okay. All right. I have to. I you know why? That. Cause when 50 came, he sold like 11 million. Like I never thought, Bruh. you know, like to sell 11 million records, man. We never to sell saw that it. first million. A nigga from New York to sell that first million that week in New. And I always loved New York because New York supported us. They it start it spread it from New York. The bootleggers from New York. Okay. It started from the streets, all the boroughs, the you know the barbershops, the beauty salons. New York supported us. It's all about New York. I love New York artists, too. Like, I go hard. I love Rest in Peace Pop Smoke. I love, you know, A Boogies, the Don Qs, right. the Favios. I love all these, the drill rappers. I love New York. Right, nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's it's where it started from. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. I love to see New York win, because I feel like New York, we had a run for a long time, and Atlanta has its run, and right. Texas will have its run, and then it'll go back to New York. So, right. I, you know, New York... You know, bought us cribs, cars, took care of us, like the streets. Changed your life. We hear that the check riders are still in New York. We ain't going yeah, nowhere. That's right. <clears throat> um, raising Canaan or BMF? <laughs> Politically correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, the other shot glass. I just was. Okay. He ain't got it's, the other shot one? Yeah. You oh. might as well just leave a couple over. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're going to get bent. Cool. It could be whatever at this point. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Was partying with Meech the other night, too. He, yo, that's what I'll tell you. Parties in Miami? Yeah. This is the shit nah, I was, I, was I was seeing y'all through uh, Lala's Instagram. I mean, yeah, I'm in a party. <laughs> Lala's there. Yeah. Fucking uh, um, Amari... What is it? Amari Cooper? Amari Cooper party we went to. Um, um, fucking uh, my man Kane. Uh, you think actors hate when you call them by, like, their... I do it. Their part name? Yeah, like, I, probably, I, do I think they do, Like, but... I don't call Joseph. I call him Everybody Tommy. Everybody does it. I yeah, call yeah, yeah, I do Kane. it. Yeah. We called him Tommy the whole time. Yeah. He, did, he did the show. We, I we, call Lorenz Tate, Senator Tate. His brother was there. <laughs> I call him old, uh, old Dog. Old Dog. Like yeah. yeah. Murder call him Old Dog. <laughs> I'm sure they do it. Okay. How about this? He, well, let's go. Lost Boys or Onyx? I got to go Lost Boys. Okay. And yeah, if you got a rest story peace, to go with time. this. Yeah, rest in peace, Freaky Yeah, rest in peace. Uh, oh, I got plenty of um, Lost Boys stories. Give us so some. Okay, you want to go right yeah. now? Let's go. Lost Boys was like... People don't understand. It was kind of like a separation. Sheiks was from Rockaway Boulevard. You know what I'm saying? That area, 135. Ty was from right on 134 in God Brewer. Right. Ty had a couple of brothers. He had uh, J-Ball, Tito, IG, and Rami. Mm -hmm. So Ty, I got a lot of like that ad-lib energy from Ty watching. Really? You know what I'm about to say? Yeah. Hold on. Grab, I thought it was, uh, 
Grandmaster Vic, what is it? Yeah, Grandmaster Vic. And, and Freaky Todd. To me, that's been your, your ad lib style. Always yeah, yeah. been like, like them two together. Because you got to understand, that's what I say. Like back in the days, like we, my man DJ Rough Hands was a DJ. So we used to go to all the parties. That's when there wasn't no gangs. Everybody was just a drug dealer. Right. right. You know, niggas was cutting up main sauce. It was safer. Out the safer. Front door. Yeah. When everybody yeah. was selling drugs, it was safer. Yeah, everybody was selling drugs, bunch of The golden era. You get money. As long as you don't try to drugs. rob nobody, right. you right. 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 Don't come to niggas' block try to rob they block. That's when yeah. it's a problem. Everybody's getting money, bus trips, Donny Park. Mm. I come from that era. Niggas barbecue. Oh, shit, we getting money. We getting a lot of money. Like the barbecue. <laughs> niggas got the cars out, the new GSs and all that, Pathfinders. I come from that era. Right. It was a golden era. It was yeah. right. good times. As long as you didn't violate, niggas ain't gonna violate you. So right. with the Lost Boys, they did music. Mm -hmm. So they the first niggas that we actually seen while we were selling drugs. Because 50... The reason why 50 was advanced... Let me tell you things. This is why I like 50. And this got to understand. When 50 was 12, right? 12. When he was 12 years old, he's two years older than me. I was 10. I'm playing with Bruce Lee and shit like that and toys. He was on the block at 12. So wow. that made him more advanced than other mm -hmm. niggas. Wow. So by the time we was taking work on the block, Fifth had his own work, but he was in the same age bracket. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I always say he was a marketing genius. I'm gonna tell you why. This one story I'm gonna tell you. We had 31 bunnies back then, right? 31 bunnies. The capsule was about like that big. You know what I'm saying? We had 31 bunnies. Everybody's getting money. Everybody's eating. Here go 50, he gotta fuck up the economics and shit. <laughs> you know, like him starting trouble in the rap game, that's nothing to me because he did that on the block. He gotta start fucking shit up. Here comes with 50, 37 illusions. His capsules was like that. <laughs> gold tops, gold tops. Now, what he did was he cornered the market because he's just putting a little bit more work in the capsule. <laughs> Same charge. The capsule was a 37 illusion. So while everybody pieces was like that, his shit, he was more about the flip. Right. He didn't care. He just cared about how fast the flip cared. He didn't right. care about the work. Right. He cornered the market. Right. Wow. Then he called some Brooklyn niggas, and they robbed the whole block. Uh. <laughs> so then he forced everybody who didn't have his work to be outside with their gun. Now you're outside with your gun. Now you're losing money. Mm -hmm. Yo, let me get work from him. He called Brooklyn niggas. They robbed everybody. Uh. He cornered the market. He was smart. Yeah. Let's make some noise back. From the and what, he's like a teenager at that time? No, I'm just telling you, this is how it used to be on the block. Uh. That's why they say queens get the money. It was uh. like, in our neighborhoods, it was always, always money. There's parts in Brooklyn and Queens, right, there's right. money. But Queens was always known, left rack, Ravenswood, Queensbridge, uh. you know. And it's still crazy over there in uh, Queensbridge and uh. Ravenswood. Ha area. Havoc huh? or Alchemist? No, no. Oh, yeah. No. Okay, all right. How can we do that? Because Alchemist made... Shook one. Keep it thorough. No, he didn't do that. And keep it Alchemist thorough. Alchemist didn't do Shook one. No, Alchemist did keep it thorough. I no, think. but you said Shook one. No, you said Shook one. No, you said you Havoc. Violent. No, no, no Havoc, think... Havoc did Shook ones. Oh, you're talking about yeah. Alchemist, you're saying? Yeah, okay. yeah. Alchemist, Alchemist did okay. keep Alchemist it thorough. Rest in peace, Prodigy. And that's yeah. like... Rest in peace. Mm. Those are some, like, nah, hardest beats in mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. the world. Don't worry, I got you in my classes. No, no, it's all love. It's all love. T.O.Y., I like when you call yourself T.O.Y. No, because you got to think. You the first I mean, nigga to really fuck with Pharrell. I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nah, a lot of people, yeah. for the young niggas yeah. that don't know that, yeah. niggas really didn't really know Pharrell like that. And on her low Swiss beats, too. On her low. Swiss, on low, too? On her low. Band from that, TV. What, 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 Band from what? TV, no one knew that now was Swiss Pharrell, beats. Now Pharrell yeah. doing the Louis Vuitton shit. Uh -huh, yeah, shit, he better start calling me back. Yeah, he got to call you You put a lot of niggas on. Fake D, Pharrell. Nipsey Hussle or Easy E? Rest nah, I need another shot. Where my okay. girl at? Where she okay. at? Oh, I'll take a shot. Jamie at? Jamie? Need another shot. Hey. No, he need another. Those are done, I'm saying. Oh, yeah. But I'll, I'll oh, right there, right there. No, right, right there, there, right oh. there. Oh, okay. My bad, Jamie. Okay, yeah, yeah. She got you, she got you. Sorry. Just take one. Yeah, yeah, one. Because oh. you said Nipsey or who? Easy, Easy E. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bismarcky or ODB? <laughs> Cheers. Rest in peace to both. They both had their own style. Yeah. My you, shit was um you met the vapors. Um, you met um Biz and, and, and ODB? No, I didn't meet ODB. But you know what's a crazy story? The story is Freaky Todd died in ODB arms. Yeah. 
He got killed right on his the son, band. His son, his son, yeah, yeah his our son came on here and said that. that yeah. yeah, he said, but that didn't not happen. not the, not not that ODB. It was another dude named ODB. He said it wasn't old dirty bastard. Yeah, yeah niggas but, kept saying it was ODB. Yeah, that's son, from my that's from my yeah. knowledge. Yeah, it was old. It was old dirty bastard. You saw that. Like we, we got to, we, that episode is out, right? Yeah, 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 that came out. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't know, I didn't know he said that, but yeah. that was the rumor I always heard. I didn't know it was no ODB. Maybe I gotta ask J Ball or one of his older brothers. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's what he said. Okay, um, Paris or Amsterdam? I'm gonna drink on that. Okay. Okay, salut. Damn. Salut. Got a flight to catch, man. Mm-hmm. It's that Branson we drinking, oh, goddamn. Shit. Oh, man. Kiss or fab? I go kiss on that one. Okay. The locks or dipset? I go to locks on that one. Okay. Mm. Rockefeller or Rough Riders? I gotta go Rockefeller on that one. Okay. NWA or Wu Tang Clan? I'll drink on that. Okay, all right. That's a good one. I respect that. Good one to drink to. Shit. Well, this is a new one added to our collection. Finally, you guys. Would, would you um uh you wanna what? go with that one? What are we drinking? What? What kind of shit here? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You want to go to the next one? Light the weed. I need some more weed, bro. Oh, light the weed. Yeah, oh. we got more. Yeah. Shout right. out to the smoke champs. Yes, yes, I heard yes, they smoke right, more. They right. smoke more on the uh, show. Mm. Boozy or Ti? Little Uzi or Ti? No, Boosie. Boosie, 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 Boosie or Ti? I'm gonna go Boosie. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I'm bugging with this one. There you go. <laughs> Sean Money or Q-Tip? Who? Shaw Money or Q-Tip? Shaw Money Excel or Q-Tip? That's this, that? This, this, this These guys give up. Shaw Money, Shaw Money, Shaw Money, yeah, yeah, producer yeah. against Q-Tip. <laughs> That's I'm these going, motherfuckers. I'm going with I'm going with Q-Tip. Okay. Let me tell you something. Can I be honest? Yeah. Please. Shaw Money's the first nigga I seen rob a nigga. <laughs> I definitely wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that either. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were telling me producing something. You were, you were. I'm gonna tell you a story. I like to be honest. I don't like to be with this fake industry <laughs> shit. I wasn't ready. Look, <laughs> and Shaw Money could be mad. I still love him. He made plenty of other beats that was hot. Right. But Shaw Money didn't make Wangster. Another producer made Wangster. Oh, and we said Money... rob a nigga for a beat. Yeah. Oh. oh. I said, so I'm not ready for that either. Yeah, for that either. Wait, so okay. you got to understand, me being under 50, I just sat there and soaked up the game. So, like, I never was a grimy nigga. Like, if you do something, I'm going to give you a credit. You know what I mean? What? So the nigga, look, the nigga that made Wankster was a nigga from... I don't even remember him. That's how bad he got jerked. Oh, damn. You know what I mean? But he was like a nigga from, like, North Carolina. Know what I'm saying? And I remember being in the car with 50, and Sha Money was there. And not to talk bad about him, I just like to be truthful. Because for all you artists or niggas in the game, how niggas is fucked up in the game. Like, right, could happen. You know, you're a good guy, you get a black eye in this shit. So, you know what I mean? So, Sha Money, 50's in the car, and the producer's calling like, yo, Sha Money saying this is me. 50 turn around and he like, yo, you ain't even clear this shit yet, nigga. Nigga saying it's his fucking beat, nigga. Uh, uh, so 50 looking at him like he didn't even sign the contract or whatever. Okay. 50 might have had a little piano, yo, produced by Shaw Money. Uh, I'm like, damn, that's fucked up, bro. It's just being truthful. The game is fucked up. You know that shit. But, but, but it, on the actual production credit, does it say produced by Shaw? It was Shaw Money. I don't even remember the producer that made it. It was another nigga, bro. I wasn't so ready. I just seen you, you know, jerked your first nigga. I'm like, l- learning in the game. I'm, like, <laughs> shit. I'm not trying to diss him or not. He made shit down the line. He's a, you know, that's my brother. Right. But I just seen, yo, this is how business go. You could produce some shit. I add a little string. I made it. Right. Oh, what? Add a little string. I made that. But <laughs> essentially, it's supposed to be coping. But, ain't, ain't that, ain't, <laughs> but hold on, ain't that what Dr. Dre kind of does? A lot of niggas do it. Let's yeah. be serious, okay. nigga. Now, nah, if you put people together and purposely and you orchestrate it, you could say you produced it. Okay. But that, but he's saying they didn't agree on but that. There's problem. a lot of ghost producers that niggas don't know yeah. about. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep it real. That's like, what Mailman was in really Dre's yeah. camp. Yeah. So I think it was Mailman. I think. But that shit so how it goes. You got, if yeah. the, that's how the game goes. 
Right. Okay. Um. Now niggas kind of know they shit a little better. They're like, what? I want to. Huh. My name. They put, put their tag too. on that shit. Oh, that's what. That's why yeah. the tags. A little the tag. clear yeah. cup. One that one is credit. <laughs> <laughs> on the beginning of the shit. Yeah. Okay. Um. Lloyd Banks or Styles P. I gotta go with Lloyd Banks on that one. Okay. Shout out to Styles, but Banks don't get enough credit. He do got a lot of punchlines, man. Yeah, super, super. We was the bad guys of the game. Everybody hated us, so it was kind of, like, different. Mm -hmm. And then niggas started to pop, and it was different, you know? Your man Khaled, DJ Khaled! It was just over like shit. <laughs> in the club. Because <laughs> I got set up. Look, look, look. I wasn't ready. No, no, no. Because look, I had... Yo, look, G-Unit was the bad guys of the game because of 50. So it was like, damn. There was situations where I'm like, damn, man. This is my guy. And hold, I, hold on, because I want to ask that question. Please, can you hold that? Let's just finish quick right, time. Go ahead, go ahead. Go go ahead. Go. I promise you, I, go I have that question. Go ahead, go ahead. We got that question. We go back to, say, to that, man. You, you got to be getting right over here. Let's go. Uh, all right. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, now we're slowing it down. All right. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, okay, I'll ask this one. <laughs> Uncle Murder or Casanova? I got to go with Uncle Murder. Free Casanova, Free though. Casanova, though. Free Casanova, though. Free Casanova, though. Yeah. Um, New Jack City or Juice? Mm. I got a drink to that. Yeah. Okay. So, so, I favorite. respect that. It was a classic. Come on, bro. Yep. Tommy or Ghost? I need another shot. Where's my girl at? Yeah, 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 yeah. I need another shot. I need more shots because Tommy oh. and Ghost are two ill characters. Yes. And Tommy's still alive, so his shit, they about to come back. For some reason, I'm going like to bring Ghost back. I don't know. That shit's a ghost. ghost. <laughs> you never know what 50 got up his yeah, sleeve, exactly. man. Exactly. Salud. Okay. Woo. Shit. Paid in full or criminal minded? Mm. I got to go with paid in full, bro. Rakim, Barry B and Rakim? Yeah. No, you, you know, we're not talking about the movies. We're talking about the albums. No, oh, yeah, those are kind of fucked up. I did think you was talking about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about you. Yo, yo, Elliot. Boyo Loco. You know, every time I always no, no, think no, about no, you, no. Were you Who were you in that movie? Not Boyo Loco. Nah, I ain't have a name. No, he was in Paid in Full. Nah, I know, I know, but what was the, you didn't have a but name? He was, no, his... I, was, I was drug dealer number two. <laughs> yeah. That was my name. I ain't have He's a like, name. He's like, yo, man, we nigga got cut and shit on the dance floor, man, yo. You know where I got that from? And you freestyled that shit in the movie, too. Good actor. Listen, listen, I don't know why you stopped. You know stopped, I got bro. that from? What? I was in 40 projects, because I told you I, I got my family in 40 Nigga, projects. Nigga, you was everywhere. I know about and you. And when I seven, I got bro, I used to I used to be there. You was I everywhere. Cuss everything. Well, one day I was a kid and I was I was uh chilling in 40 and I seen fucking Alpo come through 40 projects on a motherfucking moped. Yeah. And I forget which drug that it was. Was it Pappy or one of them? And and, and Alpo and them was just, they was just going up and down. And they didn't like that at all. They, that's why I said, the Puerto Rican nigga popping willies. No, 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 no. They didn't Rican like it at all. Shit, man. But, because at one point, when Griselda, later on, and I, I know this sounds like out of this world, mm -hmm. but I, I was later on found out that when Griselda moved to Queens, all Queens became uptown. Like how we had to go uptown yeah. to Rhea, Queens had became uptown, yeah. and Griselda all the uptown to dudes had to come to, come to us. Right. So, you know, that was some crazy. Yeah, left but, right. All right. Left so, right, but pay, pay, pay the four or criminal minded? Pay the four, Eric B and Rakim out, and, and, and criminal minded. Criminal minded, criminal minded. you've been blinded, paid in full. I gotta go pay the full on that. You gotta go, because we Criminal Minded got had the bridges over yeah, on there yeah, yeah. in South Bronx. Good, good fucking, yeah. good fucking choice. We ain't making that shit. Like, oh no, I love that. Album. Love KRS, we love you. But yeah, when you nah. said Queens was faking yeah. it, damn. Yeah, yeah, we didn't, we didn't forgive you. Dang, he went in. He went <laughs> in. That's what hip hop was. Hip hop. That's why I always say I love Ralph McDaniel's video mm -hmm. music box, mm -hmm. Nintendo, yeah. good times, man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Legend of Zelda. Yeah. And we need Ralph. Double up. dribble. Yeah, double dribble and all that. Mob Deep or MOP. I gotta go with Mob D, rest in peace. Okay. You know what I mean? I got a rest in peace prodigy. I gotta go with Mob D. I like MOP, I love him, but. Tribe Core Quest or Brand Nubian? Tribe Core Quest. Queens all day over here. Yeah, I, I, I love his, his, his Queens answers. Okay, and my, and is... I like Brand Nubian, but what's my man? Lord Jamal be dissing Eminem all the time for no reason. Eminem's my guy. Yeah. Free Ayo. When Eminem's I was in jail my... on the island, Free Ayo. And I was just listening to a record, you, and I love Eminem, Brand and Obi Trice. 
Yeah. Oh. And I love brand one for all oh, brand new band. Yeah, I used to I used to, they was one of my favorite groups. What? I can't lie. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's the last one on all Quick right. Time or Slime. The right. last one for right. interview. Quick time. I like I like this game. Loyalty or respect? Loyalty. We will ask you to explain. Well, I think from being loyal, you get respect. Continue. So, like, shout out to all the dudes. Like, it's not about who got the most money or uh. the most cars. It's about just, you know, going to check a nigga uh -huh. in jail, you know, making sure his family good. Just a little shit. That's what make you a superhero. Right. Shit got, niggas got everything the wrong way. Niggas respect, niggas on Instagram. I'm lit, look, look. What about the niggas that came home, we know, that did bids 10 years, 20 years, changed their life around, trying to do good shit for the community? Right. I know niggas like that. My right. man Boopy like that. Right. He did time, he working group homes with kids and shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get them in shape, he box. Mm -hmm. You know, change their life around. Those are the niggas that matter too, not just because a nigga lit on Instagram or a nigga got this or got that. Mm. You know, loyalty to me is more. It's like, yo, you could, you should be able to be around somebody's wife mm. or kids or money and be trusted. Mm. God damn, I'm taking a shot for yeah. that, even though you don't have yeah. to. Yeah, no, I got it. I'm taking a shot for that. Yeah, man, it's true. Now you... You got to remember, I live yeah. with 50 on his couch with yeah. his baby mother, with his first son, Marquise. Mm. I was on the couch, and I always tell people... I know the difference. If I'm at your house, your crib, I can't be on your couch on the run on no boxes. I'm going to have some sweatpants on, <laughs> fully dressed. Right. Y'all, I'm going to be out your way. Even if you and your lady have an argument, yo, it's time for me to leave the crib. Right. Let me step outside and throw out the garbage or something. You right. know what I mean? Right. Right. Let me just try to uh, walk off or something. Because mm. I'm on the run. I'm on your couch. I got to be respectful. Right. Why mm. I want to look at your lady for when there's a million ladies in the world? All right. Let's make sure. Sometimes, look, look, no, think about it. Sometimes a nigga want to fuck with your lady because it's you. Yeah, yeah. not here yet. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 So it's like for me, like when I was in 50 Crib on the run, I just appreciated being allowed to be on the couch. I'm on the run. Right. You trust me. You're my brother. All right. You know, you done did a lot for me, you know. And my mom's even loved 50. 50 right. was, you know, he had to, he was a street nigga, but he always was witty. Right. So my mom's be like, 50, take him with you. He's going to get in trouble out here. Right. She always knew is he that, had to play. Is that a Haitian accent? Was yeah, yeah, 50. Haitian accent. <laughs> take, take, take him with you, please. Because 50 always was smart. He always had to plan together. Yo, listen, yo, anybody sell drugs, get away from me. You want to uh, kill niggas and call me? Get away from me. Right. The feds are watching. So you know, people are saying watching. Once he got legit. Yeah, once yeah. he got legit, you know, we around people like Chris Lighty and other people, yeah. Jimmy Iovine. Yo, if you sell drugs, get away from me. Right. right. You want to do that? Get away from me. Right. He got 50 million legitly now. What the right. fuck you want all this shit around you for? Right, real. You know them people is watching. Real. I'm taking another shot for that. Yeah. So this 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 the fifth. Yeah. yeah. No no. Where's your other shot? You got another shot somewhere. Oh, I know. I know Jamie. Jamie. You got another shot. Over Jamie. Somewhere. <laughs> Jamie. No. Oh, all right. Cool. Uh, uh. Got Jamie working. Oh my bad. <laughs> Give him an extra shot. <laughs> Just to have him around. I'll tell, yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Salud. So this is to 50 Cent, man, for being a real dude from the beginning. To to y'all keep going. We love you. Shout to Continue 50, to man. do it, man. Shout Shout to one of our favorite drink champs episode. One of our favorite man. drink champs yeah. episode. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, I was like, yeah. let's get that. Let's get that. Yeah. 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 Need that for the crib, man. Yeah. 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 Don't drop it again. Nah, he got the new and improved one. Yeah, but don't don't drop that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Yeah, brother. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> shit is real over here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> shit is real over yeah. this show. Yes, yes. <laughs> man, come on, man. And yes. salute to you, man, because, like, He's one of my idols, man. Nah, nah, but I want to make it about you. Like, but, 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 but yeah, yo, let me just tell you. Let me just, I want to make it no, about you. No, but you, you got to understand, for me to be in these rooms, look, I'm yeah. just a dirty nigga from 134. <laughs> nah, right? nah, I don't say yeah. that. So look, no, listen. I'm, I'm a dirty nigga from 134 and yeah. God Brewer. Yeah. For me to be in a room 
Yeah. Nori War Report. Yeah, yes. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my man used to. Uh, uh, my, Pharrell. First nigga with Pharrell. My, my yeah. man used to be in the basement cutting that shit up. Uh, uh, uh. Wu Tang. Even though them niggas don't like me, I love Wu Tang. Oh, why? Nah. We, like, we never heard of this. Tell us what happened. Because you know, 50 started all the beef and everybody still hate me, but they always love 50. <laughs> 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 but I didn't know. Stay with you. But I would love to hang with these guys. You, you have, have fun yeah. with these guys. You, you know, yacht with these guys. You, you, you know, I would love to hang with these guys. But you, know, you know what's crazy? You, you alluded to it earlier, right? And one thing I know, noticed about uh, 50 was um, I love 50. I appreciate 50 because one thing for sure, two things for certain. What I had heard was um, he was like, yo, if I do a record with Nori, I got the hood, right? Of course. And, and I was just like, at the time, I was like, I love that. I love that. That was his, that's how I got approached to do a record with 50. They said that his exact words was, if he do a record with me, he'll have the hood. So I did it. Boom. Immediately, it was Trackmasters. Um, I think it was Corey Rooney and Trackmasters. And Shout out to Corey Rooney. Corey yeah, Rooney, Rooney. Bobby Shot. I did, I did, a, I did one record. I believe it was in Bearsville. I don't know. Oh if you yeah, Bearsville. Bearsville. No, I'm familiar with okay, that. You, you used know, to go, yeah, 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 used we, to go up there. We used yeah. to go up there in Bearsville. Now, in case you, I don't know. This is some of the dopest shit I've ever been. It's, I'm not saying flyer shit. But I'm saying dopest shit. Like they would go up there. They have, they would have me, Nature, Nas. Uh, 50 Cent, and yeah. just have us in, in each different rooms in, in creating. So I would go in 50's room, he'll come in my room, we'll go in uh, Nature's room, we'll go in Trackmaster's room, and it, it, similar to what uh, Junior Wild was, was describing, saying right, in the right. writer's room. Right. Like a writer's boot camp type. Yeah, but this yep. was something totally yeah, different. Bearsville. And at that. the time, and at the time, like again, like how he was saying, um, I, I don't want to say it was, but it was like a lot of people didn't want to mess with 50, right? But when they was, well, approached me, I was just like, "Cause of what? Cause how to rob? Had how yeah. to rob come out yet? Cause how to rob? Yeah, yeah, yeah I believe Cause, so. Cause, but but I, but you, when you look at how to rob, it was listen. If you a nigga that don't got nothing, right? Yeah. No, 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 look, 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 it think was, about it, Nori. Think yes, about yes, it. Yes, yes. You a nigga that don't got nothing. Yeah. Uh -huh. You trying to get on? It mm. was the best marketing plan. Right. So right. when I looked at it. When when pun dissed him, blow your head off the bit the bit the bit the bit the blow your head off fifty cent. Niggas was he was in the crib. Woo! When, when, when Jay Z dissed him, uh, I'm about a dollar. dollar. What the fuck? Yeah. Woo! Ooh, yeah. So <laughs> I'm like, why is he happy? You got the best niggas dissing you. But then I'm like, damn, that shit was kind of ill marketing. It elevates you to right. the best. Because how to rob, what did he have to lose? Right. And this is right. before he got shot. Right. This is right. this is power with a dollar. Right. But when the nigga ain't got nothing left to lose. Right. No, I, I you know, you know what's crazy? And um that's the reason why I hadn't seen uh, and Pun was your guy. Pun yeah. kidnapped. Hold on, let, let me just say that nigga kidnapped who kid back in the day? <laughs> That's a famous niggas, story. Yeah, Fat Joe and that. them niggas are real, bro. Yeah, yeah. Them Spanish niggas are <laughs> the real, man. Get to them niggas are problems, yeah. man. I give it up to them niggas, we'll, man. We'll get to, but what was I saying before that? Um, About the, the writer's boot camp. Okay, yeah. The so, but what I'm saying is, after... I, I know right now, like, for me to say... Like, I was the first nigga to fuck with 50. It sounds like so cliche. It's no, like, you, oh, no, it's true. You the first the nigga to... the fact, and it's two yeah. records. Not I'm trying one. to remember the song, because I know it. It's Money, Money, uh, um... Uh, I have no, the record. Money, 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 by any means, and, and look, it's another it one. one before How to Rob, and then one after How to Rob. That's how you let you know I stood... That's why, like, I feel like 50 always fucks with me. And I always nigga. fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, like, right now, to say that I fucked with him early, it sounds like it's like, oh, okay, of course, you can, you're just supposed to say that. You're supposed to say that. He's over here. Right. But it's actual facts. No, you know what it is with you? You don't give yourself I, preps. No, no, like, no, 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 I listen, no, 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 not enough. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> not enough. Not enough. Because you was the first that. nigga I, fucking yeah. with. Yes. Pharrell, yes. 50, yes. Nelly, yes. the list goes on. You know one, bro. Yeah. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Cash Money, yeah. You was the first nigga fucking with a a lot of niggas, and you gotta understand, niggas sold drugs in cold weather to your albums. Word, goddamn, make some noise for that. Yeah. Take a, take a shot to that. You gotta shot no, no, somewhere. No, no, you got I to. know Jamie's. You gotta shot somewhere. Cause yeah. look, look, when you came, look, when you came, with, what, what, what? You uh -huh. come on, you had, you went from like CNN niggas yeah. on the run eating. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, what was the one with Nas? Uh, Body in the trunk. Body, Body in the trunk. trunk. Yep. Uh -huh. You, you uh -huh. came with the solo album. Uh -huh. 
you can't. The streets, nigga, was you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Niggas in the selling drugs. Oh shit, that nigga Nori. But then when you came with the Pharrell joint, you uh-huh. first nigga to put on Pharrell too. God damn it. And yeah. Pharrell's a high call. Louis, Louis Vuitton, you have the hat on right Louis now. Louis Vuitton. I respect it. Pharrell, shout to him. Right? Neptune's at the time. Look. <laughs> what, what, what? I know he's worried about my man. Recipes, fat shot, cutting that shit up in the basement. Right. You had the clubs. You took yeah. it to a whole nother, yeah, like, yeah. you kind of took it like, it was like a uh, radio record. Right. But it was still hooked. What, right. what, what? Right. And you, y'all niggas had your own slogan. Yes, we did. Wasn't y'all yeah. for slime first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slime. Yeah, but hold on, hold on. We're going to. Slime we first. We're gonna flip it on you because um slime. Because let, let, now let me just tell you something, which which is And I love y'all skits, because y'all y'all skits used to be. Y'all was listening to your skits, you, you the your skits today. Um but hold on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let me let me flip it on you. Mm-hmm. And you guys, right? Mm-hmm. Because at the time we had Nas. Nas, of course. We had Jay. We had Mob D, we had MOP, we had Capone and Noriega, mm-hmm. then we had the Nori run, we had that. But that get rich or die try and run, it's what? unprecedented. It's crazy. Like, I, I, like, like to this day, not only, of course, I'm gonna say I've never seen it in New York because I'm from New York, right. and New York at the time we ran the world. If it ran in New York, it ran all over. Right. But that run has never been duped. But you, but you know what I realized? That's when I realized it was business with Chris Lighty and these niggas and recipes of Chris Lighty because I learned a lot. Uh-huh. I learned that the business game is not is chess, not checkers. Right. Just like Irv Gotti was like, yeah, we would have blocked him if he would have signed with these niggas on Universal. Mm. So I'm looking at 50, I'm seeing, I'm in meetings, and niggas are like, 1.7 million. I'm like, take the money. <laughs> take the money. <laughs> take the money. I'm like, we in a fucking minivan with no AC, we got bulletproof guns, we got... It's- Shit is real. We beefing with cream and these <laughs> niggas. Shit, shit is real. <laughs> Kill anybody. He's crazy. He just fit. He's crazy. He got shot. He's crazy now. Mm-hmm. So now we running around. I'm like, take the money. He's not taking the money. He's not taking the money. Because he's not taking the money because he feels like Because Irv would have blocked him. Like I tell you, uh-huh. D- DJ Khaled. Right. I had seductive dropping. Right. So seductive. I didn't know. Uh-huh. Yeah. I didn't know nothing about the music business. I just know they was like, and we beefing with Joe. Joe had powers like then. You fuck with Fat, you know you fuck with Fat Joe. Khaled ain't fucking with you. So, so that, <laughs> I guess he was Terror Squad. So we trying to say that you gave DJ Khaled the record to play? No, I'm going to tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. Yeah. So in my mind, we had beef with Fat Joe. I'm like, damn, we got beef with Fat Joe now? Because sometimes you be like, damn, man. You want to enjoy your rap? <laughs> you got tired of the beef? <laughs> <laughs> Who did you have beef with before 50 that? 50 didn't give a fuck. He's just crazy. You <laughs> yeah, yeah. know what I mean? But you're like, damn, 50 with Fat Joe now? Damn, man. I, I can just look at Who his we got? <laughs> So we got beef with Fat Joe now? Damn. <laughs> so now I got my record I'm trying to promote. So they're like, yo, you got to go to Miami. Uh-huh. So I'm like, oh, shit, Miami, man. Oh, I got to come out here, bro. They're like, yo, you got to go to DJ Khaled. I said, yo, you know Nelson? Uh, yeah, Nelson, yeah, Nelson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, G- uh, Nelson, yeah. Gabby, all of them. So yeah. Nelson, like, yo, man, DJ Khaled is cool, man. He's going to play the record. Yo, bro. <laughs> I say, yo, bro, I don't think this is a good idea, man. <laughs> Why would they tell you that? I told these niggas. It's the industry, bro. These niggas they will set you up, bro. You They'll set you up. Uh-huh. They'll set you up. Yo, I'm going to give you stories, bro. They'll set you up, bro. Don't believe this industry shit. So I'm like, yo, bro, this is not a good idea. DJ Khaled, we beefing with Fat Joe. Huh. Mind you, Shot 9-7 just happened. Oh. Shot 9-7, the game, henchmen, all that shit. Okay. Shot 97 got right, banned you know, from Hot 97. We was the first shootout at Hot 97, just so y'all know. I know y'all was the first. We was the first. All right. Just, <laughs> but, just, see, I know y'all. y'all we got, we got yeah, banned second. Yeah, after us. I'm sorry. Crazy. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know? <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead. So Shot 97, that just happened. Uh-huh. So I'm like, yo, bro, I'm telling you, this is not a God I, good idea, man. I'm telling you, bro. I'm like, yo, this is not a good idea, man. Right. I'm telling Nelson. He's like, yo, man, I'm telling you, fuck it. He going to play the record. So we go up there, DJ Khaled, go up there. You know, he's marketing genius. Khaled, yeah. he's getting bigger at this point. Uh-huh. I told these niggas, yo, don't take me to DJ Khaled. <laughs> Fat Joe, that's his man. Right. He damn near terror squad. Right. Going there, I'm not going to say who was there. Uh-huh. Nigga was there, had the big hammer on him. <laughs> <laughs> Go in there, you see the weights bulging. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, uh, we wasn't traveling light. I'm not uh, gonna say much, but uh, we wasn't traveling light. Uh, so you know, go to Cali to shake his hand. 
DJ Khaled, get the fuck out of here. Word them up, my hands like this. I'm like, told you, Nelson. It was on Nelson. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me, tell me, you're going too fast. Hold on, tell me. When you reached your hand towards DJ Khaled. I told Nelson, don't bring me to DJ Khaled. They said, yo, he going to play the record. Okay, he's so cool, he's playing 50 shit. DJ Khaled, this is the beef with Fat Joe. Okay. That's why I say Fat Joe, whole way, shout out to uh, Fat Joe. Right. Yeah, got crazy Spanish niggas, uh, uh, knives jumping out, right. do all kinds of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pistol Pete, right. all these crazy niggas. So, that's his man. And I respect Khaled for that, because so, that was on, his man. I'm trying to establish So, I told Nelson, I don't want to go to DJ Khaled. But you did go. And you but I did go, because this is radio. This is I don't understand this shit. I'm getting out of jail. But you giving DJ Khaled a five, and then what he what does he do? DJ Khaled. Look at my hand. DJ Khaled, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> nah, I can't believe it. So I'm like, yo, fuck you, Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> I that's, swear to God. That sounds wild. You can ask him. That sounds wild. <laughs> <laughs> nigga looked at my hand, nigga. <laughs> it's like, that don't even in my head was <laughs> DJ Khaled. Yo, yo, you heard that, yeah. I just heard, oh, you heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he uh, said that. Nah, he didn't say that. He, he said that. that. He said that too, nigga. <laughs> And I'm like, <laughs> then he got his man, the yeah, big yeah, shit yeah, on Yeah, 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 yeah. DJ, that's how I eat, nigga. <laughs> how we eat? <laughs> He's screaming. <laughs> nigga, that's with me. It's like shells are flying here. Uh, uh, K Fox, you remember what? K Fox? Yes, of course. Yeah, K Fox was like, Tupac died this day. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, yeah, niggas is beefing on Tupac death. Yeah, niggas is out of line. And look, it's shot not. Which is the other day. The anniversary look, is the other day. So. But you know, once the industry hates you, it's like you're against everybody. That's right. how G Unit felt. Right. Tupac died this day. I hate G Unit. Don't tell me you was Why'd like. Why'd you bring Yayo here? <laughs> DJ Khaled, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, he, he was blowing up. Your ad lives are wild. <laughs> he was blowing up. Khaled blew up. Yeah. Khaled came a long way. Yeah, no, he sure uh, yeah. did. So they brought me, you know, his man had the big hammer. Uh. Big hammer. Shit bulging. Uh. Oh, you see his waist bulging. Uh. Damn. Lucky we had, you know. Uh-huh. DJ Khaled, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm looking at the radio, nigga, like, I told you, this nigga don't that fuck was... with niggas. All right. That's why I shot the Fat Joe. I'm glad the beef with Fat Joe is but, over, man. All right. It was it was it ever a time I will get back to Fat Joe, but was it ever a time you was beefing with somebody like damn, I, we gotta beef with him? I think Fat Joe, man. Yeah, hey, he just said yeah, because them lot. Spanish niggas from the Bronx, right. them niggas, man, are just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the Dominican, Puerto Rican niggas, like <laughs> them niggas, when it come to certain niggas they love, they gonna go all the way. Mm -hmm. Like a nigga like Pistol Pete, mm -hmm. he was gonna go all the way. Like Pete, my man, one time I ran into him in the Diamond District. Mm -hmm. He said I ran, but I put it on my father. I didn't run. <laughs> right. But look, I had right. two of my mans with me. He had two little Spanish niggas that look like they, you know. All right. Dance with the knobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know them niggas in the Bronx? Them niggas start... <laughs> them niggas start dancing with them West Side Story shit. Like, my nigga, he had two little grimy niggas right. with him. So, right. like, Joe got niggas. His right. brother was right. somebody, right. right, in the right. Bronx, right. right, I believe. Uh -huh. His brother uh -huh. was somebody. Uh -huh. Joe had niggas that was ready to die. Mm -hmm. You know them niggas in the Bronx? The niggas will pull a machete out on you. Start right. dancing. Right. Start dancing. That's when I realized, you know, them Bronx niggas was crazy. Right. I seen the E-Moneys, the Troys, the Homos, mm -hmm. Black Just. Like, I used to be in the hood. When, right. when, when, when Nas brought, when they did Hate Me Now on Farmers, I was there. Yeah. On top of the store, we go to the blunt. Yo, let's go Nas and them down there. Yeah. That's how it used to be. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, they shooting over there where LL used to live at the rock. Bimmy and them, the rock, and them the, you know. The, the, the black rock, black. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Because LL is like one of my favorite rappers. Like, I always debate with people. Like, you think about it, he had three different eras the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s. And he's still and out right here. Right now, right now. And he's still out here. And then he went to the movies. Yep. Yeah. And TV. Yep. He's still out here. So LL's like one of my favorite rappers. You know, I'm Queens all day, man. And I, that's he, why. I, um, he doing the Rock the Bell shit. Even Bimmy, like, a nigga like Bimmy, like, we was in um, Brooklyn Chop and going, I'm chilling with Banks, and Bimmy bring Bobby Brown downstairs. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, I ain't never, my, 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 my. <laughs> <laughs> I start thinking about prerogative. My prerogative. It's my prerogative, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. Bobby's like the fucking man. Mm -hmm. New edition. Mm. Like, damn, we in Brooklyn Chop. This nigga Bimmy be with everybody. Tracy Morgan. Right. But I always know Bimmy, you know, having cars. And, you yeah. know, that's what Queens, you know how Queens right. is. 
But, but let me ask you, has that, like, you know, because at, at one point, you know, everyone is all down with the same crew, right? Right. But it's like, it's, it's, it's great to, to, you know, go off and venture off and do your own thing, right? right? And then come back to the crew and make sure everything is cool, right? You know what I mean? So, so you're not getting everything from the crew. Was that something that, you know, damaged you? Like when you um, went out? I feel like when you look at the success of G-Unit, right? When the nigga that got more money than everybody is working harder than everybody, then something's wrong. Say so that for again. Nigga, Say that one more time. When a nigga that got the most money out of everybody is working harder than everybody, mm. then something might be a little bit wrong. Mm. <clears throat> and not taking nothing away from Banks, mm -hmm. Game, or um, Buck, mm -hmm. but 50 is the type of nigga, if we on the road, he going to go to the gym twice. Mm -hmm. We going to stop in Bahrain. He going to shoot the extendables with Stallone and them that's coming out. Right. So I'm looking at his work ethic like, damn. I got to make sure I'm early for drink champs because right. this nigga's outworking me and got right. way more money than me. Right. As well as a Diddy or a J. These right. niggas are outworking niggas, bro. Right. So niggas are complaining like, yo, I ain't getting no money. You not working. Right. Nigga like 50 ain't sleeping, bro. Right. We on a plane, he Damn. reading a script. We land, he in the gym twice. Yo, we here. Yo, where he at? Yo, he got to go shoot. Like, so when you around a nigga like that and he be like, yo, you lazy, you kind of don't take it personal. Wow. Uh, it's just the niggas just outworking you. Wow. Uh, and it's all good. Uh, you know, because me and Murder, we in Armani Hotel, we lighting up. <laughs> you relax. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, look, that. no, no, listen. Me and Murder, we in the hotel. I'm Salute. Up, but we like, yo, Salute. damn, 50 went to the gym twice, uh, and he reading the movie script. Uh, damn. We not working, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to work hard. Mm -mm, take this shot, sir. Oh, yeah, take the shot. Yeah, we watching you. So it's the work, it's the work ethic, man. Mm. You know? And then I'm seeing like all these guys turn into stars. You see, like Meech. I remember Meech was rapping and now you see him big jewelry on. You know, he's looking My little good Meech. Out. Yeah, little Meech. Yeah. He's looking good out here. Yeah. He's out here, you know, I'm with I'm with Woody, Kane, right. Tommy. These guys are stars off of power and all these good shows that's coming on. Right. And I'm like, yo, now niggas in the hood that I know, they want to be actors. Niggas like, man, fuck a rapper. Word. You want to be an actor. Word. Get whatever, everything that a rapper get. Jewelry, chicks, whatever. You know what I mean? Because that run that 50's having right now with the, um... What, what do we call them? Sitcoms? Or what do we call them? Not uh, sitcoms. Not sitcoms. Series. Series, series um... What, but what are, uh, Series? Yes. They're dramatic um, series. Yeah, um... Huh? That's, that's not comedy. You, you no. say comedy? Oh. Dramatic series. Yeah, there's Dramatic series. series. Yeah. Like, the, that run that he's having... It's an empire. But I think I think when you when you look at this, right? Uh. And 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 to be honest, I feel like like even back in the days, I was watching like I think it was someone on CNN. Uh. I was in a hotel watching it, uh. and it was talking about how like a lot of black television built a lot of stations, uh. like Martin, uh. um, Queen Latifah had our show. Uh. A lot of them shows blew up a lot of them stations back in the day. Mm. Right. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So. Our culture will always be loved. Like, like I said, paid in full. That's a classic, bro. Right, yeah. So if I'm watching the Heat with De Niro and all that, uh -huh. paid in full is like, uh -huh. do you know what I mean? You in there like, it's, these are classic movies. I think people just want good content. And now you got so much content out there. Like, you got Instagram now. You got Twitch. Uh -huh. You got Hulu. You got YouTube. So well, like, when you keep doing these interviews, uh -huh. just don't stop. Because niggas uh -huh. just want, we just want the content. Because right. Right. I'm on my phone all day. I'm not going to say I'm not addicted. I'm addicted to the internet, too. Right. Oh. You drop an interview, I'm going to watch it. Right. Right. You know what I mean? As well as, you know, the other guys that's out there that's good. You and Joe Buttons be talking a lot of shit, too. <laughs> yeah. Shout to y'all. But y'all did it. Y'all shit is... Y'all popping, man. Y'all yeah. pop a lot of shit. Y'all no, can do it. No, no, no. It was only when we were together. It was no, only I, one episode. I, I, one episode, but I love it. Yeah. You know, I mean, you yeah. had some of the... I love it, you know, but you deserve it. You know, y'all you, yeah. you know, had some of the biggest stars ever on the show. Yeah. But people want content. Right. Yeah. I want content every day. Right. What's going on? What's the new news? All right. Yeah? We want it. Because, you know, it's all about the content. And that's what I realized. 50 like working. And catalog. Look, and you think it. about it. He did Power. Like, right. when we think about cla classic series, The Wire. Yep. Right. Sopranos. Yep. Right. What else we going to think? Um, 
What you say? Oz. 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 Yeah. Yeah. None of them had spinoffs. All of the platforms. Um, what's the one with my man that was selling drugs? Who? Which one? No, nah, not Snowfall's in there, but before that, um, with the white guy. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, yeah. Brazil. None of them had spinoffs. They had yeah, some. Breaking Bad does. It has Breaking uh, Bad got a spinoff? The, the lawyer. What? Oh, the lawyer. Oh, Saul. Yeah, that, that's huge. Really? It is, yeah, it's big. It's huge. Oh, that went... <laughs> huge. Oh, the Lena... Uh, the the Shy's up there. Yep. We gonna say Godfather of Harlem. Okay, yeah. Because what's my man that's in there? Um, um, um my man. Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. Godfather of Harlem's good. Wow. And... We can sit, we can, we definitely got to put Snowfall in there. Yeah, Snowfall, Snowfall. 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 Snowfall sure. is in there. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't know how them overseas niggas throw their voice like that, though, because my man's, like, straight from London. And, and um, yeah. yeah. they do it. Oh, we yeah. We I, never yeah, do yeah. it. Then you, go, Idris, um, then you got to put, you got to put Power. Yeah. But look, think yeah. about it. Power had an eight-year run. Damson, Damson. That nigga, Michael Rainey was, like, a baby when he first started in that shit. Wow. That shit kept going. Wow. So, like, I, I'm going to keep it real. I didn't know what the stars was until 50 started fucking with it. Wow. I'm going to keep it real. Wow. Like, niggas wasn't really checking the stars like that, but niggas want content. All right. Niggas want content. Word, this shit, yo, what's... Because yeah. when you think about it, the only thing that was on TV was Godfather of Harlem, Snowfall, oh, and Power. Wait, wait, Godfather of Harlem wasn't on TV. I thought it was on, just on Hulu. It was on Hulu, but that's the only three shows niggas was really okay. jacking okay. during this little time period. Okay. Right. It was Godfather of Harlem, Snowfall, and Power. Uh-huh. Because it went from BMF to Power. Yeah. Snowfall ended. Golf over to Harlem. Remember, they was coming out with episodes here and there. They was like... Yeah. But that shit was ill with Forrest Whitaker. I ain't going front. But yeah. those were the three shits niggas was checking on TV. Mm-hmm. Snowfall, Power, and Golf over Harlem, that shit was... Those were the super ill shows. Right. For me... <laughs> nah, that's real talk. Oh, wow. I think we should make some noise for that. Yeah. <laughs> I want, I want to go back to some. You you was talking a little bit about M. Mm-hmm. You guys were shopping the deals and stuff, and he was right. the only one that stepped up. Yeah, because 50 knew that Irv was going to block him because Irv was big in that universal system. Let's not forget who Irv Gotti was, though. Right, yeah. Ja Rule had hit records. What would I be without you? He was j but, but wasn't M... Niggas was dancing in what, water and all that. Isn't essentially huh? um, Interscope in that universal system? Interscope is in that universal system. It is, but, but it's, it's, it's the but more it's, powerful But it's version. more different. But how much Jimmy leverage they had, Eminem, Dre. But, if, if, but 50 always said, if he would have signed to the universal system over there on the East Coast. Right. Oh, I get That's why we was New York oh, niggas. Oh, so it's like really you sign on the West Side. Yeah. yeah, he always say we was New York niggas playing for the Lakers because he wasn't going to, Irv had power at the time. Damn. Right. You got to think. Ja Rule had number one hits and all that. Right. And was there any convos with M going into the nah, situation? 50 was just, he was hot at the time and he was just shopping deals. Like I told you, we sat down with Diddy. We sat down with, but he knew he wasn't going to sign with Diddy. He knew right. Diddy wasn't going to sign him because Diddy, he knew in his mind that Diddy wouldn't want to take on problems right now. He just went through biggie shit and all this crazy shit. Right. So why would he want to take Did on Did he ever problems? be with Jay? Hmm? Did Fiddy ever meet with Jay? No, nah, never, never nah, Jay. never Jay. Never Jay. Right. Shout out to Jay, though. Right. Because 50 was happy when he said, I'm about a dollar. What the fuck is 50 cent? From the hood. He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you got to think, niggas are trying to get on. Niggas are hungry. Right. right. Just like mentality now, no, right. niggas are trying to get on, bro. Right. Because I did hear something that the deal that that ultimately was was gotten was was less than was offered in other places. Bro, we was kicked out of studios with Beyonce. He was was he gonna blow? This is the funny thing. Was he gonna blow on Columbia? Because let's not act. It's Trackmaster. Trackmaster got him a record with Beyonce. Wow. We was in the studio with Beyonce, Mad Brooklyn niggas, Queens niggas. Yo, niggas got to get out. This is Beyonce. This is Destiny Child. Right. Mm. Thug Love. Remember, he was supposed to shoot a video with yeah. Beyonce before he got shot. And didn't he have a record with J-Lo as well? Yeah. Right. Jeez Louise, Pop Crazy. Chicken. Like, 15 didn't even like many men. Many what? men? That's where it was my talent. My talent is He some, didn't like it? Look, my talent is sometimes I'd be in the studio and I could just pick the record for you. I'm like, 50, you bugging many men's the shit. He, he didn't like the f- complete version? Because you got to remember, that nigga got shot the fuck up. He shot up. He's laid up. He don't even want me to see me. He's in Jamaica Hospital. Yo, 50's fucked up. I pull up to his grandmother block. Shells everywhere. Yellow tape. Oh, man, that nigga's dead, man. Yo, niggas in the hood. Everybody's scared of... of 
keep it real, Preem. Niggas gonna kill, yo, niggas killed the man, he dead, man. He 50, don't want nobody to see him. You know what I mean? He moved out of town, he banged up, he running around. If he see Preem, he gonna let it go. I know, because he have the Mac on him driving from PA to New York. All right. So he like, yo, I'll call him, yo, fifth, where you at, big homie? Yo, nah, I'm right here by Baisley. If I see Preem, I'm going to let it go. I don't give a fuck what I got to lose. Niggas done shot me in my face, da 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 If I see anybody, let it go. That's his mentality. But at the same time, he's doing the music. So he's doing the music, but he's running around with the hammers. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He know the caliber niggas he beefing with, you know? Meanwhile, he fucking with E Money and these niggas. E Money and them got beef for Preem too. E Money and them niggas like, can we catch them niggas? So he in the studio with niggas like that. Right. You see E Money, brown skin, short nigga, in the studio. Yo, niggas in the studio. You know, I remember one time in the studio, niggas was like, yo, who that nigga man? He ain't all that. I'm like, yo, be easy. That's E Money bag, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nigga, shoot you for saying that you don't like his shit, bro. Because you remember when E Money flipped on rhyming. Jay? Oh remember Jay had Uncle, the artist H, 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 H Money bags. bags. H Money bags, yes, Nigga, that's yo, the Yo, E Money called up yo Jay. I don't know what's going on, bro. Yeah. yeah. But these was real niggas, bro. Yeah. You hear the stories about E Money? Yo, E Money, shout out a limo, man. Uh, With an Uzi, man. Rest in peace. These niggas are gone, so you can tell the stories. But yeah. I done heard shit like nigga yeah. was in left rack with the Uzi man of the limo. Yeah. You hear shit about E Money, Troy, Hamo, these niggas like that. Uh, as well as Black Just and Preem and Cat and you know everybody. So just crazy times, man. Uh, so I come from that era, like Fifth being in the studio with him, like after. Uh, Sony after the, the stabbing. Like, after the stabbing, I, had, I got cut right here, um, and I got, like, poked right there. 50 had, like, a scratch on his back and all that. Mm. But we was in Columbia, them niggas. But what happened was we had Clark Kent DJ. Clark Kent. You know Clark Kent, the Clark. legend. Shout to him. Super legend. Mm. Yeah. Fifth was fucking with Clark Kent back then. So we had his, um, his nephew was a DJ. But Giz was, like, a good kid. He wasn't, like, a street guy. And that's cool. He was a cool guy. So we was in the studio, we in Sony. You know, I'm new to all this industry shit. I'm just, you know what I mean? You know what I, mean? I don't know what's going on. I'm just like, <laughs> yo, fifth say we go to the studio, you know, Tone and Poker, like, you see where the bar's at? Tone and Poker them is like in a room where the bar's at. Uh -huh. And we in the room, right? Uh -huh. So it's me, Giz, 50. I don't know what song he's doing. So we good. Fifth got a 45 on him. Uh, I shouldn't be saying all this shit, but fuck, uh -huh. I'm drunk by this time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth got a 45 order, Tony Poke in the next room. You know, they legends. I'm looking at Tony Poke, like, at the time, no, they had records with R. Kelly and type, all types of niggas. So I'm like, you know, no, R. Kelly in jail now, but. Yeah, R. Kelly was, you know the, I'm let's just be clear. They he, had some hits. He, he was the man I mean? back then. He let's was keep the man it real. They had some uh, hits. Uh, I'm, I'm looking like, yo, this track masters, uh, track masters. You, you, uh, yeah. oh shit, yeah. this is, uh, these are on the, top of the world. Yeah. Track masters. They fuck with Destiny Child. Everybody yeah. went to Track Masters. Mm -hmm. Tone and Poke, shout to them. Like, so I'm like, damn, 50 on. He got Track Masters. Mm -hmm. So we in the studio. Was it, was it Sony? You remember how there was two studios? Yeah, it was, Sony. So, it was Sony up the block to the left, and then Sony to the um, And then there was another the block, one across the, the street. On 54th Street. Both I remember was on 54th one of them, Beyonce shut down one day. Okay, I, that, that, that might have been the newer one. Because remember, was Michael Jackson the... used to go to the one where, his, Jackson... car, where his car used to go... He used to bring, I, like how the Porsche building is, where you can bring your car in. Michael Jackson used to do that shit back in the days. He used to, he's, he wouldn't walk in the studio. His car would go in the studio. Yeah, because there was two major yeah. studio yeah. buildings. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think they turn into condos they now. They condos now. They condos. Shout to, yo, shout to the studio. They hurt. Shout to the studio. <laughs> I was like, what? I want my wife in the car. I'm driving by it. I'm like, yeah. Oh, and she's looking at me like, what's wrong with now, you? Now, let me tell you, these two studios, everybody performed. Beyonce, yeah. Jay-Z, Wyclef. Yeah. These studios was the studios. Like, everybody knew Mariah Carey. It was the How about studio. Right Track? You ever use Right Track? Of course, Right Track. Right Track, Unique? Unique. D&D? &D? You know D&D, &D, of course. Yeah. There was so many legendary studios. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. But I remember that Sony building, because uh -huh. I used to see Clef with all the crazy Haitian niggas. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be, <laughs> mind you, I'm back earlier, I see 
Scooter Tut. Niggas look like the niggas from, um, what's the shit? Well, um, uh, City Soleil? They look like the niggas from, um... City <laughs> Soleil? No, what's the movie with Steven Seagal with the dread niggas? Uh, uh, and, uh um... Uh, uh, Mark for Death. Mark for Death. Death. Niggas look like niggas from... Mark Face! Mark Face! I'm why clips yeah, niggas yeah, like yeah. that. I'm like... Yeah. Yo, I'm like, what the Let's fuck? Let's take a shot for Screwface. Let's take a shot for Screwface. Screwface. Screw 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 so yeah. I'm seeing what Clef for niggas look like Screwface. No, no, you gotta take a shot. You gotta take a shot. So, take yeah, but, uh -huh. so I'm like, yo, fifth, who are these niggas? Like, nah, that's that's Tut Scooter and them niggas, Haitian Jack. Uh. Cause I met Haitian Jack before. And that nigga was crazy. Mm. Cause I'm like, cause Did you, you say know, something you know I say what? to him? Yeah, of course. You know what <laughs> fucked me up about my first time meeting Jack? Mm. Was that like Tupac shit on him on the record? Right. And I seen that nigga like in LA Dolo. Like he was in right. Dolo, like, I'm hitting Jack. I don't give a fuck, man. And he had And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, yo, this nigga is crazy. My arms out of cop, man. He had like big arms. Out of cop, man. So I knew him from fucking with Fifth, and I was like, yo, you're, you're yo, your ass nigga is crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Yo, your ass is crazy. Yeah, yeah, Yo, look, so one day we in the studio, and I'm, this is a true story. Uh. I don't care. So look, nigga called Y Clef, right? Nigga like, Yo, Clef, man. Yo, Jack got two sweet through watches from me, man. Uh. Nigga Clef is like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he had two watches from Jacob. I don't know if they got back or didn't, uh. but that's when I started learning, like, yo, this shit different. <laughs> <laughs> Let me borrow two watches. Cause niggas could say what they want to say about Jack. I seen that nigga in L.A. Dolo. All right. Patient Jack, man. <laughs> Don't care about nobody, man. <laughs> <laughs> so niggas was crazy like the niggas Clef was around. Them niggas was crazy. Scooter, Tut. Uh. You know the tunnel days with y'all yeah, niggas, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. M.U. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah, want to yeah, talk about yeah, that, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> All right, but, but let's, let's talk about the So Seductive video, right? Yeah. Is that the first time you inducted? Nah, if you look in the club, the, the Know Your Face was in there. In the club. In the club. Yeah. Because I was on the run for In the Club video. From In the Club? You, wait, hold on. And that so, was crazy because Suge pulled up, so it was kind of like a crazy. I heard it. With the Mexicans? With the Mexicans. But Suge is a good, he's, yo, he's a good guy. Like, he's a good bluffer. Like, he knows what to do. <laughs> so what happened was, I think the Mexican niggas were just shooting the video, and Suge was probably just like, yo, come with me over here. So oh, they were shooting a video around the corner. They were shooting y a video already, and I think Shug just, I don't know. This he just, is in L.A.? or This, this is in L.A. Okay, got it. So, so describe what's going on. Describe. Listen, man. Yeah, in the club. This is, the, is the record out yet? or Listen, not? in the club, video shoot. But is the record out? No. Listen, the, out. Record, the record is out. Okay, the record is out. So this it's is out. One in the club, video shoot. And, man, I just couldn't believe it. I, I, I didn't understand. Like, so we in the video, all you heard was, Shug is coming! <laughs> yo, yo, bro. Shug is coming! So I'm like, yo, I swear to God, cameras are falling, dancers are running, lights, nigga, lights. shit is niggas. Everybody's running, Shug is coming! So we couldn't believe it. Like, I'm from New York, I never seen no shit like that. <laughs> Yo, bro, dancers, the backup dancers are running. Everybody's running this shit. They running. Yo, cameras was falling and shit. Nigga, the cameraman, sugar's coming. Yo, bro. So, you know, we like, damn, you know, this is Shug night. Uh, Mind you, we had an old, already had, was the Vibe Awards after? No, no, no. The this Vibe is, Awards. This is definitely before the Vibe Awards. The Vibe Awards might have been after. Yeah, Vibe Awards. So, look, Shug came, but this is why I always respected Eminem, 50, and niggas that was with us. <coughs> so Shug came, he had some Mexican niggas. Now, we from New York. You ain't never seen a nigga with a tattoo on his forehead. <laughs> One eight two Street crew. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> nigga got a tattoo on his face, homie. <laughs> that's the first time, like, before Lil Wayne and all that, yeah. <laughs> that's the first time I seen a nigga with, like, tattoo on his eyes. Mexican niggas, 18 Street niggas. Uh. So niggas just, Shug just got the cigar. He just liked that bitch, he just... He's like, he's a, he's like a pressure guy. Uh, That's why he got into the shit he got into lately, because he's like a pull-up, light a cigar, and you, you seeing niggas with tattoos on their face, but we like, damn, what we got to lose? We, if we don't pop now, we, we going back to the hood. <laughs> uh, 
It's right. back to the hood. All right. So it's like, fight these Mexican niggas, Mexican blood niggas, killer niggas. Niggas got the shit on their forehead, eyes. On the 18th. Or go back home to the crib. Might as well go all out, fight right here. <laughs> all right. We around Dr. Dre. So it's like, yo, we got to do what we got to so do. So what happened? He lights the cigar, and then He just lights the cigar, and it's the shit about Shook. He light the cigar, and he trying to see what you going to do. So Eminem, 50, everybody outside, nigga light the cigar. I was bugging, because I seen... This is when I knew Eminem was real. He's like, I don't give a fuck, man! <laughs> I swear, this is when I knew. I'm like, damn, Eminem is a real nigga. These things... <laughs> 50 niggas outside, what's up? And then the nigga Shug just walked away. The Mexican niggas look kind of confused, like they didn't know what's going on. <laughs> oh. But niggas came outside. Eminem came outside, 100%. Wow. Oh, what did I miss? Okay. <laughs> and Eminem was like, yo, I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> give a fuck, man. Because you remember, proof, remember, it's, it's documented. Proof told Shug, yo, you killed Tupac in the middle of a party. Remember, them Detroit niggas are kind of crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> them seven, eight yeah. mile niggas, them yeah. niggas always been crazy. Right. Rest in peace to Proof. Yeah, rest But Proof in told that nigga Shug. In a party. Proof told Shug in a party. Nigga, you killed Tupac, nigga. You could ask anybody, nigga. Proof wow. was a wild boy. Rest in peace to Proof. Wow. You heard that before? Yeah. Nigga, ask I, around. I don't, I don't think I heard Proof that. is legit. There's a boomer yeah, no, going yeah, around yeah. that I heard in D12 history. Proof told that nigga, I'm um, sure. Yo, nigga, you killed Pac, nigga. Right. Like he just came out of nowhere. You know, he's a wild nigga. I seen him wild out, get drunk. Wow. You killed Pac, nigga. Wow. That's crazy. We had a couple of run-ins with Suge, because Suge, you know. You want to name another run-in? Um, Vibe Awards. OK, let's talk about Yeah, that. Vibe Awards was crazy. Who got stabbed um, at that joint? I'm going to tell you Vibe Awards. So Vibe Awards, James Cruz was there. Shout out to Chris shout Lighty. To James Cruz. Violator. Another Violator. That's story. right. Shout out to Violator. James Cruz. Violator. Chris Lighty. Shout out to James Cruz. Shout out to Even though 50 go in on him yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to James, James Cruz. Yeah, yeah. So James Cruz is there. Because James Cruz went through mad shit. You know what I mean? You got to think. Chris Lighty, it's mad shit being in the industry. Right. So many stories, man. I could tell you a whole bunch. Right. So um, I believe it's the Vibe Awards. Ugh. And um, it's like trailers. You know them trailers where yep. rap artists could be like jail. They has got their crews back there. Yep. Shit get crazy, right? So, um... We back, we chilling outside the trailer. Who you think we see walk by? Chug. Irv got it. <laughs> Murder. I wasn't ready. Death row. <laughs> he's with he's with Shug. They were together. They were Shug. Ooh. They feeling good. They walking by. Shit, yo, that's Irv Gotti and Shug. Shit. Who said that? You know, in my mind, I'm, oh, okay, you know, okay. niggas right. like, yo, you know niggas are talking. Yeah. Yo, that was just Earth Gotti and Shook, bro. Yeah. What are we going to do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I'm thinking in my mind. So this is why I like 50. Yeah. 50's like old school. Yo, man, your crew, go to the hardware store, buy 14 knobs. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, you know, you watch movies like American Me and all that shit. <laughs> nigga, 14 niggas with knives is dangerous, bro. I'm, I'm a, yo, listen, I'm Jet. You got 14 niggas with knives? Bro, ain't no me winning. So he tell James Cruz, you know, he's executive. You know, these niggas. So James Cruz, you know, he's a And it's kind of racist, too. Just send a Latino to get the knives. <laughs> <laughs> send a Spanish nigga to get the knives. So, you know, James Cruz, one thing I give him, he gonna do whatever. For right. the artists, whatever. That's one thing I give a lot of this management. So you telling me James Cruz left James the awards? James Cruz left. He went. He left the Vibe Awards. Fifth said, "Yo, go get them fucking knives, nigga." He go to the hallway store, go get the black knives. He get the comeback. James Cruz come with the bag. This is why. I'm like, yo, this shit crazy. And mind you, Fat Joe in there. Oh. Shook, Shook in there. Irv in there. Uh. This shit is nothing but ops in there. James but but, but y'all wasn't being with Fat Joe at that time. I don't think at that yes, time. Yes, we was. Yeah, y'all yeah, were yeah. too. Oh, yeah. shit. OK, go ahead. Fat Joe a real nigga, bro. Yeah. 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 So hold on. Y'all in the, in the awards, 
is who's it? Irv Gotti. Mm-hmm. Suge Knight. Mm-hmm. Fat Joe. Suge Knight alone, you like, yo, this shit is right, right. <laughs> right. You know what I'm yeah. Right. And you got Irv Gotti with him. Right. Irv Gotti walked by with him. Them niggas ice grilling. They looking down. Irv feeling good at that point. Uh -huh. Irv like, yeah, nigga, I'm with Suge. Y'all niggas is fucked. So fifth, like, what I like fifth is because it took him like 30 seconds. James Cruz, go by the knives. Go by the knives. James Cruz come back with the knives. Niggas distribute the knives. Distribute the knives. It still sound like some American meat. Shit. Yeah, it's American meat. You watch okay. the movies yep. and shit, American meat. Okay. Distribute the knives. Little puppet. Now we in a Vibes Award, you got 14 to 12 niggas with knives. Mm. So when Buck stabbed the nigga with the fork, that wasn't nothing. That, that nigga that Suge sent, he got stabbed in the chest. So Buck, I'm gonna tell you about that. So look, I'm gonna tell you what happened. So back in the days, there was no Instagram or no, yo! Take a picture of a selfie. God bless back in the days. God bless back in the days. God bless. At the awards, there wasn't no selfies. Right. Nigga come with the paper like, yo, yo, let me get an autograph, cuz. Know what I'm saying? Nigga got the paper and the pen. He come up to, look, Nori, nigga come up to Dre, right? Huh? Dre with his wife and all that. We had the Vibe Awards, Quincy Jones. All these good people are here. This is why I say G-Unit, we always got a bad rep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We got Quincy Jones, all these niggas there. Vibe Awards. So the nigga come up to Dre, but Suge had some niggas with him. Mm -hmm. He had some nigga named Ice Pick, some other nigga. He had some grimy, torn niggas with him, bro. That's why I thank God 50 said get the knives. Look, so boom. The nigga come up to Dre, yo, let me get an autograph, cuz. So Dre go to Sun, like he's sitting down to go sign an autograph. Sun just snuff him. Boom! Oh shit, nigga snuff Dre. Wow. Nigga snuff Dre. Now, mind you, all the New York niggas, game niggas ain't really in there. It's just game. Game had a whole bunch of niggas outside. You said game or gang? The game. Okay. His niggas was outside. Okay. All our Queens niggas were inside. Mind you, 50 already said get the knives already. Okay. So now we feeling good. We got 12, 13 niggas with the knives, twin. We like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We feeling good. Fat Joe in there, shook. Mm -hmm. Boom. Niggas snuffed Dre. Dre fall over a little bit. I ain't gonna front. Dre got up. He was with the shit. Mm. Nigga snuff Dre. So you know this nigga eating with 50 now. 50's, he making all the beats and all that. Get rich or die trying. Mm. Nigga snuff Dre. That's all you kept hearing. The niggas on the nigga now. Boop, 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 boop. Dre wailing on him. You know Dre a big nigga. Yeah. Dre a big nigga. That yeah, nigga yeah, ain't yeah. no. Yeah, he like the hawk. <laughs> nigga, diesel, <laughs> nigga. Boop, boop, boop. So you know Queens niggas, you know, they want to impress fifth. Oh, these huh. niggas they hit him with cheers. Oh, man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> niggas want to impress, because when you around a nigga yeah, get I mean, money, yeah, yeah. you touch, like, you touch yeah, Nori, yeah, 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 there's certain yeah, niggas yeah. like, yo, you touch yeah, yeah. Nori, touch you, bro. <laughs> yo, that's the show. Yo, nigga, touch Nori. Oh, my God. It's Dr. Dre. You got to think about it. We looking at it like, this Dr. Dre in WA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's royalty right there. Right. So niggas just, boom, boom. And it's only boom. one person who actually walked over? Yeah, one nigga just snuffed Dre. Okay. Dre wilding on him now. Niggas, like, throwing chairs. Niggas getting ridiculous now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody wanna, that's how it is. This is what you gotta understand with these niggas. I don't never, like I told niggas on Mad Papa shit, yeah. I never worry about the rap, I worry about the entourage. Right, right, right. You know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You might have a crazy nigga. Yo, mm. nigga, snuff Nori. Mm. What? This is the only time, this is what I'm saying with Fifth. You, yeah. I'm eating, I'm flying the world. Right. You never know what another nigga do because right. he's appreciative. Right. right. So nigga snuff Drake, cheers is going on this nigga. Boom, boom, boom. Now here come the knives. Niggas are stabbing this nigga. Oh. I don't want to say who. Right. They stabbing him. Here come a young buck. He want to come with a fork. That man got stabbed in the chest, bro. Young buck, you know, he was riding the wave. Like, yo, I stabbed him, man. But young buck hit him with a fork. Oh, man. So the camera caught that back in the days. I don't know what to do on this situation. Yo, man, they said the niggas stumbled or whatever. Police mason niggas at this time. It was crazy. Uh. Suge niggas rolled up, but luckily we he had Suge had some crazy niggas with him. Uh. Big niggas. I think the nigga named Ice Pick. I don't know if Tupac uh. shouted him out. Some big niggas. Uh. So we pull out the knives like, back the fuck up, my nigga. Because <laughs> these niggas was like uh. Uh. some security size looking niggas. Uh. But when a nigga see that steel... He gonna kind of back up a little bit. Right. That's why I think fifth that he had the knives because these niggas, Suge had other niggas coming. We back out the knives. Get back the fuck up, my nigga. Right. 
on some queen shit. Uh. You know what I mean? <laughs> now it's like, you know, you know, y'all Spanish niggas, y'all be dancing. <laughs> Let me get in an fight with a nigga from the Bronx. Some Spanish niggas? <laughs> them niggas will dance with the machete on your ass. So, Shook niggas kind of backed up. Dre wilding on the nigga. We wilding, Buck stabbed him with the fork and all that. I don't know why Buck did that. Right. Buck hit him with the fork off stage. Right. I guess he was fiending for the action. Right. Buck hit him with the... <laughs> Not Buck my nigga, but he was fiending for the action. Because right. him and Banks was backstage right. when it's pop. So Buck just came running. Ah! <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga done got hit with 12 chairs, <laughs> stabbed in his chest, <laughs> slapped up Dre, done punched him like 20 times. <laughs> Here it. come Buck with the fork. Why you even do that? <laughs> ah, boom. <laughs> So we go back to the mansion, or you see on the news, young Buck attempted murder. Buck said, I ain't do that shit, man. <laughs> Y'all was like, see how quick niggas are changed? <laughs> but Buck, you stabbed him with a fork. He got stabbed in the chest and all that, but it was a wild night, bro. But 50 was on point. He was like, yo, go get the knives, bro. From the hardware store? From the hardware James Cruz. That's James why. James Cruz. Yeah, yeah. So James. The, the Latino to the rescue. <laughs> Yo, you gotta understand. For me, like, when I used to go to Violator, right? Mm -hmm. Now, nigga, James Cruz, Chris Lighty. Mona Scott. Mona Scott, um, Yandy. Lori, Claudine. Know, Lori Giblis. Lori, uh, Lori Claudine Gibbons, Joseph. Claudine. That's what I love. Um, uh, love all these So, people. Violator, to me, like I said, that was the first um, what's the, what's the, um, from Love and Hip Hop. Yandy. Yandy, 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 Yandy Smith. Shout to Yandy. Yandy, Yandy was, Smith. come on, you know, yes. I'm Mona. Yes. Like, so, when I used to come there, that's when I realized that this shit is a business. Yeah, it's a business. And it's a, it's, and it's a fraternity, because I can't lie to you, all those names we just named, Yandy Smith, Glory Gibbs, Gibson, uh, Claudine Joseph, Claudine, Mona Scott, Yandy, James Cruz, uh, Chris, James Cruz, uh, Dula, er, er, Eric Nix, Eric, Eric Nix. Eric Nix. All of these people is like, they grew, they grew, they groomed us. Like, they, right. you know what I mean? Like, um, and I appreciate them. I want, I want them to know wherever they at in life, that I appreciate them. No, for real. And like, that's why I always say, Chris Lighty, I, I started to um, learn the business. Like, I remember it was um, fifth drop something, and we in the office. It's Theo Scottemeyer. Chris is there. The lawyer, Theo Scottemeyer. Yeah, Theo Scottemeyer. Chris Lighty's there. Rest in peace to the legend. I always shout out Chris Lighty. I wish he was still here. <clears throat> He's a big reason for a lot of his success, as well as violence. See Mike Lighty in Lovers and Friends? He's on the show? He, uh, Mike Lighty was there at Lovers and Friends. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, I didn't, yeah, even, I I didn't even know. Yeah. Shout out to Mike Lighty. That's my guy, too. Okay. Made me a lot of money, man. I love them guys, man. Yes. You know? I, I, but you know what it is? I was a troublemaker, so I always, like... I knew it was like a lot of shit. People, like, I was wilding at a point. Like, sometimes when you, and I tell these young niggas, sometimes, like, when you get money and you feel unstoppable sometimes. Like, right. when you get money, you got cars, you got bitches, like, because, like, when Henchman's son got slapped, I left the block. As soon as I left the block, Mike Lighty got cut in the back of the head. Oh. oh. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, so I look at shit like, yo, damn, that was my fault, because. Niggas was wildin'. But yo, niggas just shot my Bentley up uptown, though. So niggas will see, like, one side, but won't see the other side of it. You know what I'm saying? And, like, even with the henchman shit, I look at it like, yo, if a nigga slap your son, hell yeah, I'm gonna shoot shit up, too. So I understand. But at the end of the day, bro, it's like, niggas will sue you. Nigga wanna sue you. So I learned a lot about the game. Like, a nigga, henchman will sue me, but my crib will get shot up too. And this shit all documented, bro. Mm. This shit all documented, bro. I tell you, there's the ups and downs in the game because when you a rapper or you got some kind of money, you're always going to be a target. There might be a nigga that don't like you, bro. Or it might be something. But a lot of beef for me, like Fat Joe, um, Henchman, uh, Wu-Tang, or whatever it was with G-Unit, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of more inherited. Mm. Like, I was just there, and it was like, all right, well, this nigga turned the lights on. I gotta ride with him. You know, I'm quite sure Jay Z brunch is cool or being on, on the boat with Diddy. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm quite sure that was cool, but you know, we was beefing with like niggas like World, and uh, I came home to that World. Uh, uh fuck it. Henchman and Real uh, Street. Freeze and yeah, yeah. the Primes. We was dealing with kind of more of them kind of issues. 
Did you know? Did you ever feel like you didn't like reap the benefits of the industry because of that? You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like it was like after a while, like when G Unit popped, it was an industry shutdown after a while. Like you couldn't really do too much because, like, you know, all I want to do is win, 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 no matter what. Your man's popping now. Music. <laughs> <laughs> Your man transitioned. So 50, like, all right, if the industry ain't fuck with me, fuck it, I'm going to find something else to do. Right. Mm. And that's why I wish I just, while he's, like, me and Banks and all us, we trying to think about the music, but a lot of doors are shut. Fuck with 50, man, we ain't. Mm. Fuck 50, man. Mm. 50, like, fuck these industry niggas, nigga. Do movies now. <laughs> I don't know what you know you I'm saying. Accent. I don't know what <laughs> no, accent put the Memphis accent. Because yeah. <laughs> Fifth will always think of the next gimmick. Because after a while, you know, mm. niggas like I was trying to get records played. Arguments. DJ Khaled. They blew up. All I do is win, win. I'm in the club. Like, yeah. <laughs> you got a podcast. A shoot the future. Look, look, look. <laughs> I said I almost had a shootout with Khaled. I know he ain't never playing my shit. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> But I like the nigga, though. I like his sneakers. I like niggas. <laughs> I came up. I listened to Jealous One's Envy. I never thought we had beef with them niggas or D-Block or nothing. No, we came up. We listened to niggas. No. But it's like you come in the game with a nigga like Fifth. He was a little crazy, bro. Uh. But some niggas, look. <laughs> some ni nah, some niggas come up different. Look, I had my moms and pops. Fifth ain't had no father. Uh -huh. Moms got killed. He was on the block at 12, selling drugs. Right. Moving around. We looked up to the fat cats and, and the fucking Black Just and Pappy Mason type of niggas and the Tony Montanas. Yeah, keep going, keep going. I, that's the niggas. That's got to take a piss. Yeah. Okay, yeah, keep going. No, 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 no. Y'all probably went through the Eminem thing that I wanted to talk about. Like, yeah. I don't know if you, if you covered this, just tell me. But M didn't feel like he was going to inherit any of those beats when, he, when those deals were made? I think M didn't care. He didn't care. And I, I just think he didn't care. Was there a relationship with, between G Unit and D12? No, there was no relationship. I'm saying after the fact. I know before. Oh yeah, yeah. Right now, but was how cool. was that? How was that? We're cool together? from Bazaar, but what I'm saying is, what 50 is, 50 could have signed any deal, right? But he was smart enough to learn the business side of it. Irv and these guys got records with J Lo and shit. Right. Universal's gonna block us if we sign here. So I'm in the meeting at 50. You just turned down 1.7 million. What are you doing? We're broke. We have no money. We're in a minivan, AC. We have no AC. We got bulletproof vests and we got guns. All right. You're running around looking for the guys that shot you. That's cool, but you turned down 1.7 million, bro. Nah, nah, I know what I'm doing. Nah, I know, I know what I'm doing. Chill. But then the deal comes in. Can't wait. It's Interscope, it's Dre, it's M. All three of them together. Interscope, Dre, and M. But like I said before, I heard that that deal was still less money than some of these other deals. Yeah, there was there was deals giving um 1.5, maybe 1.7 million. Eminem gave him a million. But you got Eminem and Dr. Dre at, at, at their peak too. Then I understood M's peak for sure. Of course, Eminem sold 16 million records. Diamond, 16 million. Niggas would be like Lord Jamal and them. Eminem's whack. He sold 16 million records. He's still doing billions on Spotify. Right. So he got us the overseas market. Uh. So you got New York niggas performing in Germany and Dubai earlier. Oh, oh shit, Eminem. They fuck with Eminem. It's all a cosign. Right, yeah, yeah. You got to think. That makes a difference. Think about it. Niggas be like, yo, why you always big up Eminem? I was on Rikers Island, C73. A motherfucker never did nothing for me in the hood besides 50. And my dad and my parents. Yeah, Eminem said, free yay. Right, 50 dad and my parents. Right. Every other pair probably put drugs or gun in my hand. They told me the wrong way. Right. I tell you, said, free Nori, what we preach to these niggas? Don't do the drugs. Do Learn from Nori. Do, do this shit. Get some money. Right. Yeah. Know what I mean? Don't put the drugs and the guns in your hand. Niggas will put drugs and guns in my hand. 50 gave me a chance. My parents took care of me. Right? Eminem, when I was on Rikers Island, Grammys, free yay yo. Mm. <laughs> That's why I like no disrespect when you see games say, yo, Dre never did nothing for me. I remember Dre being in a studio and giving you them hits, bro. All right. You know what I'm saying? I remember you was in a little studio, the big studio. I remember being in a studio with M. He didn't have to do. 50 had a whole bunch of beef. It took a Detroit nigga and a West Coast nigga to do it. It's crazy. And then they like, yo, we blew up an East Coast nigga. Game is right there in the studio. Yo, cuz. Blood. 
cuz blood. We gotta blow up a West Coast nigga, cuz. We blowing up these New York niggas, man. We for West Side the best I got. <laughs> you know niggas in the studio saying that to Dre. Cause Dre got a whole bunch of crip niggas around and all that. Game right there. So game you blessed too. See that all that bullshit fuck up a lot of money, man. Cause you gotta think, we can get money overseas, me, game, buck. Yeah. Thanks. I always tell niggas, I said told niggas on Mad Papa Show, we get money, it's all about getting money. Right. It's not about who got the bigger chain or who got the best watch or we all getting money. Let's get this money. Let's take a shot. Let's take a yeah, shot. Let's take that. a shot. No, over there. Oh, oh Dan, you got another one? Yeah, you okay. got, I got, I got, I got one. That one. That one. All right, cool, cool, cool. Cause I'm like 20 shots in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Yo, look. Yo, look. A nigga from my hood was like, yo, man. Why you shouting out Eminem, man? You ain't shout me out on my birthday, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, Eminem. <laughs> nigga from my hood hit me with that. Shout out Eminem, nigga. <laughs> nigga from my hood. I'm like, yo, bro, the nigga, I'm on the island. I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. G unit's blowing. 50 just sold a million records. I see the free Yale. They're like, yo, watch. Shout out to Tracy being new. Right. Paul Rosenberg. Everybody over there. Mark, everybody. Big up Paul Rosenberg. Um, yeah, everybody over there. Riggs, Morales, Riggs, everybody. Morales, Riggs, my Riggs, brother. Man. Yeah, everybody Dominican was like shady. From Washington Heights. They like, yo, I'm on Rikers Island. They like, yo, you know, I'm not asking for the TV on Rikers. You gonna get killed for that? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, yo, Joe, I just wanna watch the Grammys tonight. Mm -hmm. Let me rock, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say, yo, I'm renting the house. My nigga, I had everybody. I'm not right. gonna lie to you. But I was in population. I wasn't in PC. Right. Being Tony Yale right. on Rikers. Yo, niggas like, nah, yeah, you can rock. Grammys, boom. Free Yayo. Oh, shit. Wow. Niggas. Come on, bro. You, you must have got all the high drops. Now, this is a the, nigga that sold 16 Oreos. million records, bro. Yeah. It's Eminem. Uh, sold 16 million records. Hard copy. Because you got to think, when these motherfuckers was going platinum back in the days, yeah. that was a nigga going in the store, store bro. In the store. Go yeah. ahead. Talk that store. We don't know. Go ahead. Right. Talk that store. Don't talk, disrespect yeah, yo. the streams, but. Nope. You don't know what the streams. Yeah. Talk that. I'm talking about we niggas is going you. in. What, FYEs back in yeah. this? Nori, Sam yeah. Goody. Nori Twins. Twins. So, the Wiz. That's a nigga the going Wiz. in there, going to buy your shit soul. physically. Right. Call them Music Hut. Yeah. <laughs> shit like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm so, sorry, I got old school on you No, I'm like, no, no, no. It's not old school, it's the truth. <laughs> yes, yes. Because a fan going in to buy the hard copy, bro. Mm. A different that means a nigga, we used to go to the store. No, CNN War Report. Mm -hmm. Going to get that. Go to Jamaica Avenue. Yeah, my shit is official gold. Not, not, not y'all gold. On the run in. There's a body in the trunk. Him yeah, and Nas. Yeah, come on, come Niggas on. going to get that. Yeah. Well, like, what you sell? Two, three million? Uh, well, I'm, 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 one, I'm one million in, in RE, and I'm five, I'm four um, gold albums, yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And a couple of platinum singles. And a couple of platinum singles, right, yes, right. yes, yes, yes. But that's a nigga going to physically go buy it. Go buy my shit, yes, yeah. that's a fact. That's a nigga physically going in the yeah, store yeah, saying, yeah, I'm going to buy this album. Different time. Because I don't kind of, like, believe these guys. These guys will have 100 million followers and then sell 1,100. That's what I'm trying to tell you. don't make sense. <laughs> yeah. So for a nigga to say, uh, for a nigga to go, you know back in the days, like, mm. get a deal. A nigga go platinum is like, what? I heard Fat Joe saying, Atlantic had a 60 size poster of me when I came on the wall. And you know what's like, crazy? Um, and Fat Joe will tell you this. Um, I don't even think Fat Joe ever uh, like was going gold back then. Because gold was actually yeah, gold I for actually, most. So, actually, about, it's, so it's, you're saying Jealous One Envy never went gold? Had to. No, I, I, no, I, I think eventually it did. But I'm saying at first, me, I, I sold way more records than Fat Joe. And he'll tell you that. He, he always says that. He says, yo, Nori sold more records than me. Be, and, but when the pun came, then that was a different... Oh, and pun, pun, and pun, that's when he I got I told the, you, when he dissed 50, yeah. nigga was like, yeah, man. <laughs> Remember what happened? Was that's capital punishment. <laughs> yeah. Pun just... Yeah. Yeah. Pun came on some other shit, bro. Yeah. He just was like a beast. I remember I did a, a video with 50. Well, uh, I'm filming 50 and Trackmaster Tone. And it's because I was, you know, I was the first person in the industry with the two-way pager. I don't know if y'all know that. Oh, shit. First person? Don't make some noise for him. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Fact. So wh wh where'd you get it from, though? What made you get it? Motorola. No, motherfucker. You went to Motorola and they said this is a new thing? Yes, that's, that's exactly how it happened. I just went into Motorola. I was like, I, I want a phone. 
I, I think I wanted the Star Tech. It was the Star Tech. <laughs> and like, yeah, you remember Star Tech? I don't know if y'all remember yeah, the Star yeah, Tech. Yeah, for sure. That yeah. shit was like nine hundred dollars at that time. Yeah. To have a Star Tech, you was like bigger than a drug dealer. So I did that, and then I got the, I got the fucking. Um, they said, "Yo, by the way, take this," and it was called a, the Two Way. They said you could get email on it, and I was like, "What?" Yeah. So I went back to the studio. It was Hit Factory Studios, Early same studio you talk about. He same studio. With Tone and Poke Tone, and the Lakers, man. With Tone, he Tone know what a two-way page is. Tone and Poke man. damn near produced my whole NRE album. And by the way, if you look at that freestyle, me and Fifty has the freestyle. It's me, Fifty, and Con TV. If you look at it, it's, it's pretty much that same day. Hmm. And I go in the studio, and I go, "Yo, I got the new shit. It's called a two-way." And they laughed at me. No, no, no. Two way Tony Polk. No, I believe Tony you. Polk, not, not 50. So Tony Polk laughed at me. They said, what? I said, listen, I could get email on this shit. So what the fuck is you going to do with email? And I knew what email was. I was advanced. I was I was from the streets, but I was advanced. And then... But you didn't take it to later email. <laughs> No, I hate email now. Now I hate email. You're right. You're correct. I got 2,000 emails. Some people emails. be advanced. There was a nigga on the road, Spider Lope. That nigga used to have a computer. And I used to be like, what are you doing? Oh, let me finish yeah, my story. Right, back Spider to you. Go ahead. Back to the so, two-way. Tone of poke. So I'm filming 50, and then I, I, said, I said to uh, now two ways, everyone has it. So yeah, the two-way. Two-way page. Yeah, so now I'm filming I think you 50. said something to rhyme about that. No, 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 yeah. So now I'm filming 50 and Trackmaster Tone. And then Trackmaster Tone says, yo, yo, 50. He looks to 50. And this is this is early fifty. This is early fifty. Right. And he goes to fifty. He goes, I can't lie. Nori was the first person with a two way pager. <laughs> and, and I go, yeah, fifty. All of them copied me. And then fifty looks at the camera and go, yeah, all of them niggas is on this dick. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, and look, footage like that was classic yes, back then. Yes, yes, You know what I mean? I always rare, tell them rare. even records, when records dropped on radio, like, right. if it was a Flex or Clue or whoever it was. I, know, I just want to take another shot with you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Nah, I'm it's ready. no reason. I'm ready. Come no, on. no, no, not that one. Look, look, look right there, right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, there you I'm go. super drunk right yes, now. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. I forgot her name. Amy. Jamie <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie, I'm sorry, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jamie. Jamie. Can you remember your thought? Because I just want to say, I just want to say something to you again, brother. Mm -hmm. I just want to um, reiterate mm -hmm. what y'all did, G Unit. Uh, not only coming from Queens, uh -huh. because y'all not a Queens group. Y'all international group. Right, right. That came from Queens. Right. That comes from Queens. Right. Thank you, Jamie. But, <laughs> but. I just really want to thank you, man. Like, you know, no, face I want to. No, 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 you can't thank me. It's your turn. All right, it's your okay, day. It's your okay. flowers. Look, look what right. the flowers say. Look what the flowers say. It's your day, my brother. I, I, I want I want to really thank you because people like you are hard to find, and people like you have to be cherished. Right. You have to be put on the same pedestal that all of us is put on because, right. you know, Jay is not great without a ta ta. Right. Or Emery. Right, right. Or Lenny S. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you know, 50 with you makes him greater. Right. He's greater alone. Of course. But with, with you makes it great. And, and I can see your vision. Like, I can see right. that you're the behind the scenes. Guy. And, and, and you, you know but you got it is. But you got, but you got and a you thing. you have no ego. But hold, you, hold on, no, 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 no. I'm chill, a, chill, all right, I'm going to explain it to you, you after. Up, go ahead, go ahead. I can tell, I can tell you don't want to be big. Right. I got go you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Listen. That type of shit is warranted. That type of shit has to be saluted because a lot of times, as the alpha male, we're right. so much thinking about whatever, is, and it's a part of the it's a part of the journey that we're not seeing that right. you see. Right. That you could be like, uh, uh, you ain't been there in that long. Right. Right. You ain't been to go but this you, but way. You, but you gotta understand, yeah. right? There's like well, I told you always and shout to Shaka, Shaka yeah. Zulu. Okay. Because that was uh, I remember I, I met him years ago when Ludacris was doing radio. Right. Classic right. shit. Like going to Columbia with 50. Mm -hmm. Those times are uh, a lot to me. Tommy Matola in the building. Oh, you was in Columbia? Yeah, I used to go up to Columbia with Fifth. Oh, I, I thought you were in Columbia, to... Columbia, the Columbia. No, no, no. Columbia the oh, record. You took Columbia the record. You tried to take it somewhere else. The record. I was going somewhere else. Are you with my friend Diego over there? 
yeah. He go to Columbia yeah. every yeah. other week. I know, yeah. I like, so look, <laughs> so like, Columbia Records, yeah, yeah. like, I remember Fifth being, you know, being in the studio with Tony Pope uh -huh. and, you know, legends like you, and I'm like, right. oh, shit, shit is happening. Right. You know, like I said, 50 was Destiny's Child. Right. Niggas got kicked out of the studio. Tony Pope, like, yo, right. you got too many hood niggas in here. It's right. Beyonce. Right. I ain't know who Beyonce was at right. the time. Destiny's Child, I'm like, damn, you heard niggas? Right. This shit crazy. <laughs> right. We made it. Right. So for me, I'm just appreciative to be in any room. No, but let me... Look, let me, look, because it's not about who the biggest. Like I said, niggas push me out the way. 50-50! Right. Push me out the way. It's right. cool. I'm good. When we go overseas, we in the Amani Hotel. Mm. We chilling. I never stayed at the Amani Hotel. The Amani Hotel is real nice. We in the Four Seasons. I stayed at the Bulgari. 50, he take care of niggas. You know, you get in any trouble, plenty of bail. Niggas get in trouble. Oh, bail money, this up. Uh, <laughs> bail money, yeah, yo. Bail on. money, too. I stay at the Bulgari Hotel. Yeah, you know see, what I'm saying? Yeah. My man, you know, yeah, some bitch nigga shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. I'll see you Queens over niggas there. got style. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Queens niggas got style. I'm appreciative of being in a room. Like, yeah. I never thought I'd be in a room, like I said, with old dog. Right. Menace to society. With old dog. Wesley Snipes. Jim Carrey. Right. Mm -hmm. So I be in rooms, I just be thinking about movies. That's so beautiful. Nori, I think I paid in full. Yo, my nigga, nigga. right. <laughs> like, those are classics <laughs> to me. So, Cameron, all yeah. these niggas, it was, we came up, mixtapes, watching niggas. Mm -hmm. Big. Tupac. I remember when Big came with Who Shot Shot, I tell niggas all the time, they'd be like, that's not a diss record. Because I was uh, kicking it, well, I think, with the nigga producer, I forgot the name, but he was like, it's not a diss record. I'm like, well, to me. Myricks, the guy yeah, who made I'm it? like, well, to me, that's a diss record. <laughs> Who shot you? Because mm, right. that was a classic for me. Right. And that one, that's one of the hardest beats. Because yeah, they say he recorded them. before. Because some beats are just special when you really right. think about it. So let me ask you. Mm -hmm. G-Unit versus who on versus? I mean, you've seen uh, us on versus. I think everybody will probably try to match Dipset or D-Block, right? What you want about that? But um, D Block beat Dipset, so I think it would just be hard because we got so many mixtape records. I mean, you know, shout to Jada, shout to Cameron, all them niggas. But I think it would be hard. But I don't think Fifty will ever do it. But if Fifty would do it, let's just say Fifty. Hypothetically, let's say we slipped Fifty some ecstasy yesterday, <laughs> and he's feeling it. What do you? Who, who? I see Fifty saying, "Yeah, yo, I sold 11 million records." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, all right, yeah. That's what I see him saying. Right. You know what but I'm if, saying? If he was to agree to it, who you think? What crew? G Unit could go against. And is it? Is it does it have to be New York? Does it have to be? I think. I think it's different because when you look at G Unit, right? When you look at Dipset and um, uh. D Block, what's your legendary group from New York right. City? Uh -huh. But when you look at G Unit, even when we came with the mixtapes, we had shit that was playing in the clubs. Uh -huh. Baby, smell at me, cause I'm one about Henry. you, girl. Uh -huh. Think about the mixtapes. I'm after your cheddar. We 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 on the avenue, Jamaica Avenue, yeah. Bronx. We uh -huh. oh, we doing shit over. We doing. Um, Park. Um, we, Kelly, we doing um fucking um Raphael Sadiq shit over. Uh -huh. We doing the hooks. We doing every babies. They fat fat. The police got your ass getting fat fat. Think about Fifty was the kind of first nigga kind of. We had songs for the bitches. Niggas ain't really have that. Right. Like Jada and them niggas. Let's keep it real. Dipset. They not. We was in Dubai in like 05, like this. What is a Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> like no disrespect to them niggas they, they you could say they got better balls they niggas are nice Cameron but we was in Dubai like what this Dubai <laughs> a lot of artists really cause you gotta think about it what markets do a New York artists really have right now once we get to the south we go to Atlanta I done been to shows Mob Deep had they single niggas go to Atlanta yo Mob Deep performing Niggas is turning their back, bro. There's a point where we got shut down. I done dropped the mic. No problem. We got but the point. But there's a point, there's a point, you gotta remember, G Unit, I remember me and Banks, we went to a market in North Carolina. So Nelson and them got us there again. Shout to Nelson, had me with no. DJ Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> shout, out, shout out Nelson and them, man. So we with Nelson and them, because usually when radio tell you to do something, the artist got to do it, because the PD had control. Yes. You miss one show, never play shit on radio again. <laughs> so it was like, yo, we go to some shit. I think we was in North Carolina. 
And we was at the shit, and the DJs was like, we got to stop playing these out-of-towners. We got to start playing our people. Me and Banks are like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, the South did feel that. So we like this. I think uh, look, 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 look at this. Look. No, I'm just we was I, playing, we was like, I told you. I don't know if we was in North Carolina, but we was at a conference, and they was like, fuck these out-of-town rappers. And we like, we got to start playing our people. <laughs> so when you think about it, when you go to Atlanta and you go to North Carolina and Lucy, Louisiana and all that, uh -huh. New York nigga ain't getting no burn out there, bro. Uh -huh. That shit stopped towards D.C. and all that. D.C., they playing the go-go and all that. Yep. But once you go to, like, Atlanta and all that, niggas don't want to hear no New York. No, 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 no. I've been in Atlanta club. You skipping Virginia. After Virginia... It's over. So for a New York artist, you don't really have no markets. What you got? You got Buffalo. You got Connecticut. You got... What? Maybe Jersey. Maybe Philly. But it's going to stop once you get to... Yeah, a, little bit, a little bit. Maybe. Because, you yeah. know, D.C., they with the go-go shit. Yeah. You know, and the yeah. They with all that. <laughs> they, I went to some shit. They had the go-go. <laughs> it starts stopping down there. <laughs> we going to take it to the south now. <laughs> the only thing they niggas, listen no, no, no. Niggas when, they're doing it in the box. They took it way back. Yeah, way back. All that shit. They went <laughs> go-go shit. I don't get way. shit. He went way through. He went way The go-go. Because I did parties and they got the go-go. So go 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 big out there. D.C. Nigga. Niggas is playing the south shit. Texas, they not playing New York Ramblers. Atlanta, they not playing New York. Savannah, Georgia, they not playing New York. Because it came to a point where the, Atlanta, the down south artists had more markets than the New York niggas. Yeah, they do. Because niggas like Boosie is rich. Yeah. They got Tennessee, they got Florida and all that. A New York nigga got, like, when you look at, like, an ASAP and them niggas, them niggas will perform overseas. Joey Badass. Yeah. yeah. So the overseas was like big for us, like damn. But for a New York nigga, once we get past Buffalo, maybe shit like that, we got overseas and all that. Fuck. Because I'm quite sure you could. Come on, I, I seen Havoc. Havoc was just in Italy or something. Small. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah you got. You, yeah, yeah. You gotta go. You gotta go. I seen oh. J. Rue the damage on the road. He lives out there in Germany, I think. I seen fucking. No, is, um, I've been saying this story. Yeah, a lot of people just move out there because that's, that's how lucrative. To me, it is. this is what hip hop is. Like when you listen to a lot of hip hop, I seen KRS One Switzerland. I seen yeah. J. Rue the Damager. Right. I ran into Boys the Men. Like niggas are making music, you wouldn't even know they getting bags. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace, Prodigy. He not around, but Mob. Yeah, I'm going to Italy. Small I, deep. I used to go with them. Shook ones. So when you listen to the music y'all made, like War Report, Niggas on the Run, Eagles. Prodigy's last show was with us in Vegas. And we just had Ice-T yeah. here. And I, it was Rest it was ice T's show. Um, as Prodigy got off stage, I gave him a five. That's legendary um, shit, bro. Um, and, I, and, you know, I, this is what I usually do. I say, yeah, man, I'm going to get y'all niggas drunk. And Pete said, I'm not feeling good. But people been telling me that for years. And Havoc came and hung with me. And we was doing on the run eating, a food show. We, I was doing a food show. So um, I went and performed. And uh, yeah, that was the last time I seen Gee, Prodigy. Rest in peace, Prodigy. You know what I mean? Legend. I mean, what I knew about Prodigy is I knew the sickle cell was kind of something hard to deal with. Yeah. yeah. You know, and shout to everybody that has to deal with that because it'd be like, yo, we'll be on the road. And they'd be like, Prodigy just went blind. He always played it off, though. Yeah. He always played it off like it was nothing. Yeah, so it was something my, hard. It was, sickle cell was something that I realized from Prodigy was hard to deal with. Right. You know, Prodigy went blind in one eye. Oh, I didn't know that. Prodigy, yeah, when he was used to be on tour, your Prodigy, yo, his hip ran out. So I was just like, yo, sickle cell is something oh, I didn't to, know that. so when you hear his records and he'd be like, you feel his pain and shit, it was like, yo, we wake up every day and we take advantage of our health. Yeah, we good, we good every right. day. Imagine having sickle cell. Yeah. For him, that was hard from what I seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, and rest in peace to Pete. But it was just like, yo, yo, Prodigy went blind in the eye on the road. Because you like, guys toured with him, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. They were on G then. So, you know, but when he went to jail and he came out of jail, he was healthy. Yeah. That's what Ice-T said. That's, That's exactly what Ice-T said. That was the funny shit. It's like, he, you know, sometimes niggas go to jail. They say, you know, that up north here. Niggas go right. to up north here. Yeah. Niggas come yeah. back glowing. Yep. Nigga come back still looking young. Yep. What the fuck? 
They can come back glowing. They niggas be like, up no fear. <laughs> I don't heard that from mad niggas. That up no fear, that yeah. shit keep you alive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Old nigga don't want you that. You could, you could do that at home. Yeah, you could do you that, that at home. We don't want, we yeah. we want the regular air. Yeah, but yeah, when he yeah. came home, yeah, he was looking good. I guess him That's not eating way. the bullshit from in the town and wasn't smoking. Mm. When Prodigy came home, remember when he came home, he yeah. was, that nigga yeah. was cut up. Right. Yeah. That's what I see, said. Yeah, man. You know how all the shit y'all niggas had to deal with, yeah. man. That's cool. Not so, um, hmm? uh, how was it? How was it when, um, you know, because at one point it was like, all right, one of the biggest laughs I ever got mm -hmm. here was uh, Remy Ma was sitting right here. Mm -hmm. And I said, I still miss the days of the original Terror Squad. Definitely. And she just laughed at me. What? Because what she was trying to say is, it'll never happen. It will never happen. Yeah. So, I'm going to ask you the same thing. Right. Do you think the original G unit that we know, and not, I'm not saying the original G unit right. in uh, in uh, Queens or in New York, but the G unit that we originally saw, right? Which was which? You, who is who? Who would y'all say? Buck, yeah. Yep. Banks, Game, okay. Game, Lloyd. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm listening to all y'all. So, okay. I, I, you know, I right. I'm. Uh, I don't even know what to say. But Go what ahead. I'm saying you is, think I, would that I know, ever I know I'm being naive. No, no, no. But would that wait. ever happen? Would that ever happen? Yeah. No. <laughs> and I'm going to explain to you why. Okay, cool. Because because when you look at 50, right, so when you sell 11 million records, your first album, mm. right? Yes. And your second album comes, and, and Jimmy Iovine and everybody's saying, drop the second album. And you're saying, nah, I want to put my niggas on. Mm. I want to put Yeo on the album, he in jail. I want to put my niggas on. The label's just saying, you sold 11 million records. We Drop the next album by yourself, man. Right. Nah, I want to put Buck on. Wow. Mm. I want to put Yeo on. I want to put Banks on. Mm. I want to put Game on. Drop back for Mercy. He didn't have to do that. Mm. Make some noise, 50 Cent. See, you got to... Make some noise, 50 Cent. That's hard. See, that's hard, 50 Cent. You got to understand, hard. when shit go wrong, what do artists always do? Who do we always blame? The label, the label or a decision that we made. You understand? But what I'm saying is, me learning the game, when we's on the road, some niggas want to fuck bitches and drink all night, and some niggas want to get the information. Mm. You can't be mad at a nigga that help you get on. Fifth help game... Fifth helped Buck, Fifth helped me, he helped Banks. But think about it, that second album after Get Rich or Die Trying was what? No, it was Beg for Mercy. Wow. It was the G-Unit group yeah. album. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You really didn't have to throw that assist or throw that alley-oop to make us in the stars. And while he's the hottest in the game as well. The hottest in the, the game, in nigga. The game. You were the hottest in the game and your second album is the group album. I was on that album in jail. I got to make some noise for that and take a shot. Ah. You got to really that. think I, about that. I knew that, yeah. You I was in shot. jail. You got a shot there somewhere. So you got to think, like, the label's telling you, Interscope's like, nah, drop the massacre. Nah, do beg for mercy. Mm. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, come on. Let me shot. Salud. Salud. We got to take that. There's so many. We got, like, 30 shots, so we're drunk. Yeah, I like how you, you you're the only sure. nigga that spread it out. I like yeah, it. I got Everybody <laughs> double up. Leave, let, 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 we calling that the Tony Yayo now. I love Whenever this. a nigga motherfucking <laughs> get, dr get right drinking now. and leave the... No, no, spread the drinks out like that? Yeah, it's just like... Look, look, this is what you, people usually do. I, I call her Jamie, Andy, 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 Andy Stacy. Yeah. I'm sorry, I know it's... And I like, I'm like, she's like, what the fuck, man? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Fuck that guy, man. <laughs> I call that Jamie, Amy, and Stacey. No, but, but, but let's get back to that, because he went with the group album He next. went with the group album. He just sold 11 million. Wow. Now, you sold 11 million records. You could be like, man, fuck that, man. Fuck these niggas, man. I'm going <sighs> to do whatever I want. I just sold 11 million. Eminem sold 16, nigga. Sold 11 million. Mm. Thank you, um, Jamie. Right? I sold 11 million, nigga. Fuck these niggas, nigga. Nah, yeah, you in jail. He been with me from day one. Banks, that's my young boy. I got him off the porch, made him a millionaire. Banks came see me, rings on. Buck, Buck was with Juvenile. He really didn't go the way he wanted to. Fifth put him on. You know what I'm saying? First nigga, help him really take off in the South. Game, game had Dr. Dre and 50. Helped everybody. 
So if niggas shit on you after that, you like, now think about it. You 50, right? Yeah, I'm so. Now think about this. You 50. No, he's not. You put all these niggas on. You know how shit go. Niggas start spending money. Right. And the hood niggas. Niggas don't know what taxes is and all that. Make 200,000. They fucking themselves. Now you know you flying bitches here, hotels. Take the card, baby. Cause you know Buck, Buck spent a lot of Buck, Buck was the, he spent money, he spent a lot of money. Buy a new car, bitch. He hanging with Meech and them. Be a meth, nigga. Them niggas, you know, them niggas buying out the club. <laughs> you know, you hanging Atlanta, man, back in them days, man, you go broke, man. Buck spent a quarter million. Even when shit happened like that, fit for helping out with the taxes, cause you know? when you make money, you're not reeling about, about taxes. He helped him with the tax? You a hood, nigga, you ain't thinking about taxes. With made 200,000, nigga. You made 200,000 in a week. Nigga ain't thinking about the tax money. You done spent that money. The block might get slow. No more shows for like a year, nigga. <laughs> now you could have went on this anger management tour. You could have made, you know, five, six hundred thousand in maybe two, three months, which is Exceptional money <laughs> for any nigga from the hood. You make five hundred, six hundred thousand in two, three months. Start spending money. You got the bitches now, bitches, nigga. Mm. <laughs> you start buying cars, nigga. <laughs> you start buying your mom's back bags, nigga. <laughs> then you look. You don't spend a quarter. You just spend, like a nigga spend two hundred. Then here come the tax man. Well, you owe us another 200. You're like, oh, how does this work? Because <laughs> when niggas run into this money, we don't know nothing about taxes. They don't teach us that in school. Nope. Nori, they don't teach us that in school. Nope. They don't teach us about... They don't teach us that here. Yeah. Even as... It's, it's, it's not a lot of successful people that want to turn around and say... And the industry don't teach you Go that. get an account. They should, right off, go, off go learn how to put your shit in, in you know, in a certain account and, you know, or to pay them more. Or take off 30% off To pay them more. Yeah. Niggas don't be knowing about all that shit, bro. Uh -huh. And niggas will fuck up the money. And, you know, when niggas will go, yo, fifth, man, I need, man... That's wild. Let me buy 175000 <laughs> Then you be looking at it like, yo, that's a hell of a loan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just because you got it. Because I be like, Nori, let me borrow 300, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nori will be like, oh, well, hold on, bro. <laughs> like, niggas think this is the reality of life. They, I used to think like that, too. Just because your man made 50 million. Yo, man, let me borrow half a million, man. <laughs> Nigga, I don't care if you got a lottery. Drugs, <laughs> legal weight. Yo, we talking about a quarter million. Like, so niggas will look at loans, and I'm going to keep it real, buck. Like, this time's fifth be like, man, that's why fifth is shit on niggas. Like, yo, nigga, never satisfied, man. Nigga fucked up. I done lent that nigga a buck 75, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, niggas fucked up, man. Because he's a grimy 90s nigga, man. Niggas from the hood, you can't just go to a nigga. Yo, let me borrow a buck 50, man. <laughs> 50,000. You think you could really ask a hood nigga for 50,000 and he don't want it back? Yes. Mm. I don't give a fuck what you do. Rap, trap, scam, rob. Nigga want that bread back. So I learned from Fifth. Like, he was just like, come on, bro. Niggas, he did a lot for everybody, man. I seen Shot Money, 10, 20 cars, Banks, Lamborghinis. Right. I'm over Banks had a Lamborghini. That should be in the snow, man. Nigga ain't even put it in a garage. Shit in the snow, man. <laughs> Buck, you know, when Dora Explorer came out, Buck had a whole fucking room for his daughter. Dora Explorer! I'm like, I couldn't believe this shit. Dora Explorer sent <laughs> TVs coming out the bed. I ain't have a TV come out the bed. Buck had the TV come out the bed. Tennessee Titan, old schools. Jacob the jeweler, man. Because you got to think about it. Jacob was selling them watches for 75000 Back then, Easy. but when you fast forward, that shit ain't worth that. Mm. Them new shits he's doing is yeah. worth that. Yeah, they five hundred. Cause he got like, cause he got scar face yeah. watches and shout out to Jacob, and, um, a, a Godfather. Yeah, but um, he's now accepted in the Geneva Convention. Prior yeah. to that, he wasn't accepted. Yeah, but now he's like making the watches where he got the scar face, the Godfather. Yeah, Godfather cause Scarface. Jacob's the first nigga yeah. to do it, but yeah, Bugatti. You got all that. You try to trade in that Jacob watch Messi. for that 75K, 
So what gonna... exactly happened? Because right now we're seeing um, Lloyd, at, at you know, before, prior to um, the homie passing away, Hovain Hilton. Uh -huh. um, we were seeing, rest in peace, Hovain. We were seeing, uh, yeah, yeah, rest in peace, Hovain. Mm -hmm. um, we were seeing Lloyd with Hovain. And we quite didn't understand. Is he is he still with G Unit? Is he doing his own independent I thing? I think I think Banks was just like that's always my guy, and mm. 50's always my guy. So I try to stay out between them because they both my brothers. You know, we mm. grew up a block separate, a part of it. Oh, but each I, other, all yeah, three from, of from each other. But okay. I, I always say in my mind, your boss is never going to call you. Right. You got to call your boss. Mm. No matter what you go through, like. All right. The nigga with the money ain't gonna call you, bro. Right. You gotta call him. All right. And that's just what it is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He put niggas in 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 position, mm. and I just appreciate it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I come from cold blocks, late nights, skin shaped by police, mm. like every other nigga. I never thought I was special. I just feel like I'm blessed, and that's why I think like when I do these interviews and go on these shows, real niggas relate to me mm -hmm. because. I just feel blessed more than anything. And I thank God that I'm in these rooms where, you know, I'm watching movies. Wesley Snipes, nigga from New Jack City. I'm like, damn. Did he have Jim Asian Carey. bitches with him? He had all kind of people there. He had all kind of shit. It was a film festival. Okay. So, like, I'm going to see the Mona Lisa. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a hood nigga that never thought that I'd go see the Mona Lisa or some shit like that. It's fine. Fucking all kinds of art. Fucking, fine. you know, because when I go to these places, I don't just, like, stay in the hotel. Right. I go outside and enjoy life. Like how you was in Italy on the boat and shit? Oh, yeah, I go outside. Yeah, you was on the water and shit? Yeah, 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 I go outside. I do shit like that. Yeah, goddamn. So I'm kind of appreciative because I never thought I'd be in these rooms or these places like Nelson Mandela cell. Come on. Yeah, come wow. on. That's fine. Come on. Which is humbling. Robin's That's Island. Fine. That's fine. Nelson Mandela cell. The way where they was working and doing all this fucking work in the limestone, we went there, we was in the yard they was in where they had them doing labor for kind of like no reason. So we was there, Ray, Nelson Mandela, the guy that flew us in, did like 19 years in jail. He's a political um, prisoner for blowing something up. You know, like I said, 30 niggas couldn't come to Nelson Mandela house. Uh, I think Chris Lighty was around at that time. 30 niggas ain't coming to Nelson Mandela house. So I didn't get a chance to go, and it was cool. I went to the jail that he was actually incarcerated in. So for, for stuff like that, our parents, you know, my mom and dad never got to even fucking yeah. do something. Even the places you've been. Yeah. You know, have your parents or, like, that's yeah. what you gotta think family about. members yeah. ever got a chance to be to these places. So, real, real you know, that's big for me, you know? Yeah, man. Let's talk about Get Indicted Hotline. Get Indicted Hotline, yep. Yeah, the, that's, the, that's a skit. That's a, that's a song. That's a skit. Song. I mean, I feel like it's a skit in that song. When I, when I feel about Get Indicted Hotline, I feel like um, the internet is a gift and a curse. Mm. Why the internet is an, it's a nice place where, you know, you can... There's guys that have all kinds of opinions on the internet from YouTube that make money. Right. And it's cool. Now, you got a lot of niggas, he's a rat, put out the paperwork. Right. That, you got all kinds of right. shit on the internet where, right. you know, niggas are... <laughs> you got all kinds of niggas on YouTube and on the internet. And if you get your money, that's your way. It's better right. than you being on the block doing them sim that's shit. Money. But it's like, we on the internet, it's like for artists, people want to see me with shit. Like, for me, like, I always say, yo, if I buy a shirt for, like, $1,000, I'm going to wear it again. Like this shirt right here, Casablanca, silk shirt. Oh, yeah, I wear my shit twice. Yeah. I'm going to wear my shit again. Two or three times. I don't give a fuck. Or if you buy, like, a Louis I hat. I my shit to the cleaners, too. Because right. now everything is expensive. If you buy shades now, 1000 now, 800 uh -huh. So you can say 1000 uh -huh. You buy a Mary Jeans, $1,000. Uh -huh. You buy a shirt, a Mary T shirt, five hundred to a thousand. Casablanca, eight hundred. Everything is like a thousand dollars. Mary fit me too. So listen, tight. I don't like it. I wear. I, I Mary jeans are good though. Kinda. Yeah, but they're tight. Yeah, but you got to get the right size. No, I you know. didn't get the right size. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What kind of conversation is this? You got to go to the right yeah, place. Yeah. Nah, Mary jeans. A Mary jeans fit good. That's why a lot of people like them. But right. a Mary jeans can cost fifteen to a thousand dollars. So you got to understand the pressures that we had as kids. The young, the young generation have it way times more. Because their jeans are $1,500. Yeah. Because they showing out. Yeah, but everything's expensive now. That's right. Do you realize what milk and bread costs right now? You know the price of milk went up? Like people, because we get money, we don't pay attention. No, it's expensive. So when prices go up, Inflation on is wild right now. Like milk and bread. 
Like at one point they were selling eggs food is on the block. You gonna go to the supermarket and their bread is gonna be like twenty dollars, and you ain't you gonna because y'all get money. You know, y'all got Richard Millie's and all kind of nice shit. <laughs> a nigga with the Richard Millie ain't gonna be paying attention if the bread is $20. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still kind of hood. I'm like, damn, bread $20 now? Milk like? So, every single grocery bill. So it's a lot of pressure because, like, niggas on the internet, they want to see shit. They want to see the success. They want to see Nori on the boat, Italy. They want to see me in Dubai. But at the same time, a nigga that want to take shit from us right. or got bad intentions is watching too. Right. So you Real see a lot shit. of artists, they'll go on trips, nigga try to run in their crib. Yeah. That's crazy. You got to have security. You got to have all kinds of shit. You got security so, there where you at and the security... So I say the internet is a gift and a curse because, like, look at this platform, how big Drink Champs is. From when I seen you... From one of the... Seven plus years. That was seven years ago. Yeah, it's crazy. So where y'all, I done seen y'all around Dave Chappelle, yep. yeah. Kanye, Fifth, yep. everybody. One, all the biggest names in the game, you can name wow. it. Nah. And, it's and, humbling. And look what y'all had, you know? And, and you know, it's, it's crazy. And we appreciate you know, every and, moment of it. And you're teaching other people the way. Like, if you before you get on the corner, learn how to this YouTube game and learn how to master this game. He's getting a lot of checks, I see. You know, Ace over here, you're getting right. Diddy, Jay-Z, everybody. That's right, that's right. Shout out to Monster. Shout out to that Deli You know, know that Deli is out here. You know, you know, I don't make a penny of a Mama Juana, but shout out to Mama Branson. Branson I don't know where the Branson, Branson went. You drink it all. You drink it all. The Branson is around. We got the Branson right here. No, 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 we got, we got some left. Come on, See? God damn it. we got that Branson out here. Now you're going to get the check come for on, 50. Come on, come on, you know what I mean? We drinking that Branson, yeah, too. Drink, yeah. I ain't going to lie, I like the champagne, too. No, the champagne. I don't know how to is, pronounce it. Shemis, it's like, it's, it's, like, it's like, Luke, baby, it's what was what was what look, what was the first, who was the first one doing, remember, what was it, Cameron? What was it, the scissor? Did oh, you have the a liquor deal? liquor? Every, it's like, nah, the first liquor one? deal. Was it Dane? Yeah. Armadale, Armadale was, yeah, rock and roll. opinion. Armadale. Biggs. Jay Z had Armadale, in my opinion. It was really big. It was really big. really, um, like, that was his thing. Yeah. But I'm going to be honest with you. I think that that was the first, but I also want to be honest with you. It was horrible. Well, Armadale? I'm trying to remember it. I, I still got I a bottle. I still got a bottle. No one says I remember Armadale. That shit was great. It was great. a vodka. No, I remember the name. I remember when they... It, had... was, it was a vodka. Did Jay say some lines about Armadale? Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. He definitely Stings did. And Jay. Yeah. Yep. And, and then, then uh, Jay went from Armadale. And then Cam, I think... Um, Kim had Scissor. Scissor after that, yes. Yep. Yes. Because uh, liquor, de liquor Deals was early in the game. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure we're missing somebody, but to Royal, me, Ciroc Royal was the Elite was first one to really go as big as it went. No, there was, there was, there was, yo, when you think about it, there was a lot of, like, I always say FUBU should come back. Yeah. Because, like, there was a lot FUBU of... FUBU owns um, Kooji. That's crazy. Damon, yeah. yeah, he got a lot of... Because yeah, when you see our culture, so like, we left. always set trends, like, when you really think about it, like, motherfucker ain't gonna wear Kooji, Louis, yeah. Hermes... Like, you hear artists talk about that shit and it make you want to go get it. Bro. Yeah. Right. So when you think about the culture, when you think about rap from back in the days, a nigga wanted a Dookie Link chain because he seen Eric B. Right. Or fucking right. Big Daddy Kane on video music. That's why I always give Ralph McDaniels video music box because that was the beginning for me. Of course. Video music box, you seeing niggas. Of course. That was hip hop. See, that was the thing about G Unit. We was in niggas' basements. It was always hip hop. I was a nigga walked to Jamaica Avenue. I go to Hot Wax. I go see the white man with the beard. I forgot his name. <laughs> like we'll, we'll go by Grandmaster Vic, Dog Tom, uh -huh. um, Dirty Harry, Dirty whoever, Harry. Ron uh -huh. G. I always say Ron G. Yeah. Number ten yeah. Yeah. was a classic. Because yep. Tim Dog was the first. Tim Dog was the first nigga to get at Cali niggas. Remember he had uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Compton. Remember uh -huh. back in the days, yeah, Ron G Number Ten was like a classic record. So we was niggas that used to go to Jamaica Avenue, Queen shit, and buy mixtapes. All the bootleggers was there. You had Hot Wax. Yeah. Like it was a high for us. It was hip hop. Uh -huh. So when I see yo, I met Kane and Cool G Rap nigga. Niggas was droopies nigga. Together. Nigga, as, yeah, as, nigga. Uh, as you should have been. They came to yeah. some shit with 50, nigga, the 50 call them out. Those are icons. Things. I was a groupie, fire. nigga. Big Daddy Kane. It's fire. And NL, I always tell a story. NLE Chopper was there. And I was like, yo, you know what's going on? Nigga was like, I don't know what's going on, man. 
you know, South nigga. <laughs> everybody, I'm like, yo. everybody has a Memphis yeah. accent. So I'm like, yeah, yo. Yeah. The Yayo been on his accent look. shit all yeah. night. Yeah. This thing's yeah. always for Yayo yeah. accent. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo Yayo's podcast would be amazing look, if he just accents. Well, yeah, I'm trying to invest so in like, Yayo I'm podcast. Like, I'm like, yo, I'm like, that's Big Daddy Kane. Yayo that's, cast. I'm, Yayo I'm cast. like, yo, that's the first nigga that fuck with Madonna. He like for real. Who, who'd you say? Who'd you say? Big Daddy Madonna. King. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First people for Remember he was Madonna. in modeling magazines. Thinking well, except King. Eric B. Uh, what was black no, no, fingers. What was, uh, first black Benitez. Uh, I'm sorry. The DJ, the I went DJ. too far. No, oh, the nigga bro, was Jelly like, Bean Bonitas. Look, the nigga was like, yo, Tupac. Gotta give it to Jelly Bean Bonitas the nigga was, before. And Chopper like, yo, I thought Tupac messed with Madonna. I'm like, nah, this the first nigga big chains. Nah. Know what I'm saying? He fucked with Madonna first. He just had it on speed old, but it, we, we got over that no, part. Sure. No, no, but he, he alluded to something on Drink Champs. Yeah, he said he finger pops. He says, no, nah, I don't know about all that, but he said something. Cool. He never said he finger Yeah, Kane, Kane, Big Daddy Kane, yep. Yeah, yeah, and I went to I dinner with him. I tried girlfriend. to get it. Yeah, we, we, I tried to we get talked to him yeah. about that. Yeah, I tried I to get him to get it. his girlfriend for a while, no? Yeah. Because who Kane went against again? Um, uh, Karis won. Karis won. Oh, that shit was Karis classic. Nah, it was classy. But let me ask you. Let me we, ask you. We before. would love to see Eric. Um, Eric and Rock came. Talking yeah. about Rocky. So we know that G Unit might not never do. Yeah, Fifth's right? Fifth not gonna do it. But what happens if Memphis Bleak call you out right now? I still wouldn't do it. I'm, I'm going overseas. We got the tour coming. I'm going to make millions of dollars. What happens if Jewel Santana call you out, right? I wouldn't even do it. I'm going to make more money than these guys. I'm going on tour with 50. <laughs> Why would I want to? Sheik Lutz call you out. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'm going to be in Dubai. We got. <laughs> Dubai. He loves Shout himself in Dubai. Buster going to be on the tour, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's right. The tour. Buster's right. on the tour. Right. 50, the 50 tour? pay good, man. Is it really his last tour? Yeah, this, this, we good. He's going to go back to his movies and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's that's fire. That was crazy. So it's like, why would I want to do a versus? Like, uh. I'm like, way past that. <laughs> they might say, yo, we're going to give you a quarter mil. Uh. Like, make that in a couple of days. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying about Fifth. He makes sure everybody's good. Right. Now, if I make so. the money and I blow it, that's on me. Right. Right. Mm. right. You make a quarter mil, you know, some people, if they get this type of money, they'll look at... This is why people look at rappers stupid. Mm -hmm. They be like, this guy was making quarter mil in a couple of days. You know, Jamie would be like, I'm investing that in the business. <laughs> <laughs> but they look at us as stupid because they're like, yo, he bought a car, he bought a chain. You look dumb, bro. <laughs> so Fifth is the type, he'd be like, Fifth will buy AP, he'll, you know, he'll buy a Cullinan or whatever. But he'd be like, if the money get too high, like, mm, two million. Like Mayweather, I've been around Mayweather, he might buy a chain or a watch for a million dollars. Uh -huh. Fifth ain't really going to do that. Uh -huh. Fifth's gonna be like, man, let me invest that into the company of real estate. Right. right. You know what I mean? So they, look at, so they look at rappers like. Can we take look. a shot for your accent? Thank you. Yeah. Let's go for the accent. Whatever accent, for you accent. be switching up on us. <laughs> but, no, you got I ran, I ran out of shots. Whatever no, is, no. It's fucking amazing. No, because when they look at these artists, right? You look at these artists, right? I'm gonna give you the prime example. Do the shot, though. Look, I'm gonna do the shot. But he got to do a Miami accent. He only got one Southern accent. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. Let, let, let's keep it real. Man. Man. Yo, let's think about this, right? Tory Lanez. And I like the guy, no disrespect. I love the guy. I'm mad he's locked up, right? You know what I'm saying? Shout to Jamie. Um, <laughs> you went from, yo, look, you went from being at Kylie Jenner house. Oh, I did have a shot. Right? With Megan the Stallion in a pool party to a shootout. Wow. You are blessed, bro. You got to always remember Wait, your he went blessings. From what? Wait, I don't you know. went from Kylie Jenner. In them crib, oh, college, chilling yeah. in Hollywood. You with Megan the Stallion. You living a life. You got change, jewelry, money, and everything is gone right now. Nobody's exempt. And that's for every artist. Everybody can fuck from, up though. You know what I'm saying? God gave you a chance to make all this money. Put you in these rooms. You went from Kylie Jenner crib, Megan the Stallion, chilling in the pool party, right? To a shootout. How did that happen? I wish I was with Kylie and Megan and chilling and just to be in these rooms. Dory bring me somewhere. Oh, I'm chilling. We in Hollywood. Yeah. Fifty bring me to a party. It was it was this guy was a billionaire. I'm like, oh, 
Hey, I don't want no smoke. I don't want <laughs> so it's like, we be blessed as artists. People look at us as stupid. They're like, yo, you got the chance to make all this money. Or, and you fuck Yeah, you networking like a motherfucker. Listen, a quarter million dollars, a hundred thousand, fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money. Hell yeah. It's a lot of money. Any money that you make, ten thousand all of it. You got people that say, come to my restaurant. I'll give you three thousand dollars. I'm from the hood. Is it? What? Hold on. Three thousand dollars just to come eat at your restaurant? You hungry anyway. Let me come check you. I'm hungry <laughs> anyway. Like it's just different. And then we got the internet. That's why I say it's a gift and a curse. Cause the internet could make you so much money. When the COVID came, internet made me a lot of money. And I realized when 50 used to say, yo, you lazy. You know what I said? I got to work. I'm on the best show ever. Drink champs. Look. Hey! And before I was with Drew Hill, corrupt all type of niggas. <laughs> I ain't hold no weight. Now but, I'm by myself. Nah, that was a classic episode. Now I'm by myself. That's a classic episode. Ain't even gave me your flowers. Shout to corrupt. Corrupt. You said East Coast beef wasn't real. You was fucking bugging, man. <laughs> we love you, corrupt. Nah, love everybody you. left that episode. Yeah. But, friends but, and fans. No, but nah, nah. nah yeah, yo, I'm just being honest real, with man. you. I'm just being honest with you. Like, there's so many people in this game that they don't understand that, you know, uh, that the person to, to hand that assist to right. is so important. Right. Because so many people, like, when you, you're like, quote, unquote, man, we need that, yeah, yo. We need that person to say, yo, don't, let me throw this on him for a second. For him, for all the defense to go follow him. Right. And I love your loyalty, man. I love how you hold 50 down. Oh, definitely. I love how 50 hold you down. I love how 50, and I also love his military. I don't know if that is a word. Clown. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what, did he, what, did, what did he even say? <laughs> he said, I'm no, so it's drunk. Not. I don't know what I heard. I just was like, I was just drunk. Said, no, said, I was yeah, yeah. But no, I love it. I love it because I'm an outsider looking in. And by the way, I was a guy that, you know, I seen 50s beginning. And like, you know, I, like I said, it, it sounds so cliche for me to say it now. Right. They're like, yo, I saw it and I, and I did it for that. Right. Like, I never got paid for those records. I, I, no, I never that's why we appreciate paid. you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I never want to get paid. But what, but the thing is, for me to see from where it started from then and to now, and for me to see your loyalty Damn. from then to now, and and that it should be so much saluted. Like, it's so many people, when you look at Nas Camp, you look at Jay's Camp, right. so many people that don't have their day ones. Right. And when you see you as his day one... you know how one, it felt for me to be on the tour bus with Nas for the Nostradamus album? No, let's talk about You know, I'm on the bus, <laughs> and you know, we sold drugs. Time an addict to sneakers. There's plenty of Buddha and bitches with beepers. I'm on the bus, and Nas is reading books and shit. There's no weed flowing or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But this is Nas. Right, right. That's shit I'm going to remember for the rest of my fucking life. Yes. Being in the studio Look. with you. Yes, yes. Nori, because it's Tim. Yeah, Salud, definitely. Salud, goddamn. Salud. Salud. Yeah. Oh, I got a shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, yeah. give me a yeah. yeah. shot. Jamie got yes. a shot yeah. for me. Yes, man. I remember being in the studio with you, so, yo, it's like, you for me as an shot. artist, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've reached my bucket list. Mm -hmm. Like, going to these places, That'll or even like, what? being on a clue tape, or going to do a flex freestyle. Some real hip -hop. How important, you like... You say being on a clue tape? To being on a clue tape, to being on a That's flex how you freestyle. That's you know hip-hop yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or You remember how it felt to be on a clue tape? Yeah. Or your first time going to flex. Or your first time going to the fuck first master time going to flex, flex. Like I just gotta make some noise. Yeah. I mean, it was like you know what I'm saying. So like in hip hop, I did everything I always wanted to do. Right. Like I always looked at Nori. Like these niggas are playing um, Monopoly with Angie Martinez. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm right. saying? Right. Like right. motherfuckers was like radio was like even even radio was fun back then. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hot 97, 105. It was just. Even though they was like the Bloods and Crips sometimes, but yo, it was <laughs> those stations. <laughs> like, were. yeah, yo, yo, who radio station you going to first? Yeah. 105, 107, 105. Uh, uh, you don't want beef. If you you don't want radio, beef. If you gave your radio, if you gave your clue, and clue was yeah. in and, and um, 105. 
Flex would be. And it, and it felt special about hip hop because, like, yo, when you have a PD, the program director, right. yo, he missed breakfast with us. Don't play his record. Right. <laughs> yo, so it was like, yo, you had to be at radio at this time. Yeah, DJ Cruz. You had to go up to meet D DJs. Yo, DJ, yo, I got Yo, man, yeah. please, man. He's yo, making me remember this so bad. bad. Yeah. Yeah. I got Street goosebumps. Team. Yeah, I got you goosebumps. didn't do drop for the, Look, this DJ Crew. You did it before team this DJ. Street Team getting shot at. Yeah. Street Team, shoot at it. <laughs> Street Team, it was like, hip hop was like, yeah. at that time to me, was legendary. Because you had so much niggas putting work. A street team, nigga? You know what they used to go through? Niggas used to get locked up. Yeah, I was doing that. Police, <laughs> all that street team, bad boys, street team, bad boys. <laughs> niggas have a street team. Niggas was getting locked up, beat up, all uh, kinds of shit, bro. Uh, yep. So hip hop was just so, I don't know, man. It was just like nostalgic at that time, around that time. And New York had, you know, you, Pun, Mob Deep, this nigga, DMX, this nigga, Jake. So it was like New York ran everything at the time. DMX, you know what I'm saying? But let me reiterate what I was trying to say earlier. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, we had all that. I, I can't lie to you. DMX was the first. Like, your, it was, head was, it was, your head was gassed when it, you had all that shit. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> check, 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 check me, check me, check me. No, 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 chill, chill, chill. Don't let him fool you. He was in the tunnel. Look, look, look. Bronx, niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but look, 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 let me, let me, no, no, hold on, hold on, let me just say something, no, because I want to okay. big y'all up. Uh -huh. And I know I said it earlier, but I'm going to, like, all right, so really what it was was this. Mm -hmm. I think Pine was the first one. He did 147,000. Two Pun? I believe. His first like week. His first week. That was phenomenal. Yo, at this time, of course. you know what, what, what was expectancy? 40. 40 or 30. Yep. So Pun was the first one. But didn't it go by what you shipped too, right? So like, what's yeah. the label of ship? Ship, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. But, but, but Ships and scans. Us, and but scans. at this time, this is, this is when we're, they're learning what to ship. Right. So Pun might have uh, shipped out 100 and maybe we sit out 200. Right. But 150, 147 scan. of them was crazy. Was crazy. Yeah. Boom. So that was the crazy. I did, then I came out, I did 163 or 167. On the first 000. solo album? My first solo album, NRE. NRE. And, that was a classic. And, and classic. War Report did like 13,000 the, the first week. Super so independent. That, NRE so did what? What did it do the first, first week? 167,000. That's great. But that went platinum or gold? You're platinum. But it then, went platinum? Yes, yes. Went platinum. I mean, NRE. -E, no, no, but he said War Report. No, 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 no. no he said no, War Report no, 13,000. No. Oh, you said you said NRE? NRE. -E. 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 Oh, NRE -E 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 went platinum. Well, what, 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 what fucked up everybody <laughs> was the DMX 240,000. Oh, oh, he went. Shit. Yeah. He was out of here. He was 260. All right. Jeez. This guy said to the to the no, point no, zero one no, one. No, no, no. One sixty seven is my number. Two four. Let's I keep remember the DMX number. Let's keep it real. I remember. Your man Ja Rule rode that wave. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Because he hold had on. a no. Let's keep it real. Ja Rule rode that wave because he was on what magazine? It was Ja, Jay Z, and DMX, nigga. No, 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 no that's way later. Hold on, hold on. Later. Ja Rule rode that hold wave, on, bro. Yeah, that was way later. But hold on, hold on. Let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. So, but that's didn't Ja DM, come out before that's why DMX? DMX no. was like this nigga trying to copy my style. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> wait, DMX came out before Ja? That was later. That was yeah, later. Yeah, DMX no. like this nigga trying no, 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 to copy my style. No, no, DMX came out first. DMX came out. Did he? DMX came out. Well, I guess I'm thinking of. Uh, no, no, no. The, so hold the on, hold on, hold on. That's, that's way later. Hold on, okay. that's two different subjects. But hold on. Okay. So when DMS came, like how Jay say, when Illmatic dropped, I thought we was all done. Whatever. We didn't understand what the fuck DMX was at that time. I know what I know what DMX was when he had Stand Up by Viper, Stand Back. When he came no, no, with no. that, this is, what this was is, that? This is get, at me, get at me, get dog. At me, get at me, dog. Get at me, dog. That was the first one. And he dropped. He dropped <laughs> No, listen, listen. Get at me dog was Hype Hype Williams from Queens, by the way. Let's just be clear. Of course. Hype Williams was charging everybody millions of dollars. This Definitely. is probably the only person he charged forty grand to. Yeah. We were all mad. 
Yeah, Hype fuck? Williams was Hype Williams was the shit. Like mm-hmm. it was two million dollar budget. Yeah, it was two million. <laughs> like budgets was yeah. crazy for videos. Like, like, this can't was get the that. Only guy. Was the Janet shit? Yeah, niggas listen, listen, walking on the only movie only budget. So yeah. when X X dropped, we didn't really understand. X was and different though. He, X didn't he, even have a chain. He, he had dropped the fucking chain and forty grand, and he he it was like it was over. Okay. Now moving on. Let me move on. Now the no, X no, no, drop. That was after Belly. Up. That was after Belly, right? No, oh, no, no, no. 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 This Belly was, was before his album. No, I, I think so. they filmed before the album oh, came it, out, but I, the it album might be during. It might be during. I, 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 it, it was filmed. How, how no. Williams is Belly, right? It was. Yeah, they yeah. They filmed it. Yeah, they filmed it, but I think his music came out right before. But Belly is a classic. So now we moving. We moving. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a guy named. You ever met? You ever met Park? Never. Two, biggie? Ne- biggie, Biggie, yes. But look, look, look. So right, moving yeah, on. So there's a guy named Juvenile mm-hmm. that drops after Juvenile. us. Juvenile. And... Classic. And I had been touring in New Orleans because mm-hmm. there's a big Puerto Rican fucking... It's a big Latino section in New Orleans right. that knew it. I didn't even know that. So I would be going out there and I would be hearing it. So anyway, moving on. New York, we had it. But then it was this cash money. Yeah. New Orleans, excuse me, before cash money, let me not take away from Master P. No limit. Yeah. It was no limit. No limit, yeah. No and limit. then it started going. Cash then money. It started go- and then. It- we was on cash money Rough Riders tour. We was opening that, me and 50. Yeah, I know. I'm picking you up. Let me get to that. Yeah. <laughs> but it was is that this... how Buck got introduced to us? To you? Nah, Buck got introduced because one... Juvenile. Because I know it juvenile. was UTP. What, right? Was that the name of the? One... I think of, I was there the night y'all met Buck. We, on one, a, one, a, one day, on a tour juvenile, bus in yeah, New York. Ju- juvenile had the tour bus with the studio. The tour bus with so the studio we in New niggas. York. We hood niggas, and I'm, this is a true story. So fifth, like, yo, we gonna move up with Juvenile. I think he had the uh huh uh huh. He was lit. So young Buck. All his DTP niggas, all of them niggas was on the bus and shit. Thank so 50 was like... UTP, UTP. Because remember, we had a UTP. We had a song. A little bit of dust, a little bit of cocaine, a little bit of, a little bit of heroin, a little bit of ecstasy. We, we, we recorded that on Juvenile Bus. It was G-Unit, UTP. So we on the bus. Yeah. That's when we first met Buck. You know what I mean? So we on that shit. We chilling. So we still hood, nigga. We still in the hood. Right. You know what I mean? I forgot some of their man's names, though, but there was a, the whole UTP was there. Mm-hmm. We look up their names. I'm I'm just high right now, drunk. I had, like, 20 shots from Jamie. Yeah. I mean, Amy. Amy. Want- no, Jamie. Oh, my bad. I mean, <laughs> my bad, Jamie. You want some Ace of Spades? Yeah, we, we can do some Ace, too. Do some, do give us some Ace of Spades. Give us some Ace of Spades. Don't worry, 50. We had enough shots to bring to Go ahead. You know what I mean? But um, we was on a tour bus. And I never forgot, I was still hustling. Yes. So at that time, we used to have the cracks in the zipper stash. So them niggas was like, yo, we hustle on blocks. I was like, yo, we New York niggas, nigga. <laughs> Got the zipper stash. I pulled out like a 200 pack on them niggas. Right. Yo, the nigga pulled out the crack on us. On Juvenile them. Yeah, on Juvenile and them, on the tour bus. Right. I pulled out the crack out the zipper stash. Uh-huh. Niggas were strapped and all that. Right. 50 just got popped, we moving around. Niggas got guns on them, you know. Right. Niggas still hustling. Right. But you know, once we signed that deal, 50 was like, no more drugs. Yes. And niggas was like, respect for that. Respect for that. No more drugs. Right. You know what I mean? 50 was on it like that. Because you know, when Prodigy got locked up, you know, they was like, set up 50, throw the gun in his car. Police, some police be like that. Not all police, right. but some police be like that. When Prodigy got locked up. And was he already signed to G-Unit when Prodigy got locked up? Yeah, because remember, Prodigy had the BP truck. Mm. I don't know why he had the bulletproof in the hammer. You had the bulletproof truck. You didn't even need the hammer. (laughs) You just wilding, oh, mad money, oh, 50 gave me all the things. Prodigy, they got to check the Porsches. They had the BP trucks. He went up a one-way with the hammer on him. I think going to Alchemist Alchemist Condo. Alchemist Crib, yeah. The condo right, you know, right right there in the city. Right, right. Police fucked with him, tweaked him, gave him the gun charge. Well, he had the nice, but and they took the bulletproof. That shit was brand new. Prodigy had the gold, like to now DBP. Wow. So they really wanted the truck, bro. They took that shit. Yeah. 
That shit was nice, brand new. I think he spent like maybe a buck fifty, two hundred on it. He bought a bulletproof. Bulletproof. Yeah, cause when I was in my shit, I ain't really need. I like, I ain't really had a gun all the time. I ain't had no gun on me like that, cause I'm in a bulletproof. I'm like, yo, as long as I make it to the car, I'm good. So if I go to a venue or something like that, I park the shit, you know, right in the front or whatever. Cause fifth, he gave me a BP. A so what? prodigy, a bulletproof, bulletproof truck. God damn it. Yeah. Solo. Champagne now. We switching it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout to Jamie. Yeah. Oh, I got it right, Jamie, right? Please roll as much as you can. Yeah. Come on. We're getting a lot of money, man. Because I got a... I Fucking got... P. Diddy, Jay-Z, yeah, yeah. M50, right? Yeah, that's M50. Come on, God damn it. That's why what, I salute these guys. What is that? What is that? Um, oh, what is that? Um, remix they got? Um, I get money. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, he's talking about language now, baby. Yo, uh, look when you when you look at guys like Fifty, Jay Z, and mm-hmm. Diddy, I always look at them like on like the kings of marketing from New York. Yeah. No matter what it is, you know, that's what I'm saying. They got their liquor. You got Jay Z. You got Diddy. You got Fifty right here. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. right? You know Welcome what I'm saying? Welcome to the family, bro. So when you look at them three guys, I look at them as, like, marketing geniuses, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. motherfuckers having 20, 30-year runs. They do movies. They do all kind of shit. They got fucking sports agencies. 50 got power. These niggas got liquor. These niggas, they just know how to market shit. Yeah. I think New York niggas just know how to get the money, bro. Right. Even Nori, man. Look at him. Richard Millie. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get me one, bro. I gotta get me nah, one. You got to. You, you got, got it. You got it. You got it. it. But you know what? It never lose value, so I understand. Yeah, it don't. Yeah. It don't. It don't. It's an investment. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I switched accountants, mm-hmm. and uh, I've been, you know, buying all, all this, you know, watches and shit, and then he went from, are you sure, to, can you plug me in? My, that my accountant is because... The value in watches is going up because oh, gold. Yeah. It's, it's not watches. Excuse right. me. It's actually gold. Precious metals. Yeah, gold is going up. So like, that fucking twenty thousand dollar chain that you bought is now worth forty six. Right. But see, guys like you, you start getting in the right circles and right. you start realizing, yo, you might want to go to Richard Mill to go buy that I watch go because you know what I'm you saying. Get Pharrell. the paperwork. My friend because that shit keep value. Yes. Like, but, but don't forget one vital thing. Because you got to think. You got to insure it. When you hang you up, look, when you, it's not, and this is one thing that I got from, it's not who you, it's, it's who you hang around with that makes you who you are, bro. Mm-hmm. So when you are in rooms, like, y'all was in rooms with niggas like Steve Stout. That's right. Leo. That's right. Russell. Still in there. You know what I mean? Niggas are getting sponged from niggas that, right. these are the niggas that, his watch is 50000 with no diamonds. Paul Rosenberg, he like... Spray some Bugatti. Yeah, some good. more Bugatti. He's making me feel yeah. good. Keep so going, keep going. Think, yeah, yo. Keep these, going. Look, look. These are the first, Nick, these are the first dudes that... Nori, keep it real. The first dudes I seen with watches that cost, like, maybe 50000 with no diamonds was, like, industry niggas. Paul Rosenberg. Yeah. What is that? Nah, this costs 50000 Niggas don't even want to rob you because it don't got no diamonds. Yeah. He's like, it's what called, the fuck is that? It's called a boxer wrong. <laughs> it's called a boxer wrong overseas so like, Kirby on. But that shit yes. don't lose value. Yeah, Jay, don't. all these uh-huh. niggas buying all these watches. Uh-huh. Yo, what kind of watch is that? Paul Rosenberg, yo. I, I hate that I gotta use the bathroom during the watch segment. Nah, it's, it's I cool. Use it. Go ahead. And I definitely got nothing to say about watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yo, no problem. Listen. So I'm asking Sonia, yeah, yo, what are you investing in that's not watching? <laughs> Yo, I'm happy. Listen, I'm couple. I'm happy with a couple of houses, flying the world, and because just living life. Fifty don't really invest in none of this stuff. No jewelry like that crazy. Nah, Fifty don't. Listen, a lot of shit. When you get rich, you get for free. Yeah. Wow. People don't look at that aspect. So we might think all these niggas are paying for shit. Nah. Jewelers like, nah, shout me out. Yeah. Take this watch. Mayweather, all these niggas. Come on, bro. But I've seen 50 talk about wearing, like, being more plain in a sense. Like, the richer you get... Yo, I don't think he used the I'm word. I'm going to tell you a story. Said, like, and I talked about less. this on a sneaker show, right? This is when I started learning business. I came home out of jail. We was getting checks for maybe 150000 I got a check for 150000 from Reebok. Right, yeah. I just got out of jail... Fifth gave me a hundred. I think it might it might have been two hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, maybe one hundred and fifty thousand. 
I got, and I just got home. I'm like, fuck it, I'll take this check. I mean, that's a good check. Look, so, so 50 has a meeting one day. So he calls Prodigy, Banks, Buck, everybody up there and shit. No, we got to hear this. This is a crazy one. And um, what happened was um, nobody had on a sneaker. <laughs> so 50 was wearing the G Unit shirt. Nobody had wearing. what sneaker on? The G Unit sneaker. The, the G Unit Reebok. Reebok. Nobody had it on. Nobody had it on. We had Gucci. Wow. We had. <laughs> With Nori. Nori, you got to hear this one, Nori. Oh, uh, Nori takes the quickest. Piece Nori, you got to hear this one. So this is when you. Yeah, Nori. Look. Nori. Nori, no. No, Nori, I'm trying to tell him this is when I started to learn the business. Uh -huh. So I just came home out of jail. So now I'm looking at it like, look, I, look, look, I came out of jail. 50 goes, yo, we got to deal with Reebok. You know, I'm hype. I'm seeing him and Jay-Z rhyming. Sean Carter's. <laughs> Jay-Z got the Sean Carter's. He's making money. Gee, you in the sneakers. Oh, shit. I can get some money out of this? Yeah, 50. Yo, I got you. I think the check was my, the check might have been 180000 God damn it. For you. For me. I'm coming home out. That's, yeah. a, that's a good check. Yes, nigga, what you mean? I'm a hood nigga. What do you mean? I'm coming home, I'm seeing Jay-Z and 50 Ramen, Sean Carter's, Reebok. I'm like, this Reebok shit is crazy. Yeah, 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 we got 180,000 for you. Crazy. Damn. Fuck, man. Thank you. you know what I mean? This is why I say thank you to 50. 180,000. Mm. Both the rip. So Fifth have a meeting, like, a couple of weeks later, you know what I mean? He called Prodigy. He called Banks, called Buck. Everybody's in town. I don't know what's going on. Just call everybody, you know. Fifth way in G-Unit faithfully. He got the wife beaters he made with the markers and shit. Mm. He made that with a marker in the hood. Mm. Marker. Mm. It's on stage. Then he sold that. That shit sold. A video game, everything sold. Let's take, let's take a shot for that. Yeah, let's take a shot. What's, <laughs> let's take a shot. It's an empty shot. No, that's an empty shot. You're going to get me I'm like that. I'm going to have to use the bathroom after yeah, this. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. All right, cool. But I'm going to tell a story. He don't got a shot? Jamie, okay. I need I'm one more. shots. I got about yeah. 20 shots. <laughs> Maybe 30 over here. Okay. I'm ripped. That's why I, uh, I get all the information. Well, so let's go. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, yeah. Oh, so what I was saying? I was too. Yeah. Oh, I just got home. I got a check for about 180000 180000 So fifth call of meeting. Mm. Call of meeting. So the nigga's just looking. He coming to me. We all chilling. Mob deep. Banks. Lloyd Bunk. Lloyd Banks. MOP there? Was MOP there? Was there a part? They might have been there. The unit at, yeah, at that point? They might have been there. Okay. They might have been there. Mm -hmm. So 50 just start. He come around the room. He start looking at everybody's shoes. <laughs> Mind you, he got the shit on Reebok, G-Unit. He got it all on. He got it all on. He like, fuck Gucci, fuck Louis. We my own shit, nigga. Wearing his own shit. We your own brand. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Look, I'm, I'm supposed to have my own right I'm on drink shit. <laughs> I'm supposed to have I'm my own shit. I'm wearing crazy hood right now. I'm stupid. I got the next nigga shit on. But look, yo, you I know what I mean? I got on Pharrell shit. I'm yo, nah, Something like good. my own brand. Yeah, that's, you know, you lit. <laughs> so fifth look at everybody's shoes, and he's like, niggas got on Louis? Niggas got on Gucci? He don't what talk like that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just Your saying. accents for everybody's wild right now. You I'm going, you I'm going accent crazy. crazy. Look how many shots you got. You going accent crazy. We got champagne. We got eight. Yo, you give it everybody. We got you give it everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so the nigga like, yo. So Buck Banks still, he like, niggas got a Louis. <laughs> niggas got a Louis. <laughs> Where the fuck is the Reebok shit? I could have paid the football niggas, man. <laughs> so I started learning business. So that 180 is for you to endorse that, the sneakers. It's just 180 just have it on, my wait, nigga. Wait, 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 wait. Did everybody else in that room get a check like you did? Of course, my nigga. That, okay, that's wild. Thanks, Buck, everybody. And you you wasn't wearing it either. Hell no. <laughs> He's a foul one. I was fucked up that day. <laughs> Niggas got on Gucci. Because so, you got to look at brands. Yo, look. Look, back then, it was brands. You had FUBU. Right. You had Esco. Yeah. What? We, the list goes on. Shut Paco, up, Willie Esco. Paco. Damage. Damage. <laughs> Use. Rest in peace to Virgil, but before Virgil, wasn't he Pyrex Vision? Before? Uh, it was Pyrex Vision before, I think, Off-White. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, we we fucking control the culture. So what I'm saying is I understood it was business. It was like, yo, you just got a check for 180000 You ain't even got the shit on. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, shit. This is the shit he learned being in the room with Steve Stout, Tony Pope, Nori, Chris Lighty. Mm. All the information. You try to be a sponge and learn the information. Right. Like, have your own brand on. Like, the G-Unit brand did good. The video game did good. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But it was all about having your shit on. Wow. Niggas was buying our shit. Right. G-Unit, G-Unit merch. Shit was crazy. And you even look. When you look at Tyler, the creator, and all them, my son now, yo, I want to buy a golf shirt. That's Tyler, the creator shit. Yep. The motherfucker got stores all over and around the world. We might not hear Tyler on the radio, nah, but killed, shit. Nah, they killed My kids the love some of these artists. Like, Tyler got the golf wear shit. He got the stores. Yep. Niggas are buy the merch. So let's take a shot to y'all creating the yeah. illest tank top in the world. Oh, yeah, fit. Not wearing it. And he did it with a marker. <laughs> and not wearing it. And Fifth did it with a marker. Yeah, hey. with a marker. Mm. Oh, man. That's so another let me, thing. Let me ask you, yeah, yo. What's on your rider? What do you mean? On my ride? On your ride, like, if, a, if a, uh, I'm not Hollywood, like... You're not Hollywood at all? Yeah, just maybe you some... You got purple M&M's? No, nah, not purple colored M&M's. I wasn't... So what's on your ride? Just just some some Bud. Of course, Bud is on the list. Okay, Bud. What else? Um, Some drinks. Okay, what kind of drinks you order? Anything. The Branson, the Shem. You know, might have some Ace. You know what I mean? You might have your man shit, De Leon. Yeah, yeah, De Leon. It might be anything. Got champagne here. We just... He's definitely you know. asking for my marijuana. And then, so? <laughs> well, then food-wise, what, what do you go with? Food-wise, you know, I don't know. Lately, I've been eating a lot of chicken, bro. Like, I'm, like, damn near pescatarian. Like, I'm not eating too much beef and chicken all that shit. Chicken is not pescatarian. It's <laughs> <laughs> pescatarian. Pescatarian's a fish. I'm a pescatarian. Oh, all right. I thought chicken. So what's this? He's chicken? Like, you're a chicken-tarian. <laughs> oh, I'm a chicken-tarian, then. My bad. I'm a chicken-tarian. I thought, oh, pescatarian is fish. No, pescatarian is fish, yeah. Yeah, my man, my man got the restaurant. We had fish all day. We had yeah, sandwich. Yeah, pescatarian is fish. Yeah, 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 I don't yes, think there's yeah. a chicken-tarian. Yeah. Yo, because let me, let me tell you. Let's make that up, chicken yeah. Look, 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 I'm gonna tell you the difference. Look, look, this yeah. is what I'm gonna tell you. Like, it's a catch-22 to everything in life. Absolutely. I moved out the hood, right? Moved to the suburbs. Fire. Gayo's my neighbor. Nice place, right? Right? <laughs> Changed my life. She sounds just like that. I'm not worried. Like, see, when you move out the hood, it go from roaches to spiders. You know what I mean? Roaches, now you got spiders and shit. We got iguanas. I have a deer in your backyard or some yeah. shit. You yeah. know what I mean? But... It's a catch-22 to everything in life. So when I leave the hood, there's really not a lot of food options for me. So, like, where I live at, the best thing is, like, bagel shops and pizza. Mm. Like, where I live at, I'm in Long Island. Long Island got good pizza, like Queens pizza, margaritas, mm. and mm. fucking all other shit. Right. Mm. Believe it or not, you got, like, a 50-cent pizzeria and you got a Ja Root pizzeria in fucking Long Island. Get the fuck out of here. You didn't even know that. That's amazing. I swear to God. You got Do they marga- hate each other? Margaritas. <laughs> What's the one Ja Rule and them is in? You know what I'm talking about. Twin, where you at? It's margaritas. And you eat at both of them, be honest. No, both of them are good. <laughs> both of them are good. So, like, we had the margaritas. It's like a on God Brewer. That's like where Southside niggas go. Margaritas been open since... 40 years, uh-huh. margaritas. Uh-huh. And then um, Ja Ru one in them is, I forgot the name of it. What's the Ja Ru pizzeria? <laughs> you got margaritas twin, and what's the other one everybody go to? Uh-huh. I will have to ask Light. But then you got the Ja Ru one. They got pictures of Ja Ru and shit in there. Wow. But you still like the pizza. Yeah. That's amazing. Pizza's good. That's amazing. You, it's politics in Queens. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, for me, like... But outside... Like, for me, yeah. how, like, I knew Ja Rule and them, like, they didn't like us, so I went to their sandwich spot. Like, and I said it, when I did Flex Rhyme, I was like, you can catch me and Hollis at the Hero Shop. So what I did was, I went to their Hero Shop, I went, spent mad money, and I gave the guy a promo picture in Hollis Hero Spot. They put the picture in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yo, we put your picture in there, they want to kill us, man! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the Art of War, I learned that from 50. It's, it's chestnut checkers. You ever read the Art of War? Mm-hmm. You read the Art of War? I read it. What are the five laws? It's, it's um, discipline, what else? Hold on, it's heaven, earth. It's been a while since I read it, but. I think it's heaven, earth, uh, I forgot. It's discipline. 
Well, it just depends on else. which art of war you read. But you know what I versions. always realize? Know who the commander is. That's one of the laws. So when I look at 50, I look at, I, you always know right. who the commander is. That is chapter one. You know who the commander. I know it's discipline, method. I'm, I'm drunk right now, but I know one of them is know who the commander is. Mm. Right. So even when you read the, 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 the moral law, it tells you know who the commander is, bro. Mm. Right. 50's the commander. He's the nigga that made everything happen. Mm. None of these other niggas. Took a shot to that? Yep. Shot to that. Took a shot to that. What time is it? Am I getting on my plane or what? I don't think it's not looking good for you. <laughs> it's not looking for good for you, man. It's not looking good, it's not looking good for you, man. <laughs> Yo, drink champs is for real. I see why niggas be spazzing on this shit, man. No, but all right. So, this is so, crazy. Now let, 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 let me let me ask you, like, um, uh -huh. in all seriousness, because you know what? Um, we got it. Uh, big up to fifty. Big up to definitely. Like, I, 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 um. I'm so proud of the journey that not only 50 take, you know, um, you guys have took and, right. and, and took it together. But as a fan, this is this is not me right. as, asking as Nori or me asking. This is me as a fan. Uh -huh. um, sometimes I listen, you know, my playlist is a G Unit playlist, right. and I listen to all of y'all, right? And I get it. And you heard, you, you said me earlier, uh, it will never happen. But what was essentially the problem? Because from an outsider looking in, that's an insider looking out, right? Mm -hmm. um, Y'all had the top of the world. It was right. on the top of the world. Like, right, right, vitamin right. water deal, the Reebok deal. Y'all, everyone is platinum gold, right, 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 whatever, right. whatever. How the fuck can this happen? Like, No, like, I'm, and I'm going to explain it to you so simple. And okay. so, it's so simple and easy, you know, and mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it so real with you. Mm -hmm. That's like we got the final lap tour coming, 50 so millions of tickets mm -hmm. already. You know, with Busta Rhymes. Yeah, with Busta Rhymes. Shout out to Busta, Busta legendary Busta. spliff, you know. Show. And, um, Shout out to spliff, yeah. It's like sometimes you get confused. Like, but. there's a difference between doing clubs on tour and there's a difference between doing arenas on tour. Mm. Big difference. I do clubs on tour. I'm cool with the money. Mm. You know, that's what God blessed me with and thank God he put me in position to get... More money than I ever did on a block. Hey. Yeah, a shot to that. Yeah. Shot, shot we you ain't got a shot. You got a shot, shot somewhere. Number I'm shot? telling you. Right, I trust shot. Jamie somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. I trust him. Uh, uh. So for me, is uh. it's a point in your career where I realize, like, you know, G units here, Fifty Cent's here, G units here, Eminem's here. Mm -hmm. Junior's here, Dr. Drake's here. Mm. You know, there's a difference between getting a million dollars a show and then getting ten, twenty thousand dollars a show. You know, so when Fifth does these arenas, I realize that you know these people are not really coming to see me. They coming to see Fifty. So like I said, nigga might push you out the way. Fifty, Fifty. You know, paparazzi push you out the way. Fifty. Mm -hmm. I don't get mad because I understand that people are coming to see actual 50, you know, and I'm happy if I can do, go on a club run, shout to Canada and make some good money, you know, I'm good. But there's a difference between Jay-Z mm. and Memphis Bleak. Right. Mm. There's a reality. There's a difference between Diddy, I'm not going to say Biggie because Biggie was up there. Diddy and who are we say? Well, we wouldn't know because Biggie, you know, unfortunately passed. <laughs> You're a funny nigga. Seize. Shout out to Seize. Oh, but... <laughs> French Montana? Yeah, French, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, <laughs> it's a difference. As long as you eat and look at French. I remember French doing cocaine DVDs. Now yeah, he's right, driving. Right, right. He fuck with Diddy. He's driving Bugattis. He's fucking yeah. bitches. You know, Max B. Shout free Max B. I remember being around niggas. Right. So it's like, it's a difference. You know, you might be, you might have an artist, he's doing arenas. I might be doing clubs. Just be happy with what you have. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what kind of life what is about. Mm -hmm. And then you'll never... Take some of that ace yeah, yeah, And don't make anybody any less either. Okay. And you'll never be a hater. you no, never that, be a yeah. hater, yeah. I like, I like, I, heard, I, I seen you say that, uh, I believe it's... There's a difference. You know, some niggas do arenas, some niggas doing clubs, whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Is that a Haitian thing, 
What? It might she be a Haitian how. thing, man. Stop but, making but, but, it racist. Uh, no, but how is it a Haitian thing? No, no, say it. Explain. What you trying to say? Yeah, not haters? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, you can ask me. What? Where did these parents come to the U.S.? My parents, my parents, look, look, my parents came to the U.S. a long time ago, and, like, we, Queens is a melting pot of people. New York is a melting pot of people. Mm -hmm. We grew up around Haitian, Guyanese, all the time. Trini, everything, Italian, Russian, like, Russian. Queens, we grew up in a Filipino. melting, yeah, a melting pot of people. So the thing is, with, with people that come from, like, other islands, they came up rough. Right. Like, Haiti, it's still rough in Haiti. Right. Have you, you, been, have you been back it's to Haiti at any point? I never got to go. No? Never, ever got to go. I tried to, to take him. He didn't want to go. We were supposed to go to... He didn't go neither. He ain't Look, we were supposed to go to Haiti when, when Wyclef got shot. Like, 50 had had it bumped, but why got shot? Yeah. yeah, remember he got shot in the hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In Haiti? Yeah. When he was running for president now. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. it for that time? Oh! Remember he got shot in the hand. Am did I we wrong? Go before, right? Did we go before or after that? No, Clef, we went before that? Clef okay. got shot in the hand. We were supposed to do a show in Haiti, 50, and Clef got shot in the hand. It was some, like, crazy shit going on. I would love to go to Haiti. I would love to go to these places, but you got to understand what... My parents, when I grew up with my parents, you lazy. <laughs> Go to work. Nah, like Haitian, he know how Haitian, Haitian people, people are too. hard working people. It's really like you gotta understand. They hard working people. For island people, look, even with Dominicans, <laughs> Trinis, New York, <laughs> work, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like our parents come from people like immigrants in general, man. Exactly, yeah. immigrants. My they family come to Cuban. this country, Cuban, whatever Cuban, it is. Yeah. You come to this country, they work. Because they happy to be here. They're they like, they, yo, they, whatever little thing they get, yeah. Haitian, bro, let me tell you, my sister kissed the nigga I ain't see her from 10 years later. She ain't get to come outside. Haitian parents different. Wait, say that again? My sister, my sister kissed the nigga back in the days, like, years ago. She never came outside again. Oh, no, they old school, old school. Haitian parents, you don't go outside! <laughs> no, they old school, old school. Yo, I used to get big, yo, hey, being Haitian is different because your parents don't have... Motherfucker. Like, <laughs> my pops used to chase me off the block. Uh, uh, Island parents? Uh, Trinidadian, Jamaican. Uh, you ever go to the Jamaican spot, get Jamaican's food? Food mad good. Hurry the fuck up, motherfucker. <laughs> like, the food good. Like, Island parents, it's just, it was a little different growing you, up, so you, I know what you, you mean. You've been to Little Haiti, right? Of course. My boy Winnick, his grandfather is the one that established Little Haiti. His grandparents, both of them. This is what I'm trying to tell they, you. They're the ones that established Little Haiti. We the, we the first independent country, from what I believe. Uh, absolutely. But, from, yeah. But, like, it's just growing up with Haitian parents is different than growing up with the average parents. It's different. Yeah. Moms cursed me out. Like, it was it was different. Me, he, My pops me was chasing me off the block. Yesterday, and that's exactly what he told me. Everything nah, Haitian parents me, is different. Right now, he's telling me right now. You fucking lazy! Because they coming from somewhere that's really, really, really rough. You know right. what I mean? Mm. Nah, but they good people, man. No, they good Caribbean people. people are good people. Mm. They good people, man, but my, my parents was like, I had two, both my parents was from Haiti, so it was rough growing up. Yo, what about Haiti? Prince? Yeah. 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 We went to Port au Prince, I tried to take Sonny, he didn't want to go. Yeah. I tried to take him, he didn't want to go. My father, before he, before my father passed, he was a wishful master mason. That's like in, one of, In Port au Prince? No, he was just, in general. Oh, in general. My father was a wishful master mason. That shit was no joke. You heard, Nori? Wishful master Mason. Did he have the ring? He had the ring and everything. My grandfather. That's like my brother had, had it. That. I didn't even want to wear it, because I know that's no, nothing. No, when he died, they, a wishful they master changed, Mason. They changed celebrity. the ring. They, they gave it to me. That's like, that's like the entry level it's a to level Illuminati. Masonic. Right? My father was yeah. a Mason. My grandfather was a Mason. Yeah. yeah. Who? My father did. He did all kind of things. But I mean, how deep are you trying yeah. to guess? <laughs> Like, no, my father. Like, <laughs> like, but what did he do for work? You know what's ill about my father? He knew he knew different kind of languages, so he could speak Spanish, Creole, and English. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not you. Nah, it's Haitian not you. parents. You know, camera to do that. Yeah. You know when a, when a street light come on, you inside, shot. inside. Street light come on, you inside. Shout out to the G Unit, our Caribbean and Haitian people. The G Unit, Haiti. Shout out to my nose. Yo, we in Miami. You gotta shout out to those. Mm -hmm.
Absolutely. Yo, I remember, yo, look, I remember the um the year Shug got shot, and I met um out here? the Zopound oh, yeah. niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Man, 300 Haitian flags at the hotel. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Red eyes, all them crazy. Red eyes, shout out red eyes, man. Yeah, big Great people, eyes. great. Yeah. Zopal. Shoot eyes. got popped that year, was in Miami. You keep Shoot throwing that out there. The Zopan. I don't like, know about that part. Man, listen, I never seen that many Haitian flags. 300 Haitian flags to the hotel, man. <laughs> <laughs> but the first, the 50 Cent interview we did was in Little Haiti. This is what I gotta tell you being an artist, listen, <laughs> being a rapper is the hardest job in the world. And not only, listen, from Nori, nigga, from the 80s to the 90s to now. The hardest job in the world, bro. You gotta go to other niggas' markets. Yep. They know you be I came to Miami, it's all pound, it's all pound. 300 Miami niggas, Haitian flags, man. Little Haiti, man. 300, I never, yo, I never seen that much Haitian niggas in my life, bro. <laughs> Shout to Red Eyes, all them niggas, man. Big up Red Eyes. Bro, I forgot what weekend what it was. Shoot got shot that weekend. Memorial. It was, was Chris there. Brown party. No, Kanye West party. It was Kanye West party, Listen, wasn't it? Listen, sure got shot that week. Kanye West party? No. Short club. Yeah, Zopan, I think was, nigga, I seen the Zopan come in. It was 300 of them niggas. Yeah. Nah, Zopan ain't, ain't no joke. Flags, ain't right. no joke. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Right. That's what I'm saying. For artists, man, it's hard. And then it's, it's the politics. Mm-hmm. Niggas take your chain. You got a politic for your chain back. It's like politics. <laughs> you know, I got a... <laughs> I remember when the G and the Spinner where Buck was missing. Buck was in Chicago. Cabrini Greens, all these people could have got killed trying to politic for that change back. Wait, so what did you just say? I'm sorry. Listen, bro. Back in the days, huh. Buck went to Chicago. He huh. didn't get robbed. His man took the G and the Spinner. You know, that was like the mascot. Right. G and the Spinner. G Unit! You hit the spinner. It was the it was the it was the mascot. His man took it out. Man detail, he took it out. He go out to Chicago two minutes late, two minutes later. Take the chain off. <laughs> Yo. Nigga, take the chain. Yo, I know your podcast. Your Look. podcast is Yayo accent. Look. Look, two minutes later. <laughs> Give up the chain. Nigga start having that nigga Michael Jackson nigga pop, 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 shooting at his feet and shit for the G and the spinner. The chain get took and Buck running around. He's trying to get the chain. Buck a real nigga, I ain't gonna front. Everywhere he go, he meet a real nigga. Detroit, nigga, Chicago. I can't take nothing from him. He a real nigga. I fuck with Buck. Mm. Know what I mean? I fuck with game, all of them. Just saying we fucked up the money. Mm. That's all I always tell niggas. Mm. Now, he running around Chicago trying to get the chain back. I'm like, yo, Buck gonna get smoked. He and Cabrini Greens, he gonna get smoked out there, 50. Yeah, he gonna get smoked, man. Nigga running around them projects in Chicago. Niggas don't give a fuck. You got big ass G on the spinner. Dance, motherfucker, give me the chain. Nigga took the chain, detail. Two minutes later, give me the chain. Nigga took the chain. Bop, bop. Yo, you know who got the chain back? Them Al Chapo twin niggas. So, oh, isn't 50 doing no? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Them El Chapo twin niggas. Them Spanish niggas. You know how that shit go. Them niggas was like, yo, we didn't know it was them at the time. We just found out, like, later on. And you know, you know Gabby. Yeah, no. Gabby called. Yo, we need the chain back. Call them Spanish niggas. Nobody gets no work in Chicago. Let but me go it, use the bathroom. But is it Kato? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, yo, Nobody let me use the bathroom. Work. I gotta use the bathroom. Look, I swear to God, this is how real it get with this politics shit. That's real. Nigga said, yo, the G unit spin at 50, I want the chain back. Niggas called Gabby. Gab, yo, niggas want the chain back. I know some niggas. Nobody's getting no work in Chicago, nigga, until the chain come back. It was the Chapo twins. The Them niggas. What's the name? What's the name? The Flores twins. Flores twins. Nobody getting no work. Not Cato. Not Cato. Cato was dead already. Oh, God bless. That's DMX man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless. It was the Flores twins. Yeah. Gabby made the call. Swear to God, that's when I respected Gabby. Yeah. Nobody getting no work till the chain come back. <laughs> That's when I realized. But how did you make it? I mean, you know, Gabby's Spanish, but she, you know, he's Spanish, but you know what I'm saying. Whatever the floor is. Yo, look, 
He yo, almost said, let her mercy. <laughs> yo, look, the chain, look, the, the chain came back. Chain. Well, tried to, Gabby made that call. The Flores twins, them niggas had, come on, them niggas work with El Champo, bro. El Champo. El. Bro, the Flores, you ain't see 50 shit on Apple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, them niggas work with El Chapo. The only reason why they told, because they was going to get whacked. Oof. They was going to get whacked, bro. They ain't fucking with Sinaloa content, all them niggas, man. Sinaloa. They was making money, bro. They, them niggas had so much bread, it was ridiculous, like he, BMF. He's baffled? He's baffled. Go ahead. You know he's baffled. Yeah, he's baffled. Yeah, he's baffled. Yeah, he baffled. I, I feel like I'm a force. Yeah, come back and then go for I love this show. Man. Yeah, go. <laughs> Take your time, take your time, take your time. y'all know, Drink Champs wants to give flowers while people are here to receive them. Giving flowers and celebrating our legends while they can still smell them. We have partnered with What The Flower to create this movement where everyone can give flowers to the legends in their lives. You can now order a custom flower box for the someone you want to show appreciation to by visiting www.wtflower.com and place your orders now. Love your baby right there, man. I appreciate it. You know, this means more than any award that you can get on some real shit because it means that you're appreciated by your peers, you're appreciated by the people that you do it for. And I accept my flowers with love. Yeah. Yeah. We got storms all over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got a hurricane coming. No, but I like it out here, though. You get more for your money, man. You know how expensive New York is, bro. Yes. But, but let me ask it's you. It's expensive. Did, do you ever miss those days of, like, the... Of rhythm? course. Of course I miss yeah. them days. Being in the studio, Dr. Dre, right. Banks, Game in there. Bam, right. that's... Something you know what I mean? Right like, there. being Detroit, Eminem. Of course I miss them days. Uh. But I understand that about this this game, it's a lot of egos, you know uh. what I'm saying? So you got to understand, that's 50 had Chris Lighty, and Game had Jimmy Henchman. Uh. So, you know, it's no disrespect to any of them guys, you know what I'm saying? But I just always looked at, Chris was ahead of the game of what was going on. So if you look at Rock Nation, you look at 300, you look at all these management groups, who was the blueprint? Mm -hmm. Violator. So I'm always gonna shout out Violator, bro. Yeah. Cause you gotta think about it, besides the deal with Eminem, the vitamin water shit and all that shit, Chris Lighty was there for all that shit. Yo, 50, do this, do that, do this, do this, do that, do that. So I'm always going to shout out Chris Lighty. You understand what I'm saying? Because that was the business part. Like, 50 would be like, you know what, Rio? Chris Lighty is grimy sometimes, but he knows what he's doing. <laughs> no, we all grimy. Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot to yeah. the Chris Lighty. Rest in peace. I love that nigga, yeah. bro. For real, bro. Um, he be like, yo, bro, Chris, know the business. So them violated days for me, seeing you come there, Freeway, um, LL, shout to Claudine, Mike Claudine Lighty. Joseph, come on. Claudine, um, Mike Lighty. Mona. Jonathan Lighty. And look, Mona got what? Mona Love of Hip Hop, yeah. Mona Scott. I knew her before this shit. Yeah, she, she Mona Scott, a James Cruz. So let me, so let me, let me, let me. Uh, Even do love, remember do love? Yeah, but let me get heart to heart <laughs> with you for a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris Lighty's death mm -hmm. is labeled a suicide. Right. Is it labeled a suicide? What is it yeah. labeled? Yeah, it, suicide. Yeah. 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 I can't live with that. Thank you, brother. I love this guy, right? Bote a day. That's my guy. Uh, what is it? Bote a day? Bote, bote, bote. Nah, too much drinks. We had too much. We had yeah. like 80 shots over No, 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 no. On a serious note. Serious. Hold on, hold on, guys. On a serious note. Serious note. Chris Lighty's death is ruled a, a suicide. Right. I can't fathom that. No, I can't fathom that because this is the first nigga I seen with the G-Wagon. This is the first nigga I seen get fly. You know what I'm saying? This is the first nigga where we used to come to Violator. That's when it was, <laughs> you know, they had Buster. They had Diddy. They had Foxy. 
I'm coming there, you see Freeway, you see yeah. Nori. This is the first nigga that was somebody. So I could never, 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 ever see Chris doing something to himself. And he's always going to get money because fucking he... Yo, when it comes to that G-Unit brand and that 50 brand, Chris Lighting and Violator play a major part in that. And I think, um... I think 50... Like, what the look, I think... Look, look, I think 50... Um, having Chris Lighty as management was one of the smartest moves in hip hop. Yeah, he knew. I could never see Chris doing something to. How did they meet? That's a good question. I don't even fucking know. I, I, I think. I think. No, no. I think where Chris is is if you 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 lit, he'll, he'll come find you. But well, my point is. Could I tell you about an ill meeting though? But well, let me ask you one question and then you, you, let's go back to the ill meeting. But. Bottom line, do you think Chris Lighty killed himself? No. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's get to yeah. the me. I don't think Chris Lighty... Me neither. Let's get to the me I don't... I never thought... I know him I, as I, being I don't a think super cocky, confident guy. Yes. And I know him being the guy, if he lost it, he'll make it right back. Yep. Yep. It's impossible. He it's knew too noise, many man. niggas that was plugged. Yeah. You know what yeah. you yeah. but, but hey, you want to talk about that meeting? There was a meeting one day... It was at Theo Scott in my office. The lawyer. It was Chris Lighty there. And what's the guy named Todd Moskowitz? That's Todd Moskowitz, my with man. Rick Ross, right? Yeah, uh, right? yeah. And I remember some shit went wrong, bro. <laughs> some shit went left, bro. I, I, you know, some shit went left. And this was when Smurf was there. It was me. It was Smurf. A couple of niggas. And... I don't know. Maybe Todd Mosque, he fuck with Rick Ross and all them niggas, right? That's the nigga. I don't be knowing these industry niggas. I'm like, no, he, he fuck with Ross fucks too. With Rick he fuck Ross. with Rick Ross too. Okay. Todd Mosque, I don't know what happened. Chris Lighty's dead. And all I heard was, get him! You know what I'm saying? And Todd Mosque was just running down steps. Niggas was chasing that nigga. <laughs> she was crazy. Fifth was like, get the guy! <laughs> and like, Smurf, everybody, me. Allegedly. Like, Allegedly. Yes. Was running down. This shit, come on, man. Everybody know. I don't be knowing these industry niggas. I just be knowing that's the nigga. You know what I mean? Because even when you, look. Look, this is what I'm saying. I know how the game go. But for me, it's not all about money. It's about who the real is. Right. It ain't never about money for me in this rap shit, bro. Because right. we don't never get trophies. g and never going to get trophies. Well, you got a trophy you, today. Yeah, I got, this is what count. This is this is what count right here. This is the number one show to be on, bro. But moving forward, I'm gonna just be honest with mm -hmm. you because um, I feel like I feel like um, Fifty had to be defensive because he had to be defensive because he had to be like, you know, fuck. I mean, I just feel like New York has always been an aggressive place, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Aggressive places. Aggressive, that? like KRS One. Yeah. Man, hey, keep on, Queens, keep on faking it. We came up on like. He went too like, far. He went too far. Yeah, he went too far. But we yeah. came up on battles. We came up on, um, fucking Nas, Jay Z. We came up on Biggie and and Tupac. We came up on KRS versus MC Shan. The list goes on and on, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, back days we had, you know, a little positive records like Self Destruction. I don't Self Destruct. Think... We'll oh, never have another one again. Self Destruct. Shout to Queen Latifah, KRS, Will. You think we could ever do that again? No, no. It should be done again. Yeah. It I should be done it. again. I said it. Who I said it to? We talked about it with Ice T. Yeah, it should I be said, done again. Impossible. I said future should. should it it do was it. done again, but it never had the same impact. What? No, there was no no Self Destruction number two. No, there was like three and four, five yeah, and six. Yeah, um, um, no. yeah I, I, I just remember that. All the same game. No, I'm just. I remember all, one. All in the I didn't same think game. so either, and I Googled it, and there was like 10 more after that. No, but I just all in the same game, the West Coast version is number two. No, 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 I'm talking about literally self-destruction. All in the same game is its own thing, all in the same game. But isn't that like... It is, it is in that sense, but I'm saying uh, literally self-destruction, there was other versions of but it. But effing, do we like beef, do we like beef and rap? You know you love it. Nah, I don't. You love it. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me. I like it as skill. So you don't like the Biggie Tupac beat? No. Like when niggas try to tell me who shot you wasn't a beat. When that shit came on, nah. When they when they end up dying, I don't like none of that shit. 
Who shot y'all? Yeah. It was dope until they died. Nigga, when that came on. It was on dope the, until they died. Nigga, I don't give a fuck with anybody. When that came on the radio, boom, boom. Who produced that? Boom, boom. Not seeing my Rick. Who shot y'all? Well, it's just a beat from the. Oh, he, he going also, on that too. He also produced T.O.N.Y. Of course. He also produced T.O.N.Y. This is what I'm trying guys, to tell you. But guys, we liked it till they died. That's what I'm I saying. We liked it till they died. We die. understand yeah. they died, but it's classic hip hop, nigga. When that yeah, shit came out, I'll trade the classic nigga, back for their life. Nigga, I could tell you where I was at when that came on the radio. That's a great story, Come but I'll trade it back, back for their it. life. Boom, 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 boom. I guess a fuck about the music nigga, being classic. Cl no, you gotta give it up. Take that's one of the most classic beats of hip hop. It is. It is. Hit 'em up is one of the best this record's ever. Yeah, but when Biggie came with. <laughs> Who shot you? <laughs> nigga, you crazy, nigga. He hit him up, was out. Who shot you came after? After. Nigga yeah. tried to say that yeah. wasn't a diss record. Because they said that he no, recorded no, no, it before that. Come on. Take, take the shot. Pass while sweet. Nigga, Come when on, he, nigga, take watch the shot. You. Take the shot. Mm. Nigga, when that came on, and that's when records was exclusives, nigga. Yep. That beat was the hardest beat in the world. Yeah, it was. It was. Podcast hit him up and all that, but when that, who shot you? We came? loved it. Not till they, and niggas when they die, we don't love it no more. And look, bro. look, but y'all still trying to say that wasn't a diss record when it was, nigga. I think when he put it out, it was a diss record, who but shot I, think, you? I think he recorded it. It wasn't a diss record when he recorded it. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck are niggas saying, bro? <laughs> so you're saying that wasn't a part guy shot? It was a right? diss record, but it Pot. wasn't the diss that we thought it was because it was recorded before. Let's keep it real. We love beef and hip hop. We love it let's, until let's they stop, die. Let's stop cutting the slack, bro. We love beef and hip hop. Nah. Niggas love, love that Dirk and NBA young yeah. boy shit. Fuck everybody niggas that loves love it. I don't love it. 50. Nah, we don't love it. Niggas love Nas and Ether, nigga. We love that. Niggas they didn't die. Love when Jay Z shitted on P, nigga. We love it until they die. We don't like it when they die, do we? Brother, niggas love hip hop beef. It's embellished from the top of the time. We can. We like it. skills in hip hop. We like battles in hip hop. We don't like Just motherfuckers. Like you was loving the lock shit. The what? The locks versus Dipset. Yeah. When Jada said, "Well, I'm raisins, I'm raisins, I don't play us." <laughs> Because it was never about jury and all. It was about just coming there with the bars. Right? Exactly. They put a chain on Jim Neck. Ex put the chain you on Jim Neck. You making my point. Right? Jada came out. Man, raises, bad baby, down baby. Like, let's keep it real. The thing about shit <laughs> yo, 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 is yeah. everybody want to be politically correct. No, we're not being politically correct. Let's just keep it real. We're not being politically Me, correct. Me, I'm the wrong guy. I don't care about <laughs> Niggas was never my friends. Because I got verses from Boosie and Waka and Yo Gotti quicker than I ever got from a New York nigga. Mm. Boosie, record done. Yo Gotti, record done. We kind of shitted on a lot of niggas in the South. And them niggas, when they got on, fuck niggas, man. I tell them that all the time. All locked, man. I was in that era. <laughs> I tell them I that all the time. That era. Don't play that New York shit, man. DJs, look. <laughs> Go to land. No more than Everybody's York, from like. Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> play Thugger, man. Play Gunner. Play Future. You ain't hearing nobody. I've been to Atlanta clubs. You ain't hearing nothing. But I'm going to give you an example of some of <laughs> why. You talking about this era. Let me just tell you something. And niggas knew, though, and look, and look, this is the shit. Niggas, future them niggas, they come to New York. Niggas, we bop into their shit. You go out there, no, oh, fuck them New York niggas. It's just the truth. I'm I'm not with the politics. But hold on, let me let me, let me tell you something. It wasn't always like that, though, just FYI. Hold on, let me just tell you something. And, 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 I was and for change. 99, 90, 98, 99, 2000, I used to come to Miami. And I yeah, I remember. Like, is Brooklyn in the house, and the house will go. That's why I told you that was a problem. That was a problem. And none of these motherfuckers was from Brooklyn. That was the problem. <laughs> that was the problem. We had, New York had a so gotta, lot. You gotta remember, New York had a, a golden era. Remember when Diddy had, I wish I never met her. <laughs> When all that R&B shit was going on and all that, that was the golden era. Bitches like, we coming to New York. Yo, the golden era, he bring it up is wild. We know the golden, 
All that shit, P. Diddy, Big E, New York had a golden era. So why, this is where it started. Uh, my golden era was a little different. No, but New York. you know, yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. like, even in the 90s with Bad Boy. No, absolutely not. Bad Boy had definitely had his era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to shout out Bad Boy. For sure. Of course. Craig Mack and him. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a part the of the golden era. Yeah. Why do you like you drink more shots than me? Look, I don't, I don't I like you. I drink way this. more shots than you, bro. No, no, this look, is, look, look, look. look at this camera. Look, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Niggas ain't even tell me my flight got delayed. You know, rainstorm. You don't even know your flight got delayed. <laughs> I ain't even know my you flight. You got that last shot. Hey, hey, we done had Branson. Look, look, look at we that. We had Branson. Look at that last shot. No, that way. That way. That way. That we got Ace. Ace. That way. Over there. Right there. The last shot right there. Boom. Come on. What's, let's, what's let's we, all right, what are we talking about now? What are we talking about now? We, we talking about my guy Big Bomb. Tony fucking Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. You got to so, take it, though. You got to so take it, So what you want? Dre, Dre, Eminem, what stories you want here? Eminem. Eminem. Now, we talked about... We, oh, God. Uh, if you got M another one. Eminem, the wildest shit I heard from Eminem is the many men... He knew the footsteps and many men came from Poltergeist. Eminem's Excuse the type me? of nigga like... Excuse me. He'll stay in the studio. All right. Eminem's the type of nigga have a diss record against you. You won't even know it. Like, he just got shit. <laughs> well, he's a battle rapper. In the boat. Like a real battle. Yeah. And he's a humble guy. Like I said, like, he's just one of them niggas that really care about the music and the crap. Like a Swiss or Pharrell. You but, know how but let me ask is, you, man. One, one thing that's admirable, right, mm -hmm. is that if anybody says anything wrong about him, 50 always steps up. Of course. that's. The but a lot of people accredit that to it being like a black and white thing as opposed to a, a person that... Two men that work yeah, together. Yeah, just two men that work together. I mean, that that all came from, like, you remember we came in the game with beef. We came in beefing with the Source magazine. Woo! Benzino. Yeah. Oh, shit. Fuck Eminem! <laughs> we came in with mad beef. It was always drama. And look, no shout to Benzino and Dave Mays. The Source magazine is a legendary... This, it was a hip-hop Bible. But we came into the in the game with beef with that. So niggas will say, yo, this about Eminem, that about Eminem, this motherfucker, white boy, culture vulture, this, that. But he's the niggas that put niggas on. You never forget the nigga that turned the lights on, bro. That's fire. At the end of the day. No, I'm just keeping it real. No matter what color, what race he is. Right. So people will be like, We love Eminem over here. Yeah, yo, I love Eminem too. Nah, nah. We love Eminem. And niggas will be like, man. Yo, but we don't listen to Eminem in the strip club. Yo, we don't listen to Eminem in the car. But you go to Spotify, he'll still be the number one nigga 20 years yeah, later. Yeah, whatever, great story. He's still yeah. doing Diamond. Or like a buster. <laughs> yo, we don't listen to this nigga. Yo, he's still one of the best performers ever. Ever in time, him and Spit Star. Music, period. You're going on tour with them. Yo, I'm. I'm I'm ready to kill Split Star. I'm ready to go. Like, nigga, we gonna go at it. Like, oh, damn. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, damn. Oh, hey, hey, look, Split Star, Split Star is one of the hype men that I look up to. Yeah, he's one of the yeah, best yeah, to do it. Yeah, you a hype man. Nigga, I'm making a hundred million dollars, bro. Why do I care what you say? <laughs> right, I will hype my But million. Split Star is one of the number one Hype man's that I look up to, and, and, and he's, he's more than an artist. You and of Flav 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 Flav. Flav. Come on, he's a super Flav Flav I look at this shit different, bro. This is like, we started off with hip hop, bro. Mm. We used to sell drugs on crates and dumb shit, bro. We used to be on a block, bro. Hip hop. I remember niggas hustling the Nas, CNN War Report. We on the block, listening. Goddamn. Nori shit. Goddamn. It's a body in the trunk, dog. What's it gonna be? Nigga was the first nigga kind of think about it with the ad libs. Mm. What, 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 what? Slum. Yeah. yeah. yeah tell them. Dog and them niggas saying slum 20 years yeah, later. And them niggas ain't give me your respect yet. But it's slum. Okay. Them niggas had their own okay. language. That's love. Niggas in the bodega. Skits. Remember when skits was the shit? Yeah. Oh, shit. Animal thug. Yeah. Animal dog. Yeah. It's a body in the trunk, nigga. It's a real person. School. He don't pluck you. Right. This is what I'm saying, bro. It's a real part. Damn. Slime. Nigga was saying slime. What? Shit. What year was that? I don't even know. 97. 96. Nah. No? 97? Free, free, free Thugger. Yeah. Free Thugger. Yeah. Free Thugger. But slime was... It's the slime bitch. It's the yeah. slime It's so crazy. Whatever it should be, it should be in the next of every. 
So for me to even be in the rooms, like I told you, my most exciting tour, my best tour ever, yeah, was yeah. I would say anger, anger management and being on the Nostradamus tour with Nas. Because mm -hmm. Nas was a different nigga. That's after he was wearing um, Jones. I'm thinking like an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers. Ran like the cheetah with thoughts of an assassin. Pick the cracks up, throw the nigga back up, match Stop bit. Up. You know what I mean? We going off that. You know what I mean? Mm. Then I go on the bus and, and Nas is reading books and all that. Jungle on them niggas' horse and That's whack. why Nas is where he's at right yeah, now. He was reading books and all that. I was like, damn, this nigga reading books and shit? Mm. Jungle was not reading books. Nah, Jungle was not reading books. Yeah, he was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 jungle horse. Shout out to Jungle, man. Smoking bud. Nah, nah. Yeah. And them niggas was probably like, who the fuck is 50 man? I, yeah. I was a nobody. I was a nobody. They didn't know who I was. Right. But I'm like, damn, this is Nas, bro. Nigga reading jungle books and all that. Jungle was smoking weed and rolling yeah. dice. Yeah, jungle. jungle was was smoking weed and all that. Mm. But I thought Nas would be... You know, he was going through a phase at that time. Yeah, Niles was on some. Yeah. He was like the nigga in Belly. Yeah, this is at the Belly. This is, I, yeah, mean, I, mean, like, I mean, I, I like feel like he, he still reads books. Character. He almost nah, became but his character. bars was ill. You yeah. think of, think about reading books, probably though. Yeah, that's Niles how you get those bars. He got, he got to get them words. Yeah, the vocabulary. You, Nora, you had you y'all. What your, your your shit was? You had bars and you had your own ad libs. That's right. And you had your own language. And he flipped the Spanish Slum, too. I was 5%. 5% Spanish? No. I was 5%. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What Sp no, Spanish? No, but, but you gotta understand, when you came with what, 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 with Pharrell and them, superstar, yeah. that shit was a big, big, big... I was that had to be a big record. <laughs> what that went, 2 and million? It, and it resonated down You south. sold some records with that. Oh, uh, no. I, I ain't what, gonna lie. What, what? I remember when that you know, came it was, out. It was, crazy. it was like... Down south, we you, would love it. something that different. You would think that's my biggest record, then you would think Grimy was my biggest record. That's Homeboy? And then, then reggaeton, is that but then it? Homeboy. Which is the biggest? I think Homeboy is the biggest. So what, what, what did... Nah, Oyo I think Super might be star. bigger, bro. I think what? No, what? all right, but see, you see, Oyo Mikan, you're, you're correct, but what, you, what you're saying is market rise. Uh, sale wise, no? I don't think stream -wise, sale wise, no? No, no, no. Well, well I can't tell stream wise you now. You can't gauge it. They don't want me, they don't want to cut me But you know what? I'm always going to look at you as what, yeah. what, what in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. Because you introduced Pharrell. Yeah, because niggas ain't fronting on They Pharrell front on. is like. Come on, bro. You was the that first, was like... outside. I didn't know... Nah, you know what I think? I think what people underestimate about that record is it brought New York artists to a different cadence as well. I told you, my man. My man used to... That was the number one record in the club. That cadence? The okay. tempo was fast. The, the way the that record what? was structured, it resonated down south. Yeah, but I'm a DJ right. down south. It was a worldwide no. record. That's why I asked you what you sold on that record. So th this is to me, why. that was your biggest, one of your biggest No, that, that's my biggest solo. breakout record. Did you have a helicopter in the video? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like maybe no, Cadence no, is not the right no. word for you it. You had a budget. It wasn't a helicopter in the video, but I had a good budget. But what you said? No, Cadence might not be, but just the bounce. Nigga came out of helicopter. No, 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 no. This is what happened. Nigga Pharrell's was, I remember when that came. He had body in the trunk and all that, but this was a whole thing. No, no, the body in the trunk didn't come out yet. No. But, but um, it's on album? that same album. And it's that Neptunes. We can't so, forget Neptunes. Chad. We can't forget Chad, no, a part no, of it. No, no, Neptunes. Neptunes okay. is this. Definitely. Uh, it's before Pharrell went. But by the way, they, like worked, they worked with, like. Well, never on his own. They but. worked with, like, Total. I mean, I think they Teddy Riley, with, obviously. Teddy before Riley, that, obviously, yeah. but they worked with Mace before. No, no, this is their first big record. But the, but I, I remember when hands down I met them. It was Chad and Pharrell. Right. And Chad's um, Pharrell said to me, "Is it Chaz or Chad? What am, am I?" Chad, 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 right. Chad Hugo, okay. Chad Hugo. Okay. But I, um, Pharrell looked at me and said, "Nobody listens to me." <laughs> the first person that listened to me is going to go number one. He's telling you to your face? <laughs> yeah, and by the way, he has on a tight, a extra small shirt. With a choker. Right, right, with right. A choker. This is the time where... You said he had a choker I'm, on. I'm wearing a 5X. Yeah, you left rack, left rack. No, no, no. That's no, hip-hop oh, at the time. That's yeah, hip-hop yeah, at yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, 5X. We're wearing yeah. a 5X. Yeah. Even though you wear... He wearing Even a minus 1X. Even you wear a large, you're wearing a 5X. That shit crazy. So I'm here with, with my, my, my Timberlands. He's is, minus X. My Timberlands is not even in the room. <laughs> That's how big my Timberlands are. Right. <laughs> Over here, like I'm wearing them, but it's like my shirt is like this, and he's he's so tight. He's like that. 
<laughs> I can't breathe. No, I know he couldn't breathe. Them, them <laughs> shits that he had on. My but for some reason, I believed him. That shit was crazy because we'd go to Europe and niggas was doing that shit. So we had the baggy shit on in Europe and you They're see niggas. Tight. Yeah, nigga, Why yeah, the niggas shit so fuck. tight? They've been doing yeah. that shit. Yeah, they yeah. So Europe was kind of yeah, like uh, ahead of the ahead game. Ahead of us in that. That's why we taking Pharrell. Europe fast. That's why Pharrell. Pharrell just, and all them niggas now. Virgil I mean, and them niggas. I don't Pharrell think we should like that. Deserves Pharrell. to be the fucking yeah. director, designer, Vuitton, yeah. head of Louis fucking oh, Vuitton. Yeah. He the fucking deserves it. All right. Bring back the baggy shit. Yo, let been, me tell you. Yeah. The first nigga I seen with the man purse shit was uh. ASAP Rocky. Oh, yeah. Uh. And I swear to God, that nigga, me, it's me, 50, Snoop, we at a vent. ASAP Rocky there, he got the man purse. And he like, yo, yeah, yo, niggas don't know. I'm telling you, I'm ahead of my time. And I'm like, damn, what you mean? You ain't never seen that shit. Nah, he he, he had the wait, shit. Was it the strap? It was the strap. Yeah. It was the and man. Nah, and, purse. and he and he, he, he confident like, with yeah, that. Yo, trust me, I know. And I'm like, damn, this nigga ASAP Rocky ill. Like, nah, he ill. Like niggas that. wearing the, the Louis Vuitton satchels, all that shit. All that shit kind of really came from Europe, cause Europe. Yeah, yeah. We go to Europe. We still yeah. had the baggy five X, three X, yeah, yeah, two X. We, we, we were out of line. We and we like, yo, it's jeans tight. We are shot. I mean, we didn't have to go extra small though. Keep it going. Keep going. Keep, 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 keep telling your story, guys. Keep going. Y'all, y'all done took it too far. Mm. Mm. No, nah, but when you go to Europe, the clothes was a little slimmer. Get my shot, shit. Look, just yeah, no. I don't even. I'm gonna I think start. You guys don't use the same cup. <laughs> my flight is delayed. Man, you don't even know if your flight's delayed. They just told me. Flight delayed. <laughs> Guess what? No, we came here. They, we had your the... love <laughs> and drink champs is not delayed. No. Hey! Nah, we, we've been wanting to have you back on. But, nah. Well, not back on. Well, yeah. Yo, listen. Nah, we wanted to have you this on. This is the official first time that you're really on by yourself. Last time I came here, me and Daz, we had a little shout to Daz. Y'all didn't have nothing, man. No, nah, he said New York beef wasn't real. No, you said corrupt last time. No, that was corrupt. No, it was corrupt. corrupt. It was yeah. Daz, it was corrupt. He said New York beef wasn't real. New York beef is always real. And they got realer. Always. They got realer. From the beginning of the time. Beef is real wherever it's at. Exactly. Well, we, we love Daz. Oh, no, we love Daz. Daz. Nah, they legends, man. Super legends. Yeah. And we had Drew Hill. Cisco was there. Drew Hill, Drew Hill Cisco. How crazy is that? That was a weird-ass episode, if you Ooh, think about yeah. it. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Tony Yayo. Uh, Dog Pound. Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Capone. Look, hold on. And Jack Thriller. But what Drew Hill sold back in the days with the um. They went man, crazy. With the pants on my and the But you know what Drew? Do you, have you ever been? Diamond, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have you ever been to Drew Hill Park? And then Cisco in Baltimore? with the thong song. No, no, no. Have you ever been to Drew Hill Park in Baltimore? No. What they have a Drew Hill Park? That yeah. Drew Hill. That's is where they actual, from Baltimore. That's where they. Fought. Oh, that's where they oh, got shit. the name from. Oh. Uh -huh. I didn't know this. Uh huh. That's the wire. A word? That's the wire. That's the wire. Drew Hill Park is the wire. They've been telling Yo. us that he wasn't just about a thong for a long time. Because you got to think. Think about back then. Back in the days, videos was exclusive. Records was exclusive. Yep. Yeah. Head of the beat, that low car. He had the bitches on the beat. Uh, <laughs> uh, Remember? Uh, uh, you had Melissa uh, Ford. Uh, Who else? Yeah. Let's uh, name some of the legendary uh, models. Was it Gloria Valdez? Oh, yeah. Valdez, Valdez. Go Gloria Valdez. Mm -hmm. Buffy, <laughs> look, Buffy the Body, seductive. That was the first fatty right. in history. Who? Buffy the Body. Oh, Nigga, that's, seductive. That's the next level. Surgery. Remember Outcast? What are we clapping for? Katoy. So this is what I liked about hip-hop. Back then, before the internet. Let's go before the internet. It was exclusive. Rest in peace, K. Slay. I always give Rest it. in peace to K. Slay, man. You know, Legend. K. Slay was one of the niggas that first niggas on Pop Smoke. First niggas, if you look at Pop Smoke, Pop Smoke ain't had no jury on K. Slay shit. 50, first niggas on 50. First lot of niggas, to break a lot of K. niggas. Slay, nah, K. Slay, yeah, K. Slay, was, K. Slay. Let's take a shot for K. Slay. Yeah, take a shot. And, he, and he's such an OG, wild style yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. K. Slay. Wild style and everything. Let's Yo, not K. forget. K. Slay, rest in peace, man. K. Slay, K. Slay OG. K. Slay. Real pioneer. Where's Amy? Jamie. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> Jamie, I'm sorry, Jamie. I got one more shot left. It's already poured. I'm, it's right there. It's poured. It's right there. It's oh, that's what he's saying. He said I, I need more. I'm going to stack oh, up my shot. Besides that one? Me and Nori going. I think yeah, you're going yeah, yo. I think this is it, man. Look, you I might go up. to the hospital after this, bro. This nah, is nah. crazy. Look at this. That's, it's, Hold on. I'm going to stack up the shot. You're going to the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. It's Hip Hop. Hey, it's would you like a monster rehab <laughs> in case you need it? Oh, my God. What the monster rehab? I'm going to need that. 
This is cool. I ain't gonna lie. You, you look, and I down my own Juana dead. That's the key to your show. You get everybody fucked up on your show. It's That's it. not no. the key, man. Oh, no, <laughs> the everybody. key is love. What is it? Look how many shots. The I key is that you key. having fun. That's the, the key. key. Are you having love. fun? No one got me fucked up, man. Love. <laughs> if you leave and say, yo, oh. I'm not happy, guys. You see your shots? Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Oh, my God, bro. And I got, I, I got a couple more over here, too. And I know Stacy is like... Stacy. I keep saying... <laughs> <laughs> saying Stacy, Jamie, Amy. <laughs> Stacy, Jamie, Amy. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on, man. I got this nigga that's going to show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Oh, look, my look, God. Yeah. I still ain't there, yeah, bro. I still ain't there, so. Nori, you ain't and no. And I still got more. You just came back from Italy. You good, Yeah, I just came back from Italy. How was but that? You know How was the waters in the yacht? Nah, but you know what? You know, you know, let me tell you something. I'm being honest with you. Mm -hmm. I promise you I'm not lying. I woke up this morning uh -huh. at 441. Jeez. You be working. You be jogging and all that other shit. You change. No, 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 no. But hold on, hold on. Let me just say. Maybe you a nigga on I the road eating. I woke up at 441, man. and you know what I said? Mm -hmm. I watched every Tony Yayo interview. Mm -hmm. I listened to every fucking Tony Yayo song. It's mm -hmm. because I really, truly wanted to give you your flowers. No, I appreciate it. As a real man. No, and I... Because I, you deserve this shit. No, and I now, appreciate hold on, it. Hold on, let me, let me, let me... Because you deserve it. Because I don't want... Anybody that ever think that loyalty is overlooked. No, definitely. And a lot of people do overlook loyalty. They say, well, you know what? You're supposed to be here because you're supposed to be here. Right. That's not the truth. When you're here, right. earn your right. Fight right. for your right. right. Make sure that you you there. Make right. sure that this is happening. Right. And this is something that I wanted to do for you and to your face. Right. Because I say it about you when you're not here. Right. But it's nothing better for me to say it to your face. No, nah, and, and you know what it is? Face the, oh, mm -hmm. take your flowers. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead, no, go ahead. Let me give you your flowers, bro. Right. Face to face, man to man, I know how hard it is to be a famous person's friend. Right. Sometimes I hang out with my people. Right. And they phone just ring, and they phone ring about me. Definitely. And I look at them, and I'm like, fuck. That's kind of like crazy a little bit. But you know how you know how hard it is for you? I know your phone ring. Everybody's like, do you think oh, I'll get oh, 50 nigga, to come to my, my, my baby's Christian? Nigga, I'm used to it. In? Nigga, I have a show. <laughs> niggas won't come out to my shit. Yo, 50 show. Niggas will call my phone. Yo, 50, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, and look, it's all good because you realize, you know, it's just a part of the game. Everybody want to have fun. Everybody want to be lit. You know, 50 shit going to be a little litter than my shit. Mm. I might have you in, you know, the Ramata or something. Right. 50 might have you in the Four Seasons on Monday. It's cool. Right. Right. It's all a vibe. So I just learned to be humble and look, look, life is short, bro. Just live life. We got a lot of niggas you seen going on yeah. some street shit, some hood shit, even the opportunity for your niggas to be here with you, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like better than anything, bro. You got all kind of artists. I seen you with Dave Chappelle, man. Yeah, we got him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Kevin that's Hart. big. Kevin Hart, like, some of the biggest interviews. I'm like, yo, shit, man, this is big, bro. Yeah. Like, when you see guys like you, Joe Buttons, Gilly, Wallow, you're like, damn, these niggas control the Big up Joe Button, Gilly, and Wallow. Yeah. But guess what? And I fuck with Vlad, too. Vlad, too, like, yeah, cause, I learned cause a lot Vlad of juice from you. Vlad, let's, let's too, too. Let's, let's do good. He, yeah, he paid good, he paid, and, he, you know, <laughs> but my whole thing is I learned the game. And the, No, I look up to all you that's guys. That's my man, though. That's my no, man. but that's my man. But I look up to all you guys because I'm like, yo, bro, instead of a nigga being on the block doing some negative shit, you can learn to get money on YouTube, Twitch, even academics. When you look at these guys, niggas on Twitch talking shit, man, right. like that. Niggas on Twitch, YouTube, you got all these ways to get money. Y'all got sponsors, we got Monster, we got yeah, fucking Branson, we got Deleon, Ace. Ciroc. Like, we got Ciroc. Like, it's like y'all teaching these people the ways to get money and do the right thing and it's to get, and drink champs. And be yourself. And be yourself, of course. That's, that's the most important yourself. part. I can't, I can't. You've I can't, always been real. I can't, I, I, I just gotta be who I am. Yeah. I just gotta be how I am. Then when I see you in Italy and shit like that, yeah, with I keep white going. Feet, I keep going. Like yeah. that's 
motivation because a lot of niggas be like, you know, these young boys be like, y'all want to go to the trenches? <laughs> My man, his son, he got a condo out here. I'm like, your wife, his sons, want to go to the hood. Why you want to go back to the hood? Your dad got a condo. We in the water and shit like that. We chilling. Yeah. Fuck, this nigga was just in Italy on a yacht. Ah, yes, I was. Yes, I was. <laughs> like, yes, I so was. when I went to these different places, I realized that's what life was about. Right. Fuck money, fuck bitches, fuck cars. That shit, come and go. Right. Fuck fake friends. You in Dubai, you in Paris, you in Italy. Niggas in Italy, yacht, water, shit. You like, damn, I never thought I'd be here. Canary Islands, Black Sand. That's right. You ever seen Black Sand? Nelson Mandela cell, Dubai fucking with cheetahs. Niggas got lions in their backyard. Morocco, Angola, you know. I'm in Morocco. I'm like, everybody look like French Montana, man. <laughs> <laughs> with a Memphis accent. <laughs> I'm like, this shit is different, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm going to all these places. I done been everywhere in the world. You name it in the world. Oh, that's dope, man. And to me, those opportunities, our parents, People in our hood, they, they never fixed. got a chance to see right. this stuff. We the blessed ones, thank God. We the blessed ones. Yeah. We get to see this. That's real shit. Spend money, you know? That's and real. you got to think, with, with every artist or niggas like Nori or or 50 or Jay-Z or Diddy or Take whoever it may be. Just keep talking. Yeah. Whoever it may be. Think about how many families we feed. Mm. Mm. Think about how many families getting fed from the security to production to assistance. Uh. To the niggas that's just around, drivers, think about how many families getting fed. Yeah. I remember shout to Bruce the driver. That nigga went from 50 Cent to driving Mayweather. Other niggas, my man Free, niggas drive Madonna, all kinds of people. So niggas move on and they do other things too, yeah. but you, you know, you never forget who turned on the lights because it's just the experience. If you should be going tomorrow, I could say, yo, bro, I met Jim Carrey, I met Madonna, I met. And you gotta take that shot. Yeah. Look at look how much shots I'm take took. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm with you though. You got more cut though. Yeah. Cause you gotta understand, a wise man once told me, any day above ground is a good day, brother. That's real talk. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Nori? That uh, day wise. <laughs> So right. let, let, let's talk about this, this song, Toy Soldier. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite songs. Right. How did this song, where did y'all record that at? How did this have been put together? Um, That might have happened in Battery Park, because I had, like, 50, when I first came home out of jail, instead Battery of, like... Battery Park, you talking yeah. about 25th Street? Yeah, you know, Battery Park by Statue of Liberty. Okay, you know? okay, yeah. See, this is what I always tell you. When you look at niggas like Stack Bundles, right? Mm. Stack okay. Bundles had a porch, but he still died in the projects. When I came out of jail, I was in Battery Park. Because mm. I was fucking with a nigga that could afford to spend that kind of money to have a nigga. I ain't even dropped no album. I didn't prove nothing to you. Like, rest 50. in peace. Yeah. Like, rest in peace, my nigga Hervain. I remember being at, um, what was that MTV? What they had? TRL? What was TRL. That? Yeah, TRL. Some shit in the city. Yeah, well, TRL. MTV. <laughs> we there, and I remember Young Guns was there, and Hervain was like, you have 50. These guys got Jay-Z. Jay-Z's not going to do nothing for these guys. He was like, 50's going to at least come to your video set. He's going to help you with this. He's going to do that. And it was like, yo, we had the help there. It was just shit that I seen. And it was the young guns. Jay-Z ain't going to come. Give him the cosign. 50 mm -hmm. going to come, give you the cosign. Do all this and do that. Mm. Look, even Murder. You see, Murder, Murder been everywhere in the world fucking with 50. No. Murder been signed to Jay. He been signed to this nigga. But he I ain't never that. been to Italy, Rome, Dubai until he started fucking with 50. Hey, kid. It's a number of artists. It's a number of artists. And I don't mean to toot a nigga on, but I'm just saying it's like nah, fuck lawyer, that. money. Who niggas, if you ain't going... Big up DJ Who Kid, even when you see Who Kid, his success. Yeah, no. Nah. Who Kid is worldwide. 100%, yeah. But he had, let's be honest, he had Shade 4 5, he had Eminem. Yeah. So he's going, he's getting Martha Stewart interviews. Yes. He's getting yeah. Donald Trump. When I came out of jail, we had Donald Trump was the interview. Right. <laughs> One of my first interviews, you know what I'm saying? Donald Trump. I'm chilling with Who Kid, he had Donald Trump come in. 
How big was the who? We had kid? LeBron James on mixtapes when I came home. I'm saying, but how Mike big was, was those mixtapes of who kid? When them tapes did? was them tapes was the biggest because, like I said, he had Shade Four Five. So but even had, before that, he was doing the mixtapes. Before that, but when Shade Four Five came, like one of my first mixtapes home was Mike Epps hosting it. Yeah. Oh. G Unit mixtape. We had LeBron James like when he was early. Martha Stewart, we have Jim Carrey hey, on the tape. Martha Stewart hosted you know, a mixtape? Yeah, Martha Stewart, you have all kind of drops from everybody. It's Eminem, it's Shade 4 5. That's true. Guys like Paul Rosenberg and guys like that are very smart, bro. It's a lot of people. So they were very hands on. Paul was very hands on. Of this course. They wasn't scared about being involved in, in maybe because of all the all the controversy with Jaden. Thank you, man. You the man, bro. It's a roll up king over. That's there. Boris. Beats in the hood. Snoop Dogg is gonna hire this he's guy. A man. He's this a guy. producer too, by this the way. This guy is the man right here. Eminem didn't care, bro. No, no, uh, not M. Paul. Paul Rosenberg. Was Paul ever well, scared when, well, when about the at, controversy with G? When you look, when you look at Eminem and you look at Paul Rosenberg, same person. It's the same person. It's the same thing. They didn't care. I told you when Suge pulled up, Eminem came outside. The white boy scared, man. I, was, I looked at him, nah, that nigga ain't scared, bro. Eminem was not scared of Suge Knight. I told you, these guys was... You got to think, Detroit is the hood, my nigga. Nah, Detroit is different. That it's shit different. get hoodie. Nah, Detroit's different. You go white, go to them places, them white boys be hoodie over there, bro. Seven mile, eight mile. Them niggas going through the same shit we going through. The struggle. Detroit, different. Facts. Thank so, you. think about it. If Eminem was really scared, why would he take the risk? Well, no, I'm thinking Paul Rosenberg because he's a lawyer. Paul Rosenberg, too. Remember, he different. was going through his shit with Benzino and the source? Yep, he was. Him, too. That guy right there? Yeah. He was going through, too. That's his drink With champions. the source. That's what I'm trying to tell you. With the source, too. Because you got to remember, we had beef with Source Magazine, all kind of rappers. And what's crazy, it seems like everybody that's involved in Because remember, Double XL came. Listen, listen, yeah, yo. Everybody that's involved in all these beefs, at some level, they all real beef. When you think about G-Unit, it's just always beef. Why? Wow. Either one industry. Because <laughs> when you're on top, you got beef, bro. That's true. But right? you didn't, he wasn't on top with beef. He was coming up with beef. As well. But you know how the game was. Niggas want to extort you. Niggas want to rob you. You got 50. You like, fuck it. He had beef with Ja Rule already. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot to deal with. It was beef all over. Uh, got the OG niggas. Give me money. I don't know that accent right now. <laughs> give me the I money. Every accent. Tony Yeo accent. He's like, accent. give me the money. The podcast, you know what it Tony is? Yeo accent. One thing about me... Yuck. Look, before no, we I'm out of here, we have to I'm, I'm gonna podcast. keep it. I'm gonna keep it real. Niggas were getting extorted. Mm. When Fifty had, he wasn't getting extorted. That's what the game in Nori time. Nori never got extorted, but at that time, niggas was getting extorted. I told you, Haitian Jack, yo, right, Clef, two watches, Haitian Jack. I don't know nothing about it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's Clef, like, <laughs> patient Jack accent. and these niggas come through, boy. <laughs> Shit was different. Nori not going to tell you all. He's cool with niggas. I understand. I'm not cool with nobody, so yeah, don't care. I don't care, man. <laughs> no, I'm media. I don't you care, don't care about his accents either. I don't care, man. <laughs> I don't care, man. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the truth. Let's get another shot. We shot, shot another shot. Uh, Shots. No, 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 that's an empty shot. Nah, nah no. get, let, let him take an empty shot for uh, once in his life. No, no, no. That, I take a shot of champagne. But uh, yeah, let, uh, take a shot of champagne. Have a shot lingering around somewhere. I'm, if he puts all these little shots together, it's a I, shot. I, I trust you. My flight is delayed. Let this. <laughs> God, fuck it. Let's His go. flight's delayed. Let's go. Salo. Cheers, yeah. I just tell you the truth. Mm. I just tell you guys the truth. Uh, of what I seen and what I experienced. You know, it's love. Because that's it's love. This, this show is about, that show is about love. And we want to show yeah. you love. We want to show you love, respect, 
and loyalty for you being a love and respect. But we, I love the Look. culture like you, though. Yeah. Just what, what are you doing for? You don't do it for money. You don't do it bit. for Richie Millies. A little do, bit. Nah, but you, no, no, for Just no. Just a little bit. I'm but saying, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But you love the culture. Yes. yes. You don't, y'all don't love yeah, the don't culture? culture, yes. Yeah. We love the Absolutely. culture. We addicted to this yes. shit, man. Oh, here we are. I came up blind. I'm addicted here to this shit, bro. Hip hop. Music. Yep. Yeah. Niggas got beef. Like I said, niggas always say who shot you wasn't a beef record. I always feel like it was a beef record for it me. It wasn't originally a beef record. But when, B, when Biggie came with that. <laughs> but you know what? Fuck that. You know. He killed Pop. Yo, we got to do something about Biggie just that record. Yo. We who, got to who you said produced that, Nasheen? Nasheen Myron. We should ask him. We should ask him when it got recorded. Bip, bip. Up, Niggas up. are scared to keep it real. I just keep it real. I don't care. Call Nasheen? No. Yo, call him. No, call him. That, has, no. listen, that would be amazing. That is the best beat ever created to me. No, that's a dope record. And I don't keep think it. I got his number. It was a diss record. It is a diss record. You 100% shot, right. Sure. I don't think it was a diss record to Pac, though. See me in the job. Three and a quarter. Slaughter. You sound like Shine what? right now. No, no, Relax. no. Because Biggie had the lyrics... Pac just had a little more records. If Biggie was alive longer, he would have, you know what I mean? He didn't have enough records. Well, just like with Pop Smoke. They're like, Pop Smoke ran out of records. The label, you Yeah, but it. Pac recorded mad records before he Who, died. Pop he Smoke? Died. No, Pac. Pac. Yeah, Who but Pac? Biggie, you want to wish Biggie had more records? I wish, yeah. Yeah, yeah hold on. of course. So I, I wish he recorded like Pac is what I'm saying. So Nassim made that record. Bim, bim. Nassim Myrix. How, how, how come? When bim, I press, bim. What? That has to be I'm one of the best records from hip hop. Face video, it says WhatsApp. Why? What is it? Yeah, the fuck. If you have WhatsApp, then go WhatsApp. No, but he doesn't have WhatsApp. He doesn't have. No, he doesn't have an iPhone. Is what it is. Oh, he don't have an iPhone. So yeah, have, say yeah. To so all right, but what's then. That? See, let's see if he picks up on WhatsApp. Yeah, he we picks up on WhatsApp. But can we agree? Who shot you? Classic. It's a diss record, but I don't think it's Bro, a diss record. You think it is. Came on the radio. We all... It's a Biggie diss That's record. That's the way it got put out. Like it or fucking not. I'm it is a kid. diss record, but you think it's diss to Pac. Yes, nigga. It was put out in that way, but it was not Tupac, recorded Tupac in that way. Tupac was shot already. What do you, you mean? Yeah. No, because right? they put it out purposely Nori, at that time. No, it was Tupac shot already. Yes. Tupac was shot already. No, yes. I, trust me, I'm a mixtape DJ. I put it... I had the record. So you mean to tell me Biggie put that out as not as a diss record? Yes. He did. No, you're right. Bro, he you didn't need to tell me Biggie it. put that out as not as a diss record. Yes. He didn't got violated and all that on Now nah, you're right. But he didn't record it originally as a diss record. But everybody keeps Four saying pop. it's not a diss record, and it is. It is a diss record. I'm agreeing and disagreeing at the same time. But how you disagreeing? Because I don't think he recorded it originally dissing Pac. But Tupac was shot already. No, no. I think he recorded it before that. It doesn't matter. It dropped after Tupac got shot. I'm saying, I don't think he recorded <laughs> thinking about Pac, is what I'm saying to you. It doesn't matter. Tupac got shot and it came out. Yeah. And then he put it out right after Pac. Tupac. Yeah, so that's why I say I agree so and disagree. Who's the research person here? Yeah, find out when Tupac got shot and find out who shot you came out. Yeah, let's, let, let, let's do the research. It came out, you're right. It came out on point. Tupac got shot right after. It was a diss record. Yes. Somebody, y'all got to, you, you heard y'all got a lot of money here. I y'all said I agree and disagree at the y'all same time. Y'all got a lot of money. Listen, we only, Tupac we gotta got talk shot. To, oh, we, you know, you Nori, Tupac got uh, shot. Yeah, yeah. We got to speak to the people that were Listen, recording the Tupac record. Tupac got shot. Yeah, he was recording at the Listen. Show. And when did Pac die? In 96. Or when did Pac do, uh, hit him up? Pac Studios, when he first got shot, then who, who shot him came out the bird. Okay. Right after. Yeah. There you go. But he wasn't. When? Tell me the date. Can you tell me the dates, Mike? But he wasn't beefing with Pac at that point. Yes, yet. he. Bro, Pac was like, yo, New York nigga set me up. Nigga, Brooklyn niggas. <laughs> Brooklyn niggas. What are you talking about? What I'm telling you Brooklyn is he recorded been me their whole life. But he nigga. recorded it before that. Nigga, bro, he got hit up in the studio. Benchman. Biggie, I hear C, you. I hear you. C's from the back. What up? Listen, I'm not telling you I know this for Bro. facts. I'm just telling you from what I've heard. Now look, have you heard this? Who else was there? Nichols and the niggas? Who was there? But have you heard this? That, that Biggie niggas? recorded this before. What do you? You're not gonna tell us? Nigga, Pac got hit. Pac had old. Hold on, let's not no, no, what do you think? Pac got shot. He gotta be politically correct. And what happened? Pac got shot in 94, November. And the record came out in 
And what year? What month in ninety five? Yeah. And what 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 was the month? That, How many months is that, brother? It was recorded. It was ninety four. Yeah. When was it recorded? Pac. So you telling me who shot you wasn't a diss record to Pac? That's what I mean, these guys. It was recorded when it came out. They dropped it as a diss record to come. They. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're right. That's why I say I agree and disagree. I think they released it as a diss record, but it niggas, was never. And they acting like Source, Vag Source Magazine, Vibes Magazine, and all of them niggas wasn't putting fuel to the fire. Like of they course did. they did. Of East, course. East Coast, West Coast beef made a lot of money back. And they made that they shit made up. a lot of money back. Why yeah. niggas is trying to act? Nori got to be politically right. You getting a big check? He's not being political. I don't care. Y'all no. niggas got the... I'm, we don't I'm care. We just... <laughs> I'm being so y'all didn't enjoy Biggie and Tupac beef? Hell yeah, of course. Did you enjoy it? Not when they died. But I didn't ask you that. I asked you, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the disc record? I did. I did. As a DJ, as a mixtape DJ, I did loved you, it. Did you, en did you enjoy KRS events, MC Shan? Of course. Of course. Cannabis in LL. You enjoyed but, it. Yes. But I'm going to tell you when it changed for me. Hip hop came up Wait, wait. For me, when Biggie and Pac died, I stopped enjoying those records. Who Nori had beef with? They had no. No, beef leave me with. alone. No. No. Was it Snoop and them? No, 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 leave it alone. Leave yeah, they did LA, LA. LA. Yeah, we did LA, LA. We did LA. Over the LA, LA record. I like y'all conversations. I like y'all, y'all. Y'all yeah, come out. Y'all, y'all, y'all come out. Oh, LA, just, LA. I'm just listening. Yeah, we started it. Banner. The thing that bugs me about Yayo is that he's such a real hip hop guy, and you love hip hop, but you still are trying to like I'm, argue the fact I'm that you. So, I'm so hip hop, I love Snoop, but did Snoop get shot at? When they did LA, LA. Is it true? <laughs> yo, yeah, yo. New no, York, New did York. Snoop get shot at when he came to do LA, LA. New York, yeah. New York. New, not was it New York? New York, yeah, New York. Yeah, that yeah. was the name of the record. Yeah, that was the name yeah, of the record. Yeah, Red Hook. Red Hook. Yeah. He did. I'm so hip hop. Remember when they thought Special Ed Ham was cut off on the album? Excuse uh -huh. me? You don't remember first that? Word, what? Special Ed? Ed? Remember when his first album came? They thought his hand was cut off because he had yeah, like a funny right. picture. And what happened? Niggas thought his hand was cut off. Okay, but what does that mean? He was in juice. We like Tupac because why? Because Tupac was in Juice. Yeah. Tupac was in New York, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> I'm hip hop, man. Uh, I'm video music box. Yeah, yeah. I'm video music box. I'm Ron G, number 10. I don't know if Nori know about that. Look how many shots I got. That's the mixtape you want? I got so many shots, I got no. to double up. I was never on that. I, I just know. That's where you... Harlem niggas had Ron G. Ron G's Queens killer, niggas bro. had Grandmaster Vic. Grandmaster Vic. Um, well, who Brooklyn niggas had? SNS, I think. No, SNS? No, no. Uh, SNS from the Bronx. He's from Harlem. I mean, we don't know. We're from well, Miami. Ron so, G, Clue, number 10. SNS, Tony Touch. Y'all don't remember Ron G, number 10? Ron G. Ron G. Niggas Dirty Harry. Niggas doo -wop. No, doo -wop. You can't he say doo -wop. mix it without doo -wop. Yo, listen. Mr. C. Let me tell you, I'm so hip-hop, I put Mr. C on to the Queen's anthem. Dun, dun. No. Even if the world starts falling. Every one thing I'm sure of. Yeah, yeah. If it's one thing is it good for us. Too you guys, please. And forever. Listen, I come from Grandmaster you're, you're, Vic. It's your turn. Oh, sorry. Because no, you got to remember, yeah. Clue was the first nigga to play exclusives. That's when Blend stopped. Yeah. It's when you go to Jamaica Avenue, you buy your mixtape and all that. Take another that. shot and keep it going. Uh, let's you take another shot. This shit. Thank you, Jamie. You're killing this I shot, shit, my brother. Stop shots, but you let's go. Because CDs, what was it? CDs, tapes, and the wax? Or tapes? Van Wick? No, what do you think? CDs, was it tapes, then CDs? <laughs> tapes, CDs? No, it was wax, tapes, CDs. <laughs> wax, tapes, CDs. <laughs> you, what, are you calling me? <laughs> but what y'all want to talk about? Studio with Dr. Dre, Eminem. Yeah. yeah. What is, what, what I don't like, got no no text. Who Shug was Knight. Like the studio with? <laughs> who else? Uh, hanging out with Dr. Dre. How is that? Dr. Dre. <laughs> Dr. Dre was crazy. I'm gonna tell you why, yes. Dr. Dre. Uh huh. Look, Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. It was crazy because Dr. Dre used to have like Hennessy. He used to have closets of Hennessy and closets of weed. So he had to 
This is when I realized niggas got piano niggas and sound niggas, niggas playing guitar and shit. This is with Dre, right? Like, live instruments. Like, you know, you go to the studio in the hood, nigga ain't got shit. He got the beat done and shit in, this, in the basement chilling, you know what I mean? These niggas got niggas playing the guitar and niggas... So he got the closet full of Hennessy, closet full of weed. We from L.A. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you an ill story. My man Weezy was with me. Shout out to my man Weezy, right? And, you know, we hood niggas, so 50, we, we getting a deal and all that. But 50's still a hood nigga. You know how you go to the hotel? Another half. Look, Nori, we in the Beverly. So you know, like, M&Ms are like, $20! You know when you go to the mini bar and shit? We like in the Beverly Hotel. Oh, that so the M&Ms the chocolates, right. was $20. So Fifth like, yo, don't touch nothing in here, man. Y'all niggas tripping, my nigga. <laughs> Y'all like Fifth, Because look, no, no, think about it. When you go like to the EFM. hotel... Nah, Fifth's a smart guy. Nah, it's it's a, a smart guy. We afraid from the hood. This is my first time in L.A. Fifth like, yo, man. Yo, the best advice, don't touch nothing by the mini bar. We can go to the store, we can go get it. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm like... <laughs> He's the smartest guy ever. Yo, the M&M's was $15. <laughs> and you get him for so $2. Look, M told, look, Fifth no told him, nigga, he was like, yo, we in the Beverly Hotel. Fifth like, yo, don't touch the mini bar, man. Y'all niggas, no. don't bug out. That shit $15. We finna the hood. In the hood, that shit about $2.50. Mm. Pack of M&M's, $150. You know what I mean? Yo, don't touch the M&M's in the Beverly. My man Weezy touched the M&M's. Fitz started tripping in on that nigga, man. So I started realizing, then this hotel shit is different. Because we, when we did, look, when we did anger management, you got to understand, when a nigga's not paying for something, he has no respect. Some niggas are just like that. We grew up Haitian, we had respect. So when we went on anger management, 50 be like, yeah, yo, you see, you see what I'm showing you? I'm going to show you all the shit he paid like a hundred and maybe maybe two hundred thousand in damages on that tour, cause a nigga will go to the Ritz, smoke weed, put the weed out on the desk. But we in the Ritz Carlton, so now you you ashing shit on the desk. I don't give a fuck. I'm with fifty, man. I'm big. You might take the pillows out the Ritz Carlton. That shit all add up, bro. And that's when I started to learn the business. Because niggas are being the Ritz. We're Nori, drink champs, nigga. Oh, shit up, nigga. Niggas taking pillows out the Ritz. They ashing shit in the Ritz. <laughs> four seasons. And then at the end of the tour, 50 end up paying about maybe a quarter million in damages. Damn. Yep. A rich pillow might cost you. Took a pillow out the Ritz. You in the Ritz with Nori. I'm with you. Took a pillow out the Ritz. That pillow might cost four hundred dollars. Yep. It's a business. And then fifth, you know, fifth with even with Nas in them back in the days, he used to see Nas. Queensbridge was Ravenswood. It's still like that over there. Yeah. Queensbridge was Ravenswood. He'll see them niggas fight. So he used to be with Nas, man. He have the Queens Bridge and the Ravens with them niggas fight each other. It's still like that till this day. Them niggas got war. Till this day, you go to Queens Bridge, Ravenswood, niggas still war. That's in right? the hood, but that's not really Look, tall. But he but Fifth learned from Nas, because he used to see. So what he implemented was if you fight on the road, say we in Beverly Hills, we at the Ritz Hotel. I'm fight, we're fighting. We all together. Send them home. That's a nice mm. word. That was the smartest thing ever. Why? So there was no fighting amongst the team. Nah. You don't want to be in a meeting with Jimmy Iovine upstairs and niggas are fighting in the parking lot. But he learned that from being around Nas and them, because he be around Nas. Right. You know how it was back then, nigga. Right. Ravenswood versus Queensbridge. Left rack versus this nigga. Uh, uh. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Niggas are fighting. So Fifth said, yo, if you fight, we in the Ritz Hotel, we in a five-star hotel. Y'all niggas are fighting in the lobby. My nigga, what's up? Ah! You got to think you're on a whole nother level now. You got to switch that shit up, bro. So the whole rule was, if you fight, you go home. Them niggas fight, send them home. I'm in the Ritz Carlton, man. You know how much money I'm going to pay for that broken mirror? <laughs> niggas are fighting in the hotel. You, you, Niggas are wild. Taking a shot. We taking a shot for Ritz Carlton Hotel. Fuck it. I got a shot. I got a shot. Man, 
God damn. Yeah, shot at you me. You take a pillow out the ritz. How much you think you playing, man? Yo, yeah, yo, hold on. Chanchi. Now, Nori, let me ask you a question. Yeah, you could ask me. I'm, I'm going to drink champ show. I'm with all the homies, right? Cool. Yep. I'm going to light up in my room. Nori's card is down. Okay. It's a death. Jamie, how much that's going to cost? 500 euro. <laughs> You just no. You gotta think about that though. Very true. That's how the business go. If you, if we go somewhere, and fifty card is down, right? Nori Khan is down. We shooting drink champs. Oh, let's shoot drink champs in Italy, right? Let's shoot it in Italy. Let's Your card is down. Let's do it. Yo, Nori, that nigga. Look, so look. F, F we go in Nori room. Yo, Nori, that nigga, man. Light up in that nigga room. Mm. <laughs> I'm definitely lighting up in your room. Your definitely. Yeah, as long as you light up. 500. <laughs> I'll take that charge. Yeah. Now look, 500 euro. Ooh, fuck, you gotta pay 500 euros when I light up. Jesus, that's, a, that's, that's all you're thinking about? <laughs> yeah. 500 euro. Yeah. It's business, you know that, Nori. Mm. It's business, bro. Mm. You've been around the Steve Stouts, the Leo Coins. You know. Mm. You've been around all these guys, man. It's business. They've been around me. For sure. Say it again. Nori, Nori broke. Give us fuck Nori. First Pharrell, first 50. I mean, they've been around me. First Nelly. Yes, yes. And we got to take the picture. What was the Nelly record? Lil Wayne. Nah, Nelly. Nelly I, Lil Wayne. You, you, you want me to give you? you want, Fab, tell me the history. Fab, listen, Fab. Scott Storch. Scott too. Listen, Fab, that's my brother. Mm-hmm. But DJ Clue asked me, yo, can you come up and rhyme tonight? I said, of course. And he said, can, is it cool that I have my boy Sport? That was Fab? Fab's name? His name was Sport. Damn, uh, Fab's name was Sport? His name was Sport. Damn. So I was like, Sport? But all right, cool. Like I Sport, have... like basketball sport. Like. I did <laughs> Whatever I sport was, you want to call it. Nah, he so put a lot of niggas on. I want to hear these stories. I, ain't gonna lie. I was so hot. It's hip hop, like, I man. Care. I got to hear these stories, man. I didn't care. So I was like, all right, cool. Fab and I realized cool. that when 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 he came, pause. You know, mm -hmm. when he came up, he was he was he was trying to rap. I yeah, was Fab, plat yeah, I was platinum already, or oh, I was on the way to platinum, and I like like that. But I always want my rematch. Mm -hmm. With Fab? Yeah, I feel like I'll, I'll be. On what record, though? I don't give a fuck. Oh, damn, well, that's what we need Fab right now on Dream just, Chance. Just to freestyle, okay? What was the freestyle? What freestyle was it, though? On DJ Clue, Monday Night Mixtape. Fantastic. Brother, you had Body in the Trunk. Hold on, hold on, not yet, not yet. No, no, but by the way, mm -hmm. um, I want to respect Fab. No, respect Fab. Fab got balls balls. He took that opportunity. And he elevated himself. And he elevated yeah. himself. He became who he is. I I, I love that moment. I wow, actually that's dope. every time we see each other, like like um recently um I had a birthday party in in, in Carbones and he flew out just Word? come fuck with me. Yeah. Dope. And I I love that. What's I love your favorite that. record though. What's my favorite record that yeah. I made? Yeah. That I made? Yeah, because, I mean, you had a solo career and you had Capone and Noriega, seeing it. And then I had a reggaeton career. Sorry. Yeah, man, the reggaeton. I mean, I'm not a reggaeton guy. So for me, like... <laughs> I identify with you, but... No, listen, no, I'm, can I keep it real? You can't even keep it real. I'm not a reggaeton guy. So for me, like, <laughs> War Report, CNN, War Report. Yo, you know right. VL put on a reggaeton like, record now. I love your solo album and... So my favorite in, record right? in, in its totality, my favorite record in its totality. All right, let me give you a story. You gave me stories all night. But like you had the up north stories on, you know what I mean? CNN War Report. <laughs> New York, get the dirty money. That's like in my. Bloody money. Bloody, all right, my, my, I'm drunk, man. If you got like 20 shots. Nah, but it was dirty, though. Money, money. Was, the money was dirty. It was what totally what dirty. What was your question? I'm sorry. CNN What's War What's your favorite record? No, look, in skits, my. and look, in skits back then, too. <laughs> yeah. Nah, come on. The skit was like very important. <laughs> you, 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 like, what was the shit? Changes Yo, you changed that subject. What was the shit? Look, look, look. What's the shit when y'all went from bodega? accents to subjects? You in the bodega with the guy? He like, Yo, man. And I'm a dog, man. <laughs> oh, that's, that, 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 see, no, no. But the see, that's what's crazy. That was really that, the bodega. That was guy? never a visual. That was always audio. 
It was the best. But yes. that was the bodega guy for real? Yeah. yeah. Animal, Animal uh, Cub, man. Yeah. Like, he owns the plucky. Well, what I'm saying to you is this. This is what I'm saying when you look at Nori. Jamie. Yeah, I'm listening. When you look at Young Thug, Free Young Thug. Yeah, uh, yeah. They had, they, it's like in Queens, they started their own language, like, slime. Animal Cub, like, we was on the block looking up to Nori, Nas, uh-huh. Prodigy. We was on the block looking up to niggas like, oh shit, bro. Cause nigga had his own slang. Slime. Yeah. yeah. Was it? 25 years later, niggas are saying slime. But that shit really came from no. What is it? 20... What a research process. 25 years later. Slime. Nah, nah. I know it. Slime, slime, the slime. Yeah. So like when you looked at Queensbridge and Queens and Left Rack, even Left Rack, you put Left Rack on the map. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you think about that, you like, oh shit, hip hop. Are we taking a shot? Start. I feel like we're taking a shot. <laughs> I, I don't like... know how many shots are shots, bro. This is so, classic. I just shots. feel like G unit. Let's take a shot for G unit. This is the record, Jesus. bro. Jesus. But it's all about hip hop. That's why when I see Ralph McDaniels, right? Mm. Think about it. When you was a kid, Ralph McDaniels. We didn't have that in Miami. We had. Y'all didn't have that in Miami? Nah. Oh, y'all didn't know about hip hop then? You crazy. Nah, Bugging. bro. You bugging you right now. Nah, you, you ain't know about. Nigga, video music box was hip hop. Nah. Ignore it like this. Classic, you see, this is where you fucking so up. So you don't now. know about the pimp, 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 pimp. Yeah, we knew about all that. We got it different. There wasn't even no channel for hip hop or video music box. Nah, we had the box down here. What was that? You had to box. pay for it. You remember you had to pay for the shit? One ninety nine. Your box. I know about video music box. The box. We had the no, box. It was a box. It was an actual box. We had to pay for it. Well, it was you don't an actual that? box. Don't say it that way. But that came later on. Weird. That wasn't That's video. No, so no, you didn't know who Ralph McDaniels was. No, no, we didn't know. You was we, from Florida. You from Florida? No, we knew him later on through the source. Of the, the but you app. didn't know about video music. You didn't get video music box channel. Nope. Damn, that's nope. fucked up. You got mixtapes. So you don't really know about hip hop like that. You wild. Nah. You see, that no is dis- a New York no, problem. No disrespect. That is a New York problem. <laughs> <laughs> that is the New York problem. No disrespect. But if you don't know about video music box, see, but that's a New York problem. Where you think that everybody bro. else in the United no States disrespect. doesn't know about hip hop? No, we ain't gonna keep it real with you, bro. <laughs> you don't really know. <laughs> he's not gonna keep it real because he's New York too. So you don't know about the pimp. <laughs> you don't know yeah, about- it sounds like a great story to me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's fucked but, up. But you don't look, know about video me. music box. I know, I know. Look, yeah. video music box was before. We know about video BET, music box. BET, MTV, all that. We know that, but we didn't have That's that. That's when you see Rock Kim. Are you listening to me, Yale? Yeah? We bam, know bam, about bam, it, but bam, we don't bam, have bam, it. Bam. This is analog times. We don't have it listen, yet. This is what I gotta understand. When what? you look at G Unit, when you look at Fifty Yale. I'm house parties that got shot up back in the days. Eh? Every house party that got shot up, I was in that shit. <laughs> what is so, this? I'm telling you. you like, no, because people be this like. This is Sunny D. No, I'm. This is Sunny no, D. I'm pew. trying to tell you. Pew. No, I'm trying to tell you. My best friend was a DJ. He was DJ Rough Hands. I went to Which every... I wanted to tell you, that has to be the Listen, best, best DJ, DJ name, name ever. Yeah, Rough DJ Rough Hands. Hands. This is my name. Yo, shout out to DJ Rough Hands. I don't know you. Drink. Yeah. I don't know rough hands, but rough I hands. I imagine rough that hands. That is amazing. I DJ imagine name. rough hands now, so feel listen, like sandpaper. So look, that was the days when a party gets shot up. My man got uh, ten crates. We gotta stay there and wait. You know what? Yeah, ain't no like, computer. Be, 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 no computer. You think we had computers down here, down south? Niggas had crates. No, I'm not saying that. We had that. crates. Yeah, of course. So this I'm is not the same argument it. we got last time in. Where the hip hop start? In New York, of course. Okay, but you didn't even know who Ralph McDaniels was. I didn't say that. You said video music. No, you said Bumba Cloud, Ross Cloud. No, 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 no. I said, of course I knew who Ralph McDaniels was. I said, yo, do you have video music box? We didn't have it. And we had it. But it's not our fault. But video music box is the beginning of the hip-hop. Listen. I had, was some Haitian shit. Let me tell you. Look, look, look. <laughs> no, he's no, not going to no, hit me with the Haitian no, shit. No, no, he's going to hit me with some. Let me tell you how this is real. This is how, this was hip-hop for me. My parents was Haitian, right? Uh-huh. My they man Bobby. sound like Sonny look, so much. My parents was Haitian. Okay. Right? Sonny? Listen, my crew my is Haitian. Listen, go ahead, listen, go ahead, go ahead. My parents was Haitian. My man Bobby across the street, Bobby Ward. His father was a doctor. They had right. the Cadillac. What year is this? 
80s. Baby, okay. right? We all 80s, right? He had the boom box with the equalizer. We all had the boom box. Let's go. The equalizer. My brother was older than me. My okay. parents got us the boom box with the double... What were you listening to in your boom box? Double deck. Listen, let me... No, no, I want to hear what you were listening to. Run DMC. Okay, here. The same first. same here. Run DMC, best grip. Same here. Best group ever! Same here. Of all times, Run DMC. Same here. Because <laughs> they went... Did you have BC Boys too, or are you going to say no? Jamie. Of they was the yeah, first. Yo, you had have, you have Beastie Boys or no? I fuck with Beastie Boys. Okay, we have Beastie Boys too. But you gotta think, Run DMC. But you didn't have two live crew. What was that shit with? What was that shit with? Um, Aerosmith. Bang in there, bang in there, bang in there. Walk this way. Bang That's Run DMC. That's the first song that ever played on MTV. Am I correct? Hey, but where are we going with this? <laughs> That's when hip hop went commercial. Hey, right, but that has nothing to do Run with DMC. us. Run DMC and where them niggas from? Queens. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's Christmas you're like time Queens. in Hollis, Queens. Mom, I, I see what you're Kyle saying. Greens. Hold up. You know what? I have a saying for this. But what I'm saying to you, Ralph McDaniels, <laughs> look, look, Ralph McDaniels' video music box was the first time you got to see videos. Yes. Absolutely. So it was karate. It was karate back then. We had karate too, but it was Kar Samurai yeah, Sunday. Nintendo Samurai. Super. Samurai Sunday. You remember yeah. Samurai Sunday? Karate. What's that on Sundays? Video music box and your Nintendo. Hey, we didn't have that, unfortunately. You had a Nintendo um, back then. Absolutely. No, I had an Atari first. The wooden joint. Oh, okay. But you didn't have... Y'all didn't get video music box? Nah, bro. No, wait. Can you tell them about video music box? We no. know about it, man. Yeah, yo, stop. <laughs> no, that's what I said. That's what we had first. Nori, you don't agree? It's not about agreeing or disagreeing. We get it. But the rest of the country didn't have that. But that was hip-hop. Yes. But you're saying that everybody else is not hip-hop? No. You're They're saying not. New York started all this shit. Yes, yeah, started. <laughs> Holy fuck, Tart. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. We Back in the days. Look, look. I take no shots with you guys right Yo, now. Yo, listen, I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> no, I take no shots with Back you guys in the days, right now. The New York, look, 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 and look, look, no shots. Shot <laughs> no shots with you guys right now. Back in the days, the New York niggas used to go what? They used to go out of town, get all the drug money, get all the bitches, get everything. And out of town niggas wanted to be like us. Where'd you get it from? Then Miami? Louis you Bichon? got it from Miami? Then y'all started getting Griselda Louis came Bichon? from Miami, right? Look, where the best designers where, come from? If you got if you Tampa got Dan, back in the day. Hey, where did you get the work from? Harlem! The Colombians and the Cubans. You're right. But what I'm saying is <laughs> we're talking bro. about the best designers. Dapper Dan, Harlem. Everybody wanted to be like New York back in the days. So Let's not front. And then y'all got your own swag. You're not wrong. You're not wrong about that part. Everybody. And we had to find our own identity. New York. We love New York. Everybody wanted to be New York. You're right. You're right. We worked through that. We still got the endless niggas. James E. Diddy. 50. <laughs> Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan. Dapper Dan. Virgil from New York. Virgil from New York. Virgil from New York. Is he? From New York? Is he from New York? Virgil. I don't, know. And I'm I don't think Virgil yeah. from New York. Virgil. We got the illest niggas. He close to us. But the South wins. Not nah, the South. The South cool. wins. I don't know. Yeah, y'all. No, I'm talking shit. I'm talking shit. Y'all got mad artists and all that. Couldn't even beat Denver. It started from New York. Wow, bro. Yo, remember where you live right now. No, I love the South, but it started in New York. You say y'all like you don't live here? Look, I was disappointed. Listen, it started in New York. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I agree with you on that. What he said? Listen, if you love hip hop, you know where it comes from. Yes. Hands down. Who's your favorite rapper of all time? Nori ain't gonna answer this. Who's your of all time? All time. It's gonna be Ice Cube. I'm gonna go with Biggie. Okay. Ice Cube over Biggie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to agree with Ice Cube. Like, I was born in LA. Not even I was born in LA. What are you raised in Miami? Uh, yeah, it was offensive. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> Nigga like said Ice Cube over. In my top five is Big L. So you would say Biggie got Ice Cube got better verses than Biggie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Today's agenda. I had the suitcase up in the central. Big, Biggie's Go in to my top five. Biggie's in my top five. My man. Oh, you create the best no Vaseline. 
obliterates so you that. Saying, obliterates you that. Say, so you saying I that certificate as an album? Hold on. That certificate as an this album? This is why I hate this industry. Obliterates shit. That. Hold on. <laughs> so you saying it's you telling me Ice Cube is a better storyteller, storyteller than Biggie? Lyricist? You fucking bugging. Yeah, but Biggie's lost, one of the best. You lost your fucking mind. But Biggie's one of the best. Big Ice Cube is better than Biggie with storytelling? As a totality, yes. You fucking fucking, nigga. <laughs> you lost your fucking mind. I lost it. From from what? Today's agenda to I got a story man, to tell. Big, from nigga where was talking about from? fucking bitches and they men pull up and all that. New, <laughs> you saying, don't get me wrong, Ice Cube is fire. Are you serious? Storytelling? Are you serious, N.W.A.? Biggie? That certificate, America's Most Wanted? You're bugging. Kill at will? No. Are you serious? The best story... Look, are you serious? Bro, the best... Are you serious? Yes, I am. No, you're not. The best storytellers no, are Biggie no, you're not. and Slick Rick, nigga. The best storyteller... Biggie and Slick Rick. Slick Rick is one of the best. Biggie and Slick Rick are the best storytellers, nigga. Slick Rick, you got you it. You lost your mind, nigga. Ice Cube is better than Biggie? Is he crazy? Am I crazy? My niggas are bugging over there. Am I crazy? You're bugging. Today's agenda. I just say Got totality. the suitcase up in the centra. Nah, to, Go to room 112. That's a Jersey dude. That's a Joe bro. He's staying in New York. Who else? Who else? Damn, Who else has Yo, balls? Man. What's my man? What's, so you saying today's agenda? What a jack! Got the, the suitcase up in the central. Go to room, feel the frameless, leave all of the niggas huh? stainless. You saying Ice Cube got better balls than that? Ice Cube got you better balls. You lost your bro. mind, bro. Biggie didn't have You're the time to expand. You lost your mind, bro. Biggie killed with just that. Today's agenda. Nah, bro. Got Biggie, the suitcase Biggie up in the you central. Ice Cube was the better nah, you're bugging. Now you lost your mind. No, nah, no. Nah. You're about gang. You're about gang. Anybody else? Hey, was that Biggie Burton's on the Anybody else? What you're do you want to say? You're bugging. You're Biggie's side. If y'all agree, y'all are crazy. Biggie what? is the best lyricist ever. No, but B B today's agenda <laughs> got the suitcase up in the central. Listen, Biggie's one of the best. Feel the playlist. I'm just yeah. personally, I see my favorite. Darcy All you hear is, <laughs> come on, bro. You mean to tell me Ice Cube got Betty Balls and Biggie? Yes. Nah, I love Ice Cube, but you're in, in totality, yes. You, you don't know your hip hop, bro. <laughs> I don't care what Nori say, you none wild. of these niggas. You don't know your hip-hop. You don't know, you, you don't know your hip-hop. Wild. Who shot you? See me and in the drop. Three in the corner. Slaughter. Electrical cape around your daughter. Old school, new school. Nigga, burn those. I burn... Nigga, you fucking bucking, nigga. And Biggie's when my favorite, too. When Biggie Boss, niggas was like... Who is this guy? You're right. That's the best. And thing. that was one of those Listen, guys. Listen, that's the best everything that happened to your man P. Diddy, man. Biggie. You crazy. Biggie's one of my favorites. Biggie is the greatest lyricist in the world. Tupac just had more material than him. And Biggie was better than Tupac. But you're saying Ice Cube bars are adding up to Biggie? No, yeah. you don't know your hip hop, bro. And Nori, you can do whatever. I don't care. I... I don't know who this Biggie? version of your voice is right now. So you say, what record is better than Biggie record? <laughs> On death certificate? <laughs> yeah. You got mad lyrics on there. Life After Death? What was Biggie's first album? I'm sorry. Ready no, to Die. Uh, ready, ready to, to die? die? You're comparing. But by the way, after this point, I'm not talking. I don't care. You don't if have you, to. If, if you compare death certificate. I don't care. <laughs> To rate or die. What? America's you out your fucking mind, bro. America's most wanted. America's most wanted. Out of here. Give me Kill the loop. Give me the loop. Out of here. The impact of NWA. Is, what, was Method Man on that? Hey, hey. Sir? Hold up. Yayo. Yeah, Give me the loop. Yeah, Give me the loop. Over here. Over here. Yayo. Yeah, Look over here. So y'all telling me Biggie, Ice Cube got better balls than Biggie? You and him are Wait, out your fucking I say, mind. Can I say it very clear? You're out your mind and he's out your Can mind. I say it very clear? Biggie is one of the best to do it. One of the best to do it. Top best five, a hundred percent. Hundred percent top five. Right? But Ice Cube is saying, see me in the drop, three and a but, quarter. But Slaughter. Yeah. Electrical tape around your but daughter. Biggie. Old school, new school, new right, burn no. See, you ain't gonna let burn, me tell baby, you. Burn. Ice Cube ain't never came like that. You ain't gonna let me Fuck tell you. you. Talking about. You ain't gonna let me tell you then. I know hip hop. That has nothing to do with knowing hip hop. It's what your preference is. No, it has to do with knowing hip hop. You can't say Ice Cube bars. I'm not saying Ice Cube ain't a legend, but you can't say Biggie bars was futuristic. Absolutely. 
He was the first fat nigga. He didn't get to live. He didn't get to live. His legend. Who was the first nigga to diss himself? Ugly nigga. Fat nigga. Rings and Watts. Rings Versace. Oh, I'm ugly. Wait, 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 wait. If you talk about Impact, you got Ice Cube NWA, Ice Cube with Public Enemy, Ice Cube, just Ice Cube, and then and then further on. You can't compare Biggie Balls to Ice Cube. Yeah, well, then we can, because that's what hip hop is, no. that we could do this comparison. No, 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 no. And that is. No, 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 no. Uh huh. Mira. No, 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 no. What trends did Ice Cube start? Niggas wasn't wearing coochies. Are you serious, brother? He had fat niggas wearing coochies. Are you serious nigga? about trends? He had fat niggas no, confident, no. nigga. NWA is the biggest trend ever! You bugging, bro! I'm talking about later Ice Cube. Nah, you bugging, man. You bugging, yeah, yeah. You bugging. <laughs> Biggie had niggas winning for top D Cookies. What ice cube had niggas win? Black hoodies? That was because of Easy E, nigga. You both win. You didn't know what a Cougie was because it was because of Biggie, nigga. You're absolutely right. <laughs> you can't compare Ice Cube to Biggie Smoke. I definitely can. I think Crazy. Biggie would be honored to be Biggie. compared to Ice Cube. Great. Who had better balls than Biggie? Jay? Because y'all say Jay is number one now, right? Y'all say Jay is number one now, right? He's number one on Billboard and all that on the list, right? So who's the best? But if Biggie was still alive, where would he be at? If Jay got... Biggie would be in the list right now. It'd be Ellis. It'd be Ellis. If Jay has billion dollar cribs with Beyonce in LA and everybody's chilling and he's the top of one rapper on Billboard, where would Biggie be at if he was still alive? He'd be the illest. He'd be bigger than Ice Cube. Absolutely. So what the but fuck are you thing. talking about? My brother, well, we can't quantify that. Right. He's not here. We no, cannot no, quantify that. I can't qualify that. it with legendary verses. Today's agenda. Nah, bro, you We're talking craziness, bro. You no wild right, right now. Ice Cube. You are wild, man. No Vaseline ain't fucking. No Vaseline ain't fucking with who shot you, nigga. Uh, <laughs> you fucking. What the fuck was he doing? <laughs> you fucking. Let's go. You want to have Cheers to that. Nah, bro. Yeah. You know what? Uh, you got ill points. Who the fuck is this? Paging me at 5.30 in the morning. Who the fuck is this? Paging me at 5.30 in the morning. Who the fuck is this? Paging me at 5.46 in the morning. Who the fuck is this? Paging me at 5.46 in the morning. Now I'm yawning. What is going on? Ice Cube ain't never write no shit like that. Shut the fuck up! What about? It's a whole nother era. You yeah. tripping. My flight delayed. We can do this whole... I'm not... It's a whole nother era. Listen, Biggie had the best balls ever. Listen, I love Biggie. I don't want to say how much I love Biggie. Bone and big head, big head. On the dangerous. When Biggie came, you ain't never hear a nigga rap like that.